Hello, I'm Catherine Wright. I'm from Leicestershire Craft Centre, which is based in Market Harborough. I love all kinds of sewing, but probably my favourite thing to do is dressmaking. Um, but I also teach patchwork and free motion embroidery and anything to do with textiles, really. I love to have a go at felting and crochet and knitting and, oh, you name it, I'll have a go at it. Uh, so I started sewing when I was seven. My mum taught me to sew and the very first thing I made was an apron. But I'm a terribly impatient person. I also just want to get on with the project. So I uh, didn't wait for her to help me cut it out and I cut it out myself and I didn't know you had to have a seam allowance. So I made the world's smallest apron and my mum still has it somewhere. Um, so uh, sewing tips, I would say, I teach a lot of people to sew, especially beginners, and I would say, don't get disheartened. Take your um, learning journey slowly. Don't expect to suddenly make a ball gown or suddenly make a king size quilt. Build up your skills, um, you know, slowly. Um, and I would also say the iron is your friend. Use your iron a lot. It makes your sewing look so much better. It helps you get things in place where you want it before you sew and is a really handy thing to have. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com alternatively you can message us on our official facebook page it's a picture of me in here do you know what? Everybody buys something today. Now, if you want it yesterday, oh, I've got really bad interference, uh, Elliot. Uh, if you were, if you were, um, got one of these yesterday, you don't get it again today. Everybody, one per person, if you shop today, you'll get this little booklet, right? You'll get this little book, and you're thinking, what is that booklet, John? Well, I'll tell you what that booklet is. I can't show you the inside, but on the 3rd of September, if you've got this booklet, you can get 50% off yarn. I know. And if you're, okay, okay, if you don't want that then, uh, on the 4th and the 5th of September, if you've got this booklet, you'll get free p and oh, no. And if you've, I won't do all of them, I won't do all of them. Right, oh, okay, if you've got this booklet on the 12th of September, if you buy anything online apart from sewing machines, 
you'll get 20% off. If you've got this book, I'm not going to give them all away. Uh, on the 11th of October, if you've got this booklet, there's free p and Now, how, do I, how does it know you've got this booklet? Because I'm not going to open the pages because you'll see it, right? But on each, well, I'll, try, I'll try and hide this one, right? Right, so on this day here, you see, valid on the 5th. Oh, which one are you going to? No, I don't want to go over it. Can you see? Where my finger is, there's a code. So that valid on the, see, under there is a code. Yeah. All of those have got codes in them. So if you've got this book, you get the booklet for free. Now, has anybody, yeah, over 150, if you used every single one of those codes, you'd save 150 pounds. Over 150 pounds. All you'll do is buy something today and there's no minimum spend. And you can buy it from me, you can buy it from Yarn Lane, or you can buy it from the website. I know. Right, that's the booklet there, so I'll put that there. Right. Hello, today's early bird. Tweet, tweet. Ow. Look, look. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Oh. Anyway, look, here we go. Today's early bird. It's two and a half metres of beige. Uh, you're getting half a metre for free. £13.96. Now, I hate the word beige, but I love this colour because you're going to use it if you're going to make a Helen Newton cushion, if you're going to do the back of a Delphine project, if you're going to do Delphine's Tree of Life, two and a half metres of beige, you're getting it for the price of two metres. Yeah, my Facebook Live's all right. It's yours. £13.96 this day, early bird. Right, now, once you've got it, Check out your basket, right? That's your PMP done for for the day. So if you come in later to buy a Helen Newton cushion or a fluffy teddy bear face or some brand new Dan Morris fabric or, or a kit from the last hour, it's your PMP paid for. Or a sewing machine. Pay. Or a fabric bundle you might use with the beige. Who knows? Who knows? Right, loads of you there. Keep going through and I'll just do a few messages so we keep catching up. Oh, yeah. Now, if you buy two, they're already cut. So you'll get two pieces of 2.5 metres. You won't get five metres uncut. But two and a half metres is quite a good length, isn't it? Anyway, Julie says good morning. Glennie says good morning. Helen says good morning. Watching whilst making Christmas goodies. Pam Minihani says good morning. Cousin Susan says good morning. So does Marie. Barbara North says morning, John, in air. For a, oh, no, morning, John, in air for a few days watching on my phone. Hayley says good morning. Judith says good morning. Pula says good Pula. <laughs> <laughs> Pula says good morning. I meant Paula, not Pula. She's not Pooley. Pooley Paula from Paula. No, anyway, Leslie says good morning with a big heart. Jane says good morning. Lynn Chewitt says good morning, everyone. Like, it's a lovely day here as well. It's a beautiful day here today. Jill says good morning, John. You're looking dapper today. Thank you. Uh, Helen says poor thumb. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Uh, Margaret says good morning. Margaret might be coming to Stratford to the Christmas fair. Yeah. It's, well, they call it a Victorian Christmas fair. A couple of people wear a funny hat and that's about it, you know what I mean? It's not that, oh, I shouldn't really say that, but it's not. When I used to live in Richmond and Twickenham, right, we had a Victorian Christmas shopping evening and it was like, it was like, it was a Charles Dickens movie, it was. Went to the one in Stratford, a couple of people with a felt hat on and they call it a Christmas fair. Anyway, uh, Helen says good morning, Anne says good morning, Cara and team. Oh, Cara's asleep in the dressing room. Uh, anyway, can I tell you about this now? I bought myself some new knives, right? And one of them is like a knife or like a handle like this. And then it's got a big, like, I would like to think it's a chef's knife like that. Anyway, I wasn't even cutting it. I just picked it up out the hat and, it, and the end of it caught, it just nicked my finger and I thought, oh, I'll be fine. And I was cutting my onion later on. I was like, why is this onion red? Oh, that's why. Anyway, I put a plaster on it. And then when I went to bed, I took the plaster off thinking, let the air get to it. Woke me up during the night. It was so painful. It, I was like, go like this on the pillow. I had to rest it on a pillow like that. Harvey wondered what on earth was going on. Harvey's a cat. Uh, anyway, anyway, wait. So this morning, I've just put, I've just put my glass on. Yeah, it's back. I've just put my glass on. It's a great big gash. It, I'm sure it needs stitches. I'm sure it needs stitches. Anyway, third, third tip, Dulcie's cat. I've got Dulcie's cat. Oh, yes. Have you got a picture ready? Okay. Roxana says, good morning. Today's fabrics look great, don't they, Roxana? Good morning, says Helen. Anne says, good morning. Isabel says, good morning. Heidi High says, good morning. Pauline says, good morning. From Macken, Matchen. 
Taking both dogs to the vet. I can't watch for long. Oh, no. Good morning, John and everyone. Dull in Derbyshire, says Susan. Oh, it's always dull in Derbyshire, isn't it? Beautiful county, always dull. £13.96. pence. Shilla says, good morning, John. When you go on your holidays and when you're coming back. Right, Shilla, my last day is, is it the 8th, Cat? Do we say, the, my last shift is the 8th of September and I'm back on the 28th of September. 29th, 29th, 28th. I'm back at the end of the month anyway for a couple of days. That was the, that was the one where they put me down for the 31st of September and we had to tell Haley there is no 31st September. So I lost, I lost, I lost a shift. I could have, I could have put that on my invoice, 31st September. Shouldn't have said anything, should I? Oh, Jill says, Jill says, now the dog's been fed. I can watch in peace. Lo says, morning, John. Got home last night. I'm not a mat, I'm not match fit for festivals. So she in a, that's Lo, right, in her posh motorhome. Uh, we've got a message, what? Message from, oh, it's a question from Mandy. Morning, John and team. Thought Helen Newton's cushion was on today. Can't find it on pre-order that's because it hasn't arrived yet. Oh, no. Um, Mandy, we'll put it on. Have we had a reply yet? As soon as we can, Mandy. What time have you got to go out, Mandy? What time have you got to go out? As soon as, as soon as it's on, we'll tell you. We just had to query something about it, that was all. Jill says, oh, no, I've done Jill's. Jean says, morning from Durham. Now, Jean, I think I dreamt about you last night. I think so. Have you got hair like that? Anyway. 1396, keep going through for this. Remember, if you buy one of these, if you've not got one already, you'll get one of these voucher booklets. At £13.96. Oh, OK, I've got 30 of these left, that's all. And you know we have hundreds for the early bird. How many do we start with? Oh, blimey, loads have gone. I'll stay with you a bit longer. Loving the new blue glasses. Julie, have you not seen these yet? I've got them in blue and I've got them in red. These are the blue ones. Because I'm wearing a red and white shirt tomorrow, so I'll wear my red glasses tomorrow. Uh, so Adam started tomorrow. Adam from Great British Sewing Bee will be on tomorrow. Baffer's in tomorrow. Got a very busy day tomorrow. Little Paul's producing, so anything could happen. You know you said, Ellie, you've never seen anyone walk off. Well, it could be tomorrow, Little Paul. Could be me with little Paul rattling down my ear, whatever the word is. Morning, finally woke up. Oh no, Jan. We haven't done Jan's alarm. Jan, 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 it's ten past eight. Get up. Um, what's it say? A another Anne, voucher booklets, John. When did they start? I think it's the 3rd of September, isn't it? The first one is the 3rd of September and the last one is the 30, 31st of October. So they spread over two months, September and October. Oh, there it is. We've got a slide. You only get it yesterday and today, though. If you buy tomorrow, you won't get it. Will you? Very vague, that, isn't it? Well, I do have natural wavy hair. Oh, there you go. I, did, I dreamt about Jean last night and a big hair. She had big, big hair like that, that Hollywood hair. Oh, no. Who does? I'm a bit thirsty this morning. Yeah. Must be a bit dehydrated. It was very warm last night, wasn't it? My window's wide open. Message from Sharon. Any news? Oh, Sharon. Is there anyone in the office yet? Any news on the arrival of 6 8 I'm going to hold you soon. Definitely don't want to miss it. Thank you from Sharon. Sharon, on my schedule... I've got Jane from Elna in on tu Tuesday? Tomorrow? No. Next Tuesday. Oh, it's to be confirmed. So no. As soon as anyone comes in the office, I'll ask them. I'll ask them. Oh, honestly, I know. No one's more angry about it than I am. Uh, Jennifer says, I know three weeks without you in the... Oh, no. Three weeks without you in the morning will be awful. Sorry. Sorry. But I'll be back. At 13.96. Vix is going to be on in a couple of shifts. Oh, and Jarek will be doing a few more shifts for me, to cover for me. Because I'm covering for her on bank. I didn't, she didn't tell me it was bank holiday Monday, this Monday. She said, will you, do, will you do my shift on Monday? I'm going to a festival. And I was like, first of all, you're too old to get to a festival. And secondly, yeah, of course, well, forgot it was bank holiday, didn't I? So I mean, Sunday and Monday. But 
They won't tell me what it is, but we've got Bank Holiday Bonanza. Just thinking. Just thinking. Morning, John and team, says Jackie. Have I read that one out? That's Jackie and the Wirral. Right, let's do... Hang on, no, no, no. We've got, we've got to be very organised today. Yeah. Right, here's today's menu. Coming up today, we've got Dan Morris Fabrics at 8 o'clock. Brand new. Now, are they both Dan Morris? Oh, now, it's funny, isn't it? Because they're, they're going to appeal to two very different people. If you love one, you won't love the other one, I don't think. Say that again. Oh, no, some items are close to selling out on the first hour. Nine o'clock, we've got an applique master class. Now, should that be a mistress class with Cara Delevingne? Uh, uh, no, we're doing... Uh, right, well, well, it's not on pre-order yet, but we're doing this cushion. It's cute, isn't it? As soon as somebody replies to Kat's email, we will put it on pre-order. Oh, look, Elliot's gone to town with the close-ups on that one. Then at 10 o'clock, we've got fabric collections. Oh, that's beautiful. That's bundles of gorgeous fabric at 10 o'clock. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got soft bear cushions. With, oh, hang on. Now we've got to be careful which picture we're showing. Oh, that's right. I've got, there, there's Elliot. Now, is it, have you got the one with me on it as well? Oh, well, Elliot. And there's those from the book. It comes from that book, doesn't it? They all come from that book. So let me just explain. Say that again. Now, uh, so we've got that, that fluffy one there. We've got it in pink and grey and ochre. That teddy bear there, we've got in pink and blue. And that one there, we haven't got a kit for it. We've got some linen for that as well. So we've got all that coming up in Cara's second hour. And then I'm going home after that. What's then? What's next? Oh, kits. Oh, I'll tell you loads of lovely kits in that last hour. I know, I know, I know. So there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by email. That is studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. The next one is by Facebook Live, which are all the ones I've been shouting out. Donna Elizabeth says, morning, John and team. Oh, and did you see my Facebook Live? Yes, on Sunday, we, we got a winner. We got a winner for the native lamp, lighting lamp. Uh, then the third way is you go to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. Click on watch the show live, Dan Morris Fabrics with John Scott. Excuse me, what's that to the right hand side there? Could you have a look and have a check for me? There's the early bird. Now, how many are left, did you say? Ten left of those, that's all. Ten left. Oh, sorry, before I do that, see the little box on the right-hand side there? You can say, please enter a message and try again, Cat. Oh, anyway, keep going down. Right, scroll down the page, right? There's the early bird, which is... Right, look. Now, in a minute, there'll be two columns. One on the left will say show deals, and the one on the right will say pre-order. At the moment, it's all on pre-order. There's the first Dan Morris one there. Monkey biz. Monkey biz. Oh, that's almost sold. I haven't even seen that one. Oh, that's clever. Then look at this one. Look at this. So lovely. Now, Kat has volunteered to make a shirt for me out of that fabric. Now, it's I should, there'll be no collar, no cuffs and no sleeves. Right, but that one comes in two colours, look. Dark salmon, look. Dark salmon. Uh, that's all. The, look at the thimbles. It's lovely fabric. Look, 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 look. Oh, look at that patchwork fabric. Look. Looks like, oh, like that looks like Kat's bathroom. She's got tiles like that in her bathroom. Anyway, that's our one. Our two is not on. That's still our one. Our two is not on pre-order yet, but we'll put it on the minute we get the go-ahead to do it. Here are the bundles from our three. I know. I will be packing as we go in that hour. Exactly. But I've got the bags here. Then we've got Cara doing the fluffy, uh, what's it called? Oh, it's called Duo Bear. Is that because you make two? They've got that, somebody in the, in the office, has got, they keep writing Duo. Oh, but there's no Duo on the red teddy bear. They've got this thing about um, Duo. It's, it's appeared on lots of things last week, didn't it? Anyway, scrolling down the page. That's all the Cara's out. Then... Kits revisited. Look, time for tea is there with free instructions. Uh, what else? Oh, we've got those lovely, oh, so beautiful. Remember that lovely, oh, what was her name? She was gorgeous. What was she called? That lovely embroidery lady. 
Oh, she was fabulous. I'll get the date and I'll get... Gemma, was it Gemma? Oh, she, I hope she's coming back soon. I love Gemma. She was brilliant. She was all nervous, right? And then she sat down and she was brilliant. She was just there. Oh, look, we've got the tote bags. Tote bags are back. Uh, what else in that hour? Let's have a look. Aprons. They Now, yesterday, they did aprons. Yesterday, so busy. Oh, look, the Amber makes a needle thing. Uh, oh, seagull. Oh, got loads. Delphine, Delphine. Uh, what's what? Quilt as you go. That was very popular yesterday as well. We just, oh, look, the Alice Caroline. Oh, that's lovely, that cushion. You make two cushions out of that. Uh, there's uh, Yvonne McAdamonese. McAdamonese placemats. Living in loveliness. There. Oh, there's a bit of everything in there. Oh, now, you've got, if thinking of Christmas presents, quilt and starter kit, you've got to get that. $19.99 for three, all three items for $19.99. I know. What else is there? Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Right. Lynette says, good morning from South Africa. Oh, morning. Oh, I had such a lovely time when I did a film in South Africa. I can't tell you. It was Ghost in the Darkness. We were based in the Song in Velo Game Reserve. And I lived in Bad Plas. Bad Plas. Which means, not bad place. It means water ha bath place. No, it wasn't Steph. We go so beautiful. No, it wasn't her name. Morning, lovely team. Just watching. Oh, no, might have been. Because Gemma might be the lady who owns it. The owner's called Steph, is it? Morning, lovely team. Just watching while I wait for the shopping delivery man, then off to work. It's lovely and sunny this morning, says Sylve. It's beautiful here as well, Sylve. So the sooner we get going, the sooner we can be out of here and enjoy the rest of the day. Because you've, you've got some five hours of me. Not Elliot can't. Elliot's got lots of work to do this afternoon. It's work. Anyway, but we can't complain because Elliot brought his Starbucks this morning. We'll know about it for the next six months, but he definitely brought, he'll have written down the date and how much it cost him and everything. It was lovely, Gemma. It was lovely, Gemma. Are we, now, which one are we doing? The monkey or the sewing? Sewing first. Do you want doing the black or the peach? Right, on, on, pre do up. Right, the panel on its own is already sold out. So this is a bundle where you get a panel. You get, here you go, you get the big sewing machines. We're all in different places. Everything's moved again, hasn't it? Hang on. Elliot was a right old time the other day. Anyway, black sewing machines. Oh, look, fancy buttons. Now, I wonder why that one's not in that one there. Who bundled these? Then we've got the pack. I'll open these in a minute. Patchwork fabric. Then we've got the stripy fabric. Oh, look at that thimble fabric. So you get a panel and two and a half metres of fabric, right? Let's have a look at this then. There you go, Bad Plas, Bath and Farm, directly translated, yep. Yeah? Jan says, morning, John and team, thanks for being my alarm, shout out, that's fine. Alison Marion's watching. Oh, she's done a delivery this week, she's got loads. What day is she in? She's in, um, it's not tomorrow, it must be in one next day after that. <gasps> oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. No, no, it is a panel, but what's that machine there? Oh, I see, it's a cobbler's machine, I've got it. I've got it now, I couldn't quite... She next Tuesday, Alice and Marion. So you get the panel. Beautiful, beautiful panel, isn't it? Um, and then you get half a metre of each of the fabrics. It's, it's, I can't tell you how beautiful this fabric, fabric is. That one's a cobbler's one. That one there, if you're doing shoes, that's like a leather, leather work. That's one with a spindle. Message from Julie. Uh, morning, John. Nurse Julie here. Order my stash again. I keep saying no, but you keep on bringing gorgeous fabrics. Just can't help it. Nurse Julie, I'm on all day for three weeks soon. No, no. Yeah, three weeks, yeah. Good morning, everyone. We're back in good time. See the early bird for once. Luna's gone back to bed because she knows everything about sewing. She do Luna's a dog, by the way. Luna! 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 Squirrels! Squirrels! At the window! Squirrels! She'll be out of her bed now. This machine here, I have no idea. Fantasy machine, beautiful. Oh, what? There's only seven of these bundles left. Look at that, I love that one. Tiles, I don't know what they call it. Have I got these fabrics by the half metre as well? Oh, I have got the fabric by the half metre, that's good. Next Tuesday, John, she got visitors this week, so needed the space. <laughs> Blime. It was so funny, right? So she came in to do a delivery. Oh, uh, Alice Marion, thank you so much for my lovely, um, she's done a square for a mile skirt. Um, um, 
She came in, that's what you're doing here. She said, I'm just delivering a few bits, but uh, she said, there's no cage we put on. So Ian's told me to put it on his desk. I went through in the next break and Ian's desk was piled high like this. Well, that's all for next week's show. Right, look at the thimbles. These are, they look like Roman for some reason. That, that's saying Roman thimbles. Elaine, oh, it's not a cobbler's machine. There was one like that on the repair shop. It's an early sewing machine. Oh, because it looks like a cobbler's machine, doesn't it? Where they just have the one bit because when they make shoes they do them on a little thing like that thank you Elaine then Claire says good morning John and all oh these are so lovely aren't they Th this doesn't seem enough money 46.99 anyway half a meter half a meter half a meter half a meter there should be five of those one two three four Right, hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's your five fabrics. It's actually two and a half metres of fabric there, plus your panels. Whoops. <laughs> Nearly lost the whole display unit then. Right, Mandy, do you want it to the edge of the gold or do you want it to the edge of the picture? The edge of the gold there is nine and three quarters by ten and a quarter. But if you want it to the black line in there, that's nine and a quarter by nine and a half. Beautiful, listen, I've only four bundles left. When you've all checked out, I've got four bundles. I've got it in the salmon coming up in a minute as well, but the panel's the same as this. This is the only way you can buy the panel, by the way. Oh, oh, it's, oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. The panel in the next one's different. I thought it was the same. It's got cream round here in the next one. There's only three of these left. Okay, I can come back. I can come back and recap. While I'm folding it away. Right, Kat, where's the bag for this one? <laughs> right, these are lovely. For now, I, oh, no, I can't back to it yet because I've got to do them by the half metre in a minute. I'll do the light bundle first, <coughs> and then I'll go through and do the half meters. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> There's a bit of fluff on this uh, beautiful fabric. Look at all those buttons. Oh, no! Right, okay, I haven't even shown you the light one yet, and there's only four of the panel in the light one left. I'll do that next. Hang on. I'll be with you in a second, caller. Elliot gets bored watching me folding things. It's funny, he never gets bored of Amy tidying the house or folding at home, doesn't he? Right, so now this one, the light panel, there's only four of them on their own. You can still get them in the bundle, but there's only four of them on their own. So there's the bundle in this one. So you get the panel. Now this time you get the sewing machines on salmon, the buttons on beigey cream, the stripy fabrics, with on the other one it's black there, it's got the salmon in that one. Thimbles on cream. Oh, this one's got a different one. This one's got uh, threads instead of the patchwork. This one's got threads. It's lovely, isn't it? Right, so of the, these bundles, there's 13 left, and how many of the panels? Oh, sorry, sorry. I can hear voices. There's somebody in the office. Four of the panel left. Four of the panel left. But the other bundle has now completely sold out. But I have got the fabrics by the half meter if you missed out. Don't worry. Now, remember, if you buy any of our bundles, they've already been pre-cut, you won't get, you'll get two half metres of each of the fabric and two panels already cut. Just so you know. And if you've not got anything yet, Leah, still today, you'll get your booklet as well. Worth over £150. If you used all of them. Ooh, my thumb's throbbing. Dawn, it's our 36th wedding anniversary today. Surely that means you can treat yourself. Dawn, Dawn, I had a message from your husband. He said, buy whatever you like. He said, he'll treat you, buy whatever you like. 36 means, you know how each year, like one is paper, two is cotton. 36 means it's buy anything you like from Stone Street. 
That's what I heard. Don't take it as gospel, but that's what I heard. 36 years, can you imagine? You've been married nearly all my life. If I'm 41, I could have been your page boy. Well, no, actually, if it was 36 years, I'd have been a bit old as a page boy. I'd have been the big old fat page boy lolloping down the end. Single figures for this b b bundle now. Elliot's going to be what? Elliot says he wants me as his page boy when he gets married. Yeah, I'd wear the kilt. I'd, oh, panel sold out on its own. Panel sold out on its own. Only way to get it is in the bundle. And how many bundles have I got left? Eight bundles left now. Oh, it's busy today. Right, so fabrics on their own. Shall we do thimbles first then? So remember, I've got thimbles on cream and I've got thimbles on black. There's the two choices. At the moment, they're neck and neck on black first. Oh, now, did you want them keeping in their bundles? Oh, you can sort that out. So now, this is where you buy it by the half metre. It comes off the bolt. So if you want three metres, you buy six units. It's lovely. It's 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight cotton. Dan Morris designs for QT fabrics. Beautiful quality. Beautiful quality. Love the print. Do you know what? That'd make a lovely dress. Really lovely dress. Like a Prada wrap dress or a Diane von Furstenberger wrap dress. Lynette saying what lovely fabric it is, isn't it? Ah, uh, uh, excuse me, six ninety nine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is there nobody there yet? Oh, Have you asked? Ask them then. Ask them about the cushion, so we can put it on pre-order. Oh, not our Haley. Right. Okay. I've been saying for months and months and months, right? Uh, the fabric's going to be going up in price because everything around the world's going up in price. Six ninety nine for half a metre. It's brilliant, isn't it? And it's good quality. QT Fabrics do really... And Dan Morris. Dan Morris does gorgeous designs, doesn't he? Six ninety nine. I'll put my hand in so you can see the size of the thimbles. Actually, well, no, they're a bit small for me. I was going to say they're life-size, but they might be if you've got little fingers. Do I what? Book it. Do I have to wear a book it on my finger? A book it. Right, okay, then we've got the cream one. Remember, you're getting it by the half metre, not by the fat quarter. Oh, there you go, I'll just fill the screen with it. There you go. Not filled, where, 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 where? Hang on, where am I looking? Oh, here. There you go. Where, where, where? Here. There you go. There you go. I'm thinking you make an outfit out of the black one, you bind it or pipe it in this one. Or you do um, collars and cuffs in this one. Make a little bag to keep your thimbles in. I went through a phase where people bought me symbols. I ended up with hundreds of them. I only use the same one all the time. Good morning, gorgeous. Oh, what's she watching? I'm so glad I turned the hoover off. Uh, it's called, uh, excuse me, Julie. It's called a vacuum cleaner, unless it's made by Hoover. <laughs> oh, excuse me, unless it's made by Hoover. Uh, I bought some of the lovely fabric, cheered me up no end. Lots of from Julie in Surrey. Oh, Julie, big kiss, don't be down. What day is it, Tuesday? Ooh. I can't believe I had a, whole, had a whole day off yesterday and I don't feel like I've had any time off at all. Uh, Kat's got two days off coming out. Right, so now I've got the stripey one. What's the matter? Say, tell her no. Right, here we go. So we've got, look, we've got them in these two colours. The salmon and the black. Start it with the black one. Now, I'll just hold this one up, Elliot. So you can see how the stripes go. So they go down the fabric, but the icons are on their side if you go down the fabric, if you see what I mean. Make lovely ribbons out of that, couldn't you? So you've got the sewing machines, you've got the buttons. 
I'm not quite sure what they are. What are they? Oh, blocks, are they? No. And then you've got your mannequins. What are they there? Do you reckon they are? Oh, they're there. They're there, look. They're there in the big thing there. Don't know what they are. Oh, no, no. It's much better. It's not much better now the plaster's on. Oh, I can't tell you. It's much better. It was because it kept getting caught because it's quite a deep gash. I know. It's not been bleeding this morning, though, but it, just keep, I, it would have done because it got caught on something. And when I put my, what's that stuff called? Sanitizer on early. I nearly went through the roof. I know. Elliot laughed. What's the matter? Oh, now, uh, Kat can't get Facebook to work. I've got mine working, all right? Except it does say that Alison Marion has gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 times it tells me Alison Marion's checked in. She'll be doing a housework because she's got people coming to stay, won't she? I wonder who it is. I wonder who she's got coming to stay. What's the matter? What's got your last name in it? Oh, yeah. Anyway, moving on. I've got it all. So the black's more popular than the um, pinky one or the peachy one. There you go. Now, remember, it's by the half metre. How many? Oh, be careful. Not got many of these left. Oh, not again. I'll switch off and watch on the TV, she says. No, because then you'll put your feet up, Alice and Mary and Mary and Alison. You won't get any work done. Can't put your feet up on a Tuesday. Pauline at Sewing Street. Sewing Street. Hi, John. Good morning. I think the two thimble patterns would look lovely as a waistcoat for you, John. Pauline in Swansea. Collector. Do you know who would like them? Derek, but he's at school. He's teaching today. Well, they're back at school in Scotland, aren't they? Got all those kids have gone back to school in Scotland. And we found out that in Scotland you still have to wear your face mask. And Wales found that out, didn't we? We did a face. Wouldn't these be lovely? Would these be lovely, wouldn't they? For, oh, the thimble one would be lovely as a face mask. Or face covering, sorry. Right, I'm going to do the buttons next. Now, there's not that much difference between these two colourways. One's on like a cream, but it is um, bur not burnished. What's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for when it's um, spl a bit splodgy? Mottled. Is it mottled? Yes, it's mottled. Thank you, Elliot. This is salmon. This is cream. We'll start with salmon. Blech. Right. Oh, look. Look. There's that pattern when I said, what is it? It's obviously just a fancy... Is it a button, though? That's, isn't that a bobbin, that one there? That's a square button on there. Also, you don't, can't see where my fingers are. It's wooden, though. Maybe it's just fancy. Just a bit of fancy. A bit of what you fancy does you good, eh, hey, Elliot? There's only four of the paler bundles left now. So black bundle sold out completely. And there's four of the, and the panels have all sold out on their own. And there's four now of the lighter bundle. That's it. Buttons on cream now. All went to the podiatrist, the shropodist yesterday. And it was lovely yesterday, but my feet are sore today. I think she, when, you know, they get their scalpel and they just do that. Oosh. I love it. I love it. But I think she might have taken a bit much off. And I did that oh, 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 when I got in as well. Oh, oh, my COVID test, fine. But I'm getting better at it now. I didn't gag yesterday. Yeah? Six ninety-nine. Elliot says he still hasn't got the hang of it. Gags every time. But it's good, I'm getting used to it now. Oh cat, I don't believe you. Also, I found out, I found out as well, I don't need a PCR test to fly on my holidays. I was panicking, thinking, imagine, imagine after all this time, and then the day before I go on my holidays, and so I'm in a 
super, I'm not going to put it out there because it's not going to happen. But it doesn't matter because I can just get on the airplane. But coming back, so imagine if I'm in Catalonia and I can't come back. My mum, I'm going back years and years and years ago, she was on holiday and Freddie Laker um, went, they won't know who Freddie Laker is, was a, uh, was a what's this, flying thing. Uh, he went bankrupt and he, she got stuck on holidays for an extra two weeks. Yeah? Imagine if I got stuck in Catalonia for an extra two weeks. Mind you, I don't know where I'd live. I hadn't thought of that one through. They have to put you up, I suppose, won't they? Oh no, the patchwork one's sold out. The, bun the panels have sold out. So I've only got these two and cotton reels to show you now. Oh, what, what? Oh, hang on, what, what's the matter? Of which, this? Oh, okay, not of the b bundle. Is it pattern weights? Oh, they could be pattern weights, Kay. They could be. These are sewing machines, though. These are sewing machines on black. Oh, excuse me. Dan Morris, so lovely. Sewing machine, toss on black. Oh, Willow, sorry. I won't talk about my feet anymore. The colour difference showed better on my phone than the TV. Oh, Susan, you have to buy a new TV. Six ninety nine. This is lovely, isn't it? This is black. This is black, Sue. Uh, but all the colours in there are amazing, aren't they? That's like, that looks like a Dan Morris batik in there, doesn't it? Oh, look, there it is. It's the turny throttle thing on the front of the machine. Look. Let me hold this one up for you because this is very, very popular. Dress making, quilt making, a sewing machine cover making. Hydrant cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. I thought I'd get all that out before Kat started witching down my ear. She hasn't, I haven't seen a, a coffee yet this morning. She's had a coffee and she's had fresh orange juice. Oh, not fresh, but out of a carton, you know what I mean? Oh, do you know what? I don't know what's the matter with me. I'm getting all pimply. I was about to say, I've been around the young people too much, but Kat thought that's her. Oh, Helen doesn't like feet either. Oh, sorry. Over half the stock of this one's gone. And, and also, 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 the bundle's sold. So you can't get in the bundle anymore. Um, and now we're taking less than 10 metres now. Less than 10 metres of this, that's very popular. Where did she go? I don't know what's going on with my hair this morning. Um, it is a bit of a mess, isn't it? Not unlike Elliot. Oh, I'll bring Elliot on later. He's had his hair done. He's been for a hairdo. He looks about 60 years younger. Still looks about 50, but you know. 6 99 He's not going to show you a close-up now. He's in a mood now. And I've got a whole, a whole other fabric collection too before Cara comes on, so I'll hurry up. Uh, uh, well, it's not... Oh, on the salmon, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I wouldn't call this... I, I don't eat salmon, but I wouldn't call this salmon... I suppose it looks like tinned salmons from the 1970s. That's what it is. Lovely. Look, there's, that, there's those circular things there, look. Message from Karen. Morning, John and all. Trying to be good today. Sitting on my hands and telling myself I don't need it. I don't think I'll hold on. Karen in Dumfries and Galloway, it's all going to be gone. If you, dare, if you want it. Now, the only thing I'm going to say to you is never, ever stretch yourself too far. There's nothing worse than the money worries. The amount of times I've woken up at four o'clock in the morning panicking about it. Do you know what I mean? So don't push yourself too far. But if you want it, uh, it's selling out. It's selling out. Moving on. Right, I've only got cotton reels left to show you now. En bleu. Third, the stock of this one's already gone. Oh, it's lovely, this one. So lovely spools, they're called. Isn't she lovely? Crazy Lorraine's up, everyone, at 20 to 9 on a Tuesday morning. There's only 12 metres left there. Their whole collection's going to be sold out by the end of this show. Isn't that incredible? First time we brought it to air... 
and it's going to sell out on the first show. What? Oh, as soon as I know anything about the 680, I'll let you know. We don't know. We don't know. Well, I know well, one thing we are doing is when they arrive, we have got a lot of them, apparently. Just they haven't... The thing is, they're in the country. Oh, my garden furniture! No, not here yet. It's arrived in the UK. It's arrived in the UK. Do you know what? You know what's going to happen, don't you? They're going to mess with you going, we can deliver it on the 11th. And I'll be like, I'm on a beach in Catalonia. Right, that's that collection. That's that collection done. Both bundles now sold out. Panels have now sold out. And a, for only five metre black sewing machines left. Right, let's do the red one of these then. So they're completely different now. Compl still by Dan Morris, but completely and utterly different, right? This one's called Monkey Biz on the red. Now, Kat's had this in the gallery for the last... Kat, Kat's already got this one because she's got it in the gallery. Look! <laughs> so you got there's cat in a little party frock. There's Elliot with his hair cut. Oh look, now I've got a picture of me and Elliot like that. We did one this morning, didn't we, Elliot? Elliot was the big one in the front, and I was the little one at the back. Then we've got Vix, Vix, amazing. So hang on, so which one's going to be Hannah? Hannah will have to be that one there then. That's Hannah. So she doesn't smile that often. So who's left? Who's left? That's, uh, that's uh, Rory from the office. No, he's not called Rory. Ryan from the office. There's no little... Oh, that would be little Paul. That would be little Paul behind there. Except he's smiling. That definitely won't be little Paul. wonder what he'll moan about tomorrow. So and I only change, I've only shown you the panel because it's part of a bundle. Look, you also get, <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> you get splodges, you get badges. That'd be lovely for buttons, wouldn't it? Covered buttons. Then you get the stripes, then you get the, fl oh, there's more in this one. Oh, no, five, that's right. And then you get this one and this one. <laughs> They're all folded. <laughs> Cats just said, John, the one that's folded is patchwork. This one is patchwork. It's in both bundles, so don't panic. It's in the same colourway in both bundles. Look. Oh, look. I've got it by the half metre as well. Not much left of that one, but because it's in both bundles, that's why. Cat put it into both bundles. Oh, isn't that lovely? Now, in the bu oh, oh dear me, excuse me. <clears throat> in the bundle, you only get half a metre of it. But if you buy it, buy the half metre, you can buy a couple of metres of it if you wanted to. Oh, I'm very dry today. <coughs> I'm Mr. Cowan. I knew it wouldn't last. A whole set of monkeys coming my way. Well, John, who can ever say no to anything with Morris. Dan Morris, you mean. Dan Morris, yeah. Okay, hang on. That's, that's bundle one. So what we call that bundle then? Red. Red. That bundle's called red. I'll just fold that up because I'll go through all that in a minute. Then I've got beige. Oh, what's we called it? Cream. Well, now I'm just thinking that to go lovely, if you got the beige early bird, <coughs> it's sold out now. <coughs> oh, excuse me. This would have been a lovely backing to your quilt if you didn't. If you'd used that in the, th the what was it? Three and a half meters, two and a half meters. We had earlier. Anyway, doesn't match that. It's sold out. Doesn't match. It's sold out because it's this color look. So this is the one with the cream backing, beige backing. Morning, John and all. Glorious day here at last. Super sunny in Suffolk. Now, Stuart, how are you feeling, Stuart? How are you feeling now that Love Island's over? And were you as, I'm not going to give anything away because people might have watched it, not watched it yet because Princess doesn't watch it times at the time. Are you annoyed like Cat's annoyed? I'm not saying anything else. I didn't watch it. Well, it was obvious, wasn't it? Anyway, look. So there's your panel on your cream. Oh, and there wasn't, there a, oh, I won't say anything, but wasn't there a twist at the end? They said on Yahoo yesterday there was going to be a twist.
It said on what? Yahoo. Now, I've already got Yahoo. Yeah, is that not right? When I, well, no, no, well, no, I don't know if it's my web browser. When I put, when I put my uh, internet inbox on, it comes up with all the Yahoo news. Is that not right? Are we not supposed to do that? Elliot's, oh, is it old? What should I be on then? Anyway, th this is the cream bundle. This is exactly the same as the fabric in the other bundle. I like that colour behind there, look. So this is the bundle, 42 99 Got to get a move on. Right, panel on their own first, which is this one, cream. Panel on its own, cream. 8 99 for a panel. That's good. 60 centimetres in size. And now, obviously, if you buy two... They don't come joined together. Just remember that with the panels. The rest, oh, if you buy the rest by the half metre, they obviously come joined together, but the panels don't come joined together. So there's the cream panel. I've also got the panel in red, which is this one. What? What are you saying? What's it got to do with Thierry Henry? Oh, look, everyone's saying now, Yahoo, that was from the olden days. Well, that's what my computer does automatically. So I have to change it, do I? I don't even know how to change my browser. I was very pleased. I think it was obvious who'd win, really. Not sure what I'll do at 9 till 10 now. Well, sure, they'll be at Dancing on Ice, will be on soon. Oh, no, will it? Yeah, dancing on... Oh, no, Strictly first. Strictly will come first. Reds are more popular. Ah, oh, my computer's massive. Oh, no, I've got a tower. It's not that old. It's new, the computer. It's a big, it's a big screen like this that sits on my desk. Like this. But it only sits on my desk and there's a keypad here. There's nothing there. Pop round, Elliot. And it's saying, he was only saying the other day, he's the only person who's not been to my house, so, right. The patchworky one, which is the same on both, he says. <coughs> no, no, it is, but I can't find the first one, that was all. Only got, oh, listen to me, I do apologise. <coughs> I've only got two and a half metres left of this one. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Because it's in both bundles, so you can only have two and a half metres if you want it by the half metre, you know, like a piece. Who got married yesterday? Ask Jeeves. Oh, I've not used that in years. Kat says, good morning, I got married yesterday. Ah, And you're sitting here watching us on the first day of your honeymoon. You should be getting breakfast in bed, you shouldn't be sitting here watching me. 6 99 Geo multi fabric, they've called it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move on because that's going to sell out. Right, let's go to the happy faces on red and on cream. Oh, yes, I've got it in three colourways, that one, sorry. Right, so which one am I doing first? Red. There you go. <coughs> No, you see, Princess hasn't watched the final yet, so we can't talk about who won. At 6 99 Oh, hang on. You've gone... What's the, what did you say? I don't, I don't know what you were saying. Oh, oh, I thought you were talking about Faye off... Um, off what's it? Okay. six ninety nine for half a metre. Have you found a picture of him yet? Right, okay, so that was it on the red. Now I've got it on the cream. Well, it's more stone than cream, I'd say, this one. Have we called it cream? No, light taupe? We called it light taupe. Don't tell me that one's called dark taupe. <laughs> Who's that from? Angela, Angela, 
I'm so with you. Six ninety nine. Have we really called it dark taupe? Mushroom, I'd call it. Just taupe, this one. It's lovely. I like this one. Imagine those. If you made little covered buttons using those, they'd be nice, wouldn't they? Oh, do you know what you could do? You could bag them out, stuff them a little bit, bag them out and have them hanging on a string. Instead of gemstones, you could have them hanging on a string down your bedroom wall. Cat's got very quiet. Okay, no, cat's going to order. No, Vix. Vix. Was it Vix, Shay? No, I didn't watch the final. Cat's filled me in on every single minute of it, though, this morning. No, I've, I cancelled it all. But after they were, after they, no, I couldn't watch it again after they were horrible to Faye. Right, now the next fabric now, hang on, it'll have to be, I have no, because the stripe, no, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've only got stripes in one colourway, so let's do that next then, that's done. So this only comes in the one colourway. Oh, Vix, did you see the picture that we said was you? Here, here you are. Look, hang on, let's do it the right way up. So these are all the people that work here. Oh, little Paul's been cut off this one. So there's Vix and Maisie. Oh, ha oh hang on, Hannah's been cut off this one as well. No, no, because Hannah's one and the other one had little teeth marks on it. Oh, that, they've simplified it for that one, haven't they? Oh, hang on, that, that colour dress wasn't on the other, the other one. I can indeed. Comes by the half metre, remember? Look. Cat says, I'm waiting for the husband to bring me my breakfast in bed. He had to run out to get some milk. Oh, that wasn't very organised on your on your wedding morning or the wet morning after your wedding morning. It's the first day of the rest of your life. Cat wants just to, oh, it's all Cat wants to be married. She doesn't care who to, but she just wants to be married. Well, Liam's never going to ask her, is he? <coughs> he said you can have a holiday or an engagement ring he said that's not very nice is it she said a holiday <laughs> and hurry up and get the net put the net over the yard so the cat can go outside right okay I don't know which one you're calling pom-poms yeah but I've got it in two different colours look three oh hang on no are they flowers then are they so here's the pom-poms these two Only four and a half metres of the red one left. Cute, isn't it? Puffs on Garnet, this is called. Puffs on Garnet. So January's birthstone. Eh? But Garnet, that's an unusual word, name. How does he know that red Garnet even exists? Because he's not like us. He's not GIA trained, is he? Okay, and then I've also got it on. What's this? Puffs on what brown? Taupe. Puffs on taupe. It's not taupe and they're not puffs. What do you think they are then? What did you call them? Pom-poms? Yeah, that's a better thing. Morning, John. Have you seen Celebrity MasterChef? No, Anne, I haven't. Has, have any of them been booted out yet? Because uh, Patrick Grant's on it, isn't he? Oh, and, and so Sue Pollard. Oh, what, the celebrity one or the real one? Oh, now, um, Elliot, this is very controversial, he hates the British MasterChef, both celebrity and normal, because he doesn't like Greg Wallace. You don't like John Trode? Oh, John Trode's lovely. Oh, he's lovely, John Trode. And he ran off. He's not ran off. He's got a, he's, his other half. His, I work with his other half. Faulkner, Jenny Faulkner. Right, and then this is the last fabric here. Very quickly, because Cara's waiting to come on, look. So what have we called this one then? Oh, this one's called pom-poms now. Pom-poms on tan. Oh, he was having a funny day. Bubbles on brown, Fiona calls the, called the last one. This one's called pom-poms on tan, apparently. Okay, so this is why Elliot's not a presenter. 
Elliot would call this one belly button fluff on cream. I'm surprised you've even seen your belly button for years. I haven't got any more. Oh, yes, have. It's fallen down here. Oh, maybe I haven't shown this one. This one was on the floor. <laughs> here we go. Belly button fluff on. What colour is this one then? Pom poms on taupe. What's the matter, Elliot? At six ninety nine. It's all right. We're going for a break now, Elliot. Oh, Anne, I won't read that out in case people haven't seen it yet. I don't know who that person, the third person was. Is Will, is Will Young in it? Is Will Young in it? She's mentioned Patrick, she mentioned Sue, but she's mentioned Will. I don't know which Will she means. Is it Will I Am? Right. Do I need to do anything else before Cara comes on or am I going? Oh, yes. That's this hour. Well, you just have to... All right, we'll have a powwow. We will see you. It's still not on pre-order yet. It's still not on pre-order yet. But after the break, we're doing this cushion with Cara. There it is. Oops, there it is. Uh, we'll see you in three minutes from now. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hello everyone, my name is Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. And I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again.
Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Hello everyone, my name is Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! I didn't mean Jenny Faulkner. Who's Jenny Faulkner? Apparently she's a Scottish, a Scottish radio presenter. Oh, yes, she's a friend of mine, Jenny Faulkner. She's not married to John Tarode. Lisa Faulkner is married to John Tarode. Jenny Faulkner's on Heart FM or something like that, isn't she? She used to be on, she used to do um, the Friday Lorraine show. I'm going back years now with lovely Ben, who does the um, tipping thing with the coins that come down. And, yeah, and he sometimes, it was really weird because whenever he, I used to do red carpets, I was always put in the, the slot. I used to have Edith Bowman on that side of me and Ben Shepherd on that side of me. Anyway, that's, that's by the by. And also the Will was Will from the repair shop. Not Will I Am and not Will, I pop idle Will. My brain this morning, what's he called? Will who won pop idle. Will Young, whose auntie, Wiggy, lives in my village. Oh, no, because when I first moved in, I looked out my, this is 10 years ago now, I looked out my window and I'm thinking, God, that boy just looks like Will Young. He's walking with Wiggy. I wonder why she's walking with, with it's not fun. Anyway, I saw her a few days later. I said, doesn't your, that boy you would look like Will Young? She went, because yeah, it was Will Young. He's my nephew. Anyway, now look, we've got some issues this hour. The, it's about to be sorted, but bear with us. You can't buy the kit yet. You can't buy the kit or the pattern yet. You will be able to in a minute. We're going to carry on with the demo. And the minute, the minute, the minute it becomes available, I'll shout it out and I'll tell you that you can do it, right? So this is the cushion that we're making. But we've also got wool mats. I'll, I'll take you through the other things that I've got in this hour. And then we'll get, let, get on with Cara with the um, thing. Wool mat, fabulous. These are brilliant. They are a bit smell like um, wet sheep when you first use them and everything. But um, it retains heat because what it does, you iron on it and it retains heat. So it's got heat coming from both sides. This is the big one, 52 99 It's 12 by 18 inches. You can pin to it. It's portable. Um, it's a really, really good value. It's 90% 
wool and 10% polyester. Uh, and uh, yes, you can you use it as a, as, as a normal pressing mat, but it, like I say, it retains the heat, retains the steam, so it, it kind of it heats from both sides. Put it next to your sewing machine. $52.99. We also have a little one, which is this one. So if you're thinking, oh, I've never tried one, try the, li <coughs> try the little one first. Cara's got the little one. There's the little one there. Let me move the big one out of shot. Brilliant for your applique piece. Have next to your sewing machine. $22.99, that one. £22.99. pence. Now, the other thing you'll need for a plique masterclass is Bonder Web. Always. Now, on the roll, five metres, this always sells out. We got hundreds of these in the other day, and I have, I've got less than half left now. Less than half of these left now. Twenty-three ninety-nine, five metres of Bonder Web. And it's really funny because I was out um, walking with Dulcie on... Um, Sunday evening, and we were talking about one of the costumes I made for the English National Opera, and she went, oh, you wreck, remember how you, because I used to share a house with Dulcie, see, um, you wreck the ironing board with Bondina. We used to call it Bondina. Oh, this one's called nothing. This one's called Vlizofix. This one's called Vlizofix. This isn't even Bonderweb. Yeah, no, but it normally says Bonderweb in there. We've called this, maybe they've changed the name to Vlizofix. Vlizaline, Vlisa fix. Anyway, twenty three ninety nine. They will all go. <coughs> Remember, everybody who buys today, if you didn't get one yesterday, we'll get one of these voucher booklets. And for the whole of September and October, there are different dates when you can use vouchers. Some are free P and P, some are money off, some are percentages off, and things like that. Right? We can do the cushion. We can do the cushion. It's been sorted. Well done, cat. Right, so I've got the bundle to start with. So you get the instructions, you get half a meter of cream, and you get the panel. Totally and utterly, the panel is totally and utterly exclusive to Sewing Street. There you go. There's your red for you, but oh, they haven't even put it into stripes for you this time. You've got to cut it out yourself this time. That's extra, that's the C. Right, be careful, be careful, be careful, because I need to tell you that uh, Cara did a Christmas one the other day. Was it Christmas she did? Yeah, gnomes. Gnomes, right? And 300 went before the show even started. So please be careful. Oh, we haven't got 300 of these. We haven't got 300 of these. Yeah. Cats had to fight for the amount that you've got today. She, her her, her um, affirmation card this morning, her morning mantra, said that she, was, she had to look out for a pleasant surprise because they were always there, but today's would ring true. Maybe that's hers. My angel card said I had to be efficient today. Anyway, so look. You get all of these. Hang on, you get all of that. The instructions, the panel, and that for 19 99 At 1999. You were there when she pulled it out and read it. Oh mine, mine, no, mine a little in a little bowl in my dressing room. And I go in in the morning and I put my hand in and I can shuffle them around like that and pick one out every day. If you're less than a hundred now already, less than a hundred already, which I know sounds a lot, but it won't be. It won't be. And it makes this. With this panel, look, just, there's that one there. There's the stripey one. Oh, who made this? Did you make this? Oh. Why? Well, your anchors are going the wrong way on the wing. <laughs> 1999. <laughs> That's made her laugh. Oh, my goodness. Right, now you can buy the pattern on its own. If you've got stash at home, <clears throat> you can buy the, the pattern on its own. 9.99 For Helen Newton Seagulls cushion instructions, you do get your templates, look. Oh, look at the seagulls. And then you've got all the templates here. Those are the ones that they stand on. Here, look, look, there. They're the little sea things. The birds sit on the top. There's the land mass. There's the cloud. There's the starfishes. Haven't the starfishes got a leg missing? Don't they have six legs? Oh, no. It's got its legs crossed. They what? It's got its legs crossed, okay. 
Got a message from Pat. Uh, hi, John, love to sign. It would look lovely in my caravan. Pat, mm. Pat, it would look gorgeous in your caravan. Put it there next to the window where you see the sea from your caravan. It'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Um, hang on, I'm missing something out. Oh, no, there you go. That sea extension there. Oh, I don't know what the sea extension bit is. We'll have to ask Cara about that. 19.95 the kit or 9.99 just for the pattern. Had to buy it. Good on you, Pat. Good on you, my lovely. Oh, now the only thing that's different about this one on this picture here. Oh, no, you see, you're right. You, the anchors are supposed to be going sideways. But look, the panel on this one has a different fabric around there. Oh, in fact, this one isn't made from the panel. This one is. This must be Helen Newton's original, this one. She's got a cliff on the other side, look, as well. I know, and oh. I've got a reason for that. Was that a deliberate mistake? Um, it's a deliberate, deliberate creative. A design um, creative, yeah, because yeah, she's yeah. got a boat on the same side, but behind the land mass. Well, let's, let's see if there's any other differences. <laughs> spot the no, difference. No, no, spot the difference, all right. Except that, wi that bird there's got blue, a blue wing on ours, and Helen wants it to have a red wing, really. Anyway, look, that's what you'll be making. Anyway, so there's the pattern. There's the bundle. Done the bond web. Let's get on with it, shall we? Cara is here with us today to give us a masterclass in applique. Well. <laughs> I love your frock, by the way. Oh, thank saying. you. When you thank arrived you. and you got in the car early, it's really because they can't see it at home because there's a pan. Uh, no, don't, no lift your, don't lift your leg up that high. <laughs> There's another panel of the darker fabric at the bottom, there isn't it? Is, it's really there nice. Is. But she's got her winter tights on today. I've got my tights on. But winter tights, like crochet Sorry. tights. Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> you right, can't see on. those either. No, you you're not going to those either. She'll dance on the table later. Yeah, yeah. All right, definitely. so I'm going to let you get on. I'm not going to interrupt too much in this because it's a masterclass in applique, isn't it? It is. Um, so what I thought I'd do is for those who've done um, free motion, um, I'm just going to re recap that for new people as well and go through the um, process within the instructions. Then the other side that I wanted to cover was hand stitching. Um, so actually hand appliquing. 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 <laughs> oh, it was going to be applied or applique. Yeah. Um, so some hand stitching and then also using different stitches on the sewing machine. Okay, that's why I'm not going to be talking very much. She's got 40 <laughs> minutes to do all of that. But there's lots of different aspects, so um, I try not to get too confusing. So I think we'll start with the basics. Okay. So that will be um, using the Bondaweb, um, which I love. I absolutely love Bondaweb. But I did find for um, doing hand stitching that Bondaweb was not necessarily the right fabric to use. So I actually am going to suggest for hand stitching that you might actually use just interfacing. Oh, okay. So um, that, that's just something that um, came to me when I was trying to put my needle through the bond away, especially if you've got more than, you know, a couple of layers. So the first thing you'll do, if you're going to do the um, free motion, which is um, what's included in the instructions, um, you will take your bond web, you'll take your pattern, and if you've got a light box, you might want to use a light box. Um, but just tracing through the bond web is really easy. Um, I use a crayon because if I use a pen or a pencil, my hands get filthy. Were you watching the other day when I was doing an impression of you doing this? No, what were you doing? Crayon. Crayon. I crayon. Get the crayon. I heard um, <laughs> I need to ask a question. Is this why your landmass is in a different place? Did you draw it on the wrong side of it? No, the actual pattern itself, I'll show you. Okay. Um, I think oh, I've so it's been changed for the pattern. Yes. So the original had the land mass on the right hand side. Yes. So if you <coughs> trace, so everything that you're tracing will be in reverse uh -huh. when you're doing bond web. So if you actually trace the pattern that I've done here, so that's that land mass there, if you can see that. Yeah. That's the shape. When you take your bond web off the back, so you trace, I'm, I'm just jumping ahead. Yeah, yeah, sorry. But yeah. that's okay. So I've traced my clouds off and then with paper scissors, just roughly cut round. Um, can I ask another question? I'm <laughs> going to be jumping somewhere else instead. But on here, it says C extension. Yes. And I don't understand what that means. I mean, you that's might explain fine. it when you come to the C, yeah. but don't forget it when you come no, to the C. No, 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 I won't. Brilliant. Um, 
Right, so I'm going to have the clouds. I've got some spare fabric left over, so I'm just going to do the clouds in this lovely aqua colour. Uh huh. Um, I hope that people will actually look at this design and remember the, this summer, especially if you've been away in the UK. Um, have we you had know. summer yet? Oh, we have, we have. We were away last week in Somerset oh, lovely. and we went on the beach and had fish and chips on the beach oh. and all the seagulls came and were just waiting for us to sort of start eating. Yeah. Um, and the day went from beautiful sunshine to pouring down with rain. Oh, but no. it was still just beautiful. And, you know, this really sort of en encompasses to me the you know, the summer um, the British summer, yep. really. So I've actually used my lovely little, oh, this is so good, so, so good. And yep. a nice little iron, this is lovely for um, a black Back in stock, work. the iron's back in stock, available on the website. So you press the um, paper side of the bond web with the glue side onto the wrong side of the fabric. Uh -huh. And then you will cut this out roughly. There's your mini iron graphics. <coughs> and then you'll cut it out on the line. The reason why you had such a large piece of um, the uh, bond web going round the outside of the shape was that you want your glue to go right to the end. Okay. And then once that's all been adhered, you'll cut that. And you'll do that with all the pieces. Now, when we come to that land mass, I'll show you. Mm -hmm. Actually, on the pattern, the land is the other way round. So you can either do as I've done for the cushion and put it on the other side of the picture or the, the cushion, um, or you can trace it on the other side of the bond web yeah. and have it on the right side. The other side. Not the, the other right side. side. Sorry, the right side. <laughs> <laughs> the other side. Um, so, as I say, that your cloud and just cut that out and you'll do that for all the pieces if I show you on this one you can see that the landmass I actually trace that onto the other side of the bond oh, okay because yeah. when I come to peel the paper off the back of this I'm left with the glue on this side you can see it's the other way around, yeah. which is why I've done it. Oh, why quite like now? Is there enough green to do it on both sides? I was just going to do that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and so if you like, you can actually do it so that you've got a nice inlet. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Yeah. So no offence, Helen Newton, to your design, <laughs> but I like it on both sides. She'll be watching, won't she? She's always watching. Um, she's, uh, she's away for a couple of days, I think she said. She said, I'm really sorry, she's not going to be able to oh, watch it. Okay. So we can say anything we like about her then. <laughs> She'll watch it, I'm sure, on yeah. catch up. So um, this silicon mat is lovely. I'm not sure if we've got that to um, sell, but it was really good. If you haven't got a silicon mat. Is that like the applique mat? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I haven't um, got it today, but it's on the website. Yeah. Or just very carefully just do that. Uh -huh. OK. Um, so my cloud, I'm actually going to do another cloud. So my cloud is in the same colour as the sea. So we rip the paper off the back and we can put the cloud in the sky as well. You see Elliot's just said he wouldn't put them level, like, I think they look lovely level like that, he would put the, the land mass, he'd put one much lower down. You could, definitely But Elliot. then it wouldn't look like a lovely inlet then. <laughs> it would make it more three dimensional. It's nice if you put that cloud on upside down as well isn't yes. it? Yes. <laughs> Looks like the Loch Ness Monster. Can you see? Can you see that? <laughs> I can. I say I can see a caterpillar, but <laughs> but clouds are never symmetrical. Or no. so there we go. So you've cut out all your pieces. You've cut to the um, crayon, 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 crayon um, edge, and then you apply it to your picture. You'll notice that I've got one seagull missing. That's deliberate, and yes. if I can find him. <laughs> I've got so many things on this desk. I have got, here we go. So I was just going to show you the last uh -huh. bit. So this is um, using 
the um, instructions that you've got, but as I say, there are different options. So we've got, so you'll follow the picture and you can see that you've got your seagull there in the lovely grey fabric. I'm going to pop him just up there. And then I'm hoping... Yeah, you see now, can. if you get your piece, this is why you need the picture, because you'd never guess that that was a seagull, no, would you? No, not that at was all. That one of those foam... When you go to an American baseball game or the, go to the, um, like the, 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 like the foam thing that go like this. Oh, right. Do you know what I mean? The bright yeah. green foam. Yeah. You get them when you go to see the... Um... <laughs> My, I can't do words. Is that a today. statue of liberty? Look, yes, that's exactly <laughs> what it was. That's exactly what it was. You buy the this same is a thing. game. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. We, John's going to actually make a shape and we've all God, got God, to guess, guess what, what it is. is. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing it now. We're not doing blobs now. No, no. So um, I'm just following the picture roughly. He's got his head over his back. So he's looking that way. Yeah. And he's got a lovely long orange beak. And then again, use the mat. Okay. So that's all the pieces been applied. The mm -hmm. next stage, so um, as I say, I'm just going to go through um, this particular side of things, um, is with a friction pen. Make sure that you've ironed everything that you want to iron. You don't want to um, sort of draw something on here and then find that you've got to iron something. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't matter because I'll show you. So I'm going to draw the legs there. Say I don't like them. I'll take the iron. They disappear. Oh, yeah. Okay. So use your pen to... Um, I won't do it where it's hot because That's it's warm, just yeah. disappearing <laughs> straight away. So do it, um, just you can play around with the um, position of the feet and the legs and everything. So you do the same here. Um, so any detail, so the eyes, the eyes here. Fiction eyes pen here. 399, there it is. So the um, upright part of the sailing boat, you can make a mark there. Um, so you can go round and if you're a little bit um, nervous about doing your stitching on top of this, use your friction pen. Your friction pen is your friend and it will help you. Um, there's some little pebbles on the beach as well, so you can draw those. And when you come to machine them, don't worry that you're going to sort of keep um, on the line because you'll afterwards you'll iron it and you'll get rid of the drawn line. Uh -huh. So lots of pebbles here. So this is the basic cushion. And that'd be a cushion. I suppose you could do some wall hanging. Oh, it would well be beautiful as a picture. Can you imagine mm. if you've got one of these old-fashioned um, beach huts? Oh yes. Oh yeah. my gosh, or a conservatory, um, or you're lucky enough to live by the seaside. Um, a picture like this would be lovely. Yeah. But once you've got your basic um, design from Helen, um, what you can do, we've made this up into a panel. We've used the red on the actual panel, the top and the bottom and the mm -hmm. sides. And then I've actually ironed um, H640 on 8640. the back. 8640. Because I love the effect. If you look at the cushion that we've got there, it's got a more three-dimensional yeah. effect to it. There you go, there you go, there it is. 9 .99 for one metre piece. Okay, so that's your basic panel. Lovely. Then what you can do is play around with it. And I've played around with it. I'm going to use my, oh. bigger, my bigger mat here. I am going to make a mess, but I will tidy it Don't up. Don't worry. Later. This is a big so, mat. So, and this is lovely because when you put all your pieces onto the um, panel, you want to be able to iron it in situ yeah. rather than try and lift it up and move it around. So what I've done is I've thought as a pair, so that's going to be my cushion that's going to be on my lovely sofa in my beach hut. All right. And this is going to be a picture that goes on the wall. Right. And you'll have quite a bit of the um, red left over. So what you could do is again, do a board around oh, nice. the outside, yeah. which would be lovely. 
Um, you could play around as well with the starfish. So you could actually do the starfish. You can do lots and lots of different things. But again, um, take your friction pen and draw your shapes and everything. Now, this is different because with this one, I've actually done it with um, medium interfacing. Oh, OK. OK. Um, so it's flatter. It doesn't give that lovely sort of... Um, curved effect or quilted yeah. effect but then you can start playing around with it um, you know you could maybe do a wall or something along the bottom or the um, what's um, there's a name for it that goes into the sea we're, we're no, doing yeah, really no, no, well no, so that. That. yes yes exactly <laughs> uh, Julie um, says morning John and Cara I adore a plea case so I'm watching intently oh so what you could do is do a wall or the wooden boardwalk Board, um, no, the one that goes into the sea, that stops the sea from eroding. Oh the yes, with the yes, I know, with, with the, the spiky bit. Yes. Well, this looks like the it's at the top of yes, those. Yes, doesn't yes, yes. That's it. what so I was trying to say yeah. earlier, like a breaker sort of thing. Yeah. So you, that's right. So you can put, um, you know, with your um, friction pen, you can actually draw that as well. Same with the legs there. And the actual um, posts that they're sat on, you can make that more three-dimensional. You're not going to be able to see this, but you can actually draw so it's more curved there. Can oh, yeah, yeah, that? so it turns into a 3D. Yeah. Yep. So you can do Break that. Breakwater, it's Oh, called. thank you. Thank you, Julia. Thank you. I knew there was a word for it. And then you can do sort of curved lines down the side there as well mm -hmm. so a lot of this will be brilliant for free motion okay yeah. so i thought i'd do a little bit of free motion using this picture right and um using the lines that i've already driven drawn driven drawn yeah dribbled <laughs> <laughs> definitely not got my words right so I'm going to do some free motion and then I want to move on to actually um, using just normal stitches on the machine and then on to hand stitching. Okay. That's okay. Um, aren't these lovely? The wooden things that go into the sea are called groins. Oh, there you go. They help stop the erosion of the beach. Thank you, Jojo. Excellent. Um, I love these. Oh, the essential threads. Yes, yeah. yes. So um, you can play around with colours as well. Um, but for this one, I've actually used the black. So, uh -huh. um, but if you wanted to, you could use um, these gorgeous, gorgeous Aurofil threads, um, you know, for your free motion. Uh -huh. okay. 33.99 there for 10 threads, exclusive to Sewing Street. Okay, I'm going to pop those in. So I've got the black on there. Excuse me. Oh. <coughs> Something in the air today, isn't there? It's fur fabric. <laughs> oh, that's what it is coming for later, yeah. Yeah, it's the fleece fabric. So with your machine, um, I would hope that you would have something that they call a darning foot or a free motion foot. Mm -hmm. But there are different ones with lots of different machines. So if you have a look at that there, um, there's another one like that. All right, yeah, lie it down, that's fine. Yeah. Um, there's another Where one. Whereabouts do you want it lying down, Elliot? Oh, there you go. Yep. Yeah. My, hand, my hand was in uh, The 680, when it eventually arrives, comes with them. But other machines, you can just ring your um, supplier and they'll be able to. The 780 comes with them. And also, um, you can obviously buy extra feet. But your yeah. machine might have something. Yes, exactly. Well, so that one comes with look. it. That one, 680, yeah. comes with it. Yeah. yeah. If your machine at home has got a darning foot, then, um, you know, it's worth having a look. Mm -hmm. And what I always say to people is, if you've not done it before, you've not done free motion before, practice. Mm -hmm. um, I've got somewhere, so I did a, just a sheet with the um, interfacing. I'll just cut that off. Carol's loving the panel. Thank you, Carol. So you'll thread your machine up. Um, usually I do a thread at the top and a thread at the bottom that match, um, just from the point of view that when you're stitching, no matter how careful you are, there could come a point where the thread comes through. And if you've got a light thread on the, the bobbin and a dark thread on the top, then that doesn't look yeah. quite good, you know, quite right. So, um, 
So you will thread your needle up. Um, your machine will automatically um, go to a stitch length. This particular machine goes to a stitch length. And you want to drop, these are called the feed dogs. Mm -hmm. You want to drop the feed dogs. And this one's got a lever on the right hand side of the machine. My machine at home has got um, a the, button the at the 550, back The 550, 560, 570 have the button where your machine has yep. it, yeah. Yeah, so um, you'll just drop those. And I don't okay. know if you can see. Yeah, we see. saw that. Yep. Yeah, they went down. OK. And that stops the machine taking your fabric through. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be determining how quickly your fabric goes through the machine. Mm -hmm. And um, these are wonderful as well. Oh, yeah, quilting gloves. We've only we've got the size uh, medium to large, but they're they're not big. Don't worry, they're no, not big. No, no. I mean, I, I'm not sure what because my hands are quite small, and I'm not sure how big these. I ones think you'll are. have the medium to large. Yeah, ones, yeah, yeah, which is good. So these really help you. I've got my medium interfacing. I've got my cotton fabric. And I'm just going to test the stitching. I put the foot down and you'll notice that the foot doesn't actually hit the fabric there. Mm -hmm. There is a gap between. But once you start putting your needle down towards the fabric, you can see that the foot goes down towards the fabric as well. I'm just going to move that thread out of the way. So as my needle goes down, and that's where you want to start. I'm going to put my needle in the needle down position. I'm going to turn the foot over. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's there. I am, I am, I am. And then um, this is, as I say, the machine knows that it, it's got this particular foot in and that you've got the, okay, the feed dog stand. Okay, if your machine isn't quite as advanced as 680 and, you, and your machine doesn't recognise it, what stitch length would you put your machine to? Um, it doesn't matter because doesn't you're matter. going to determine. Okay. Um, so I'd leave it as it is. Yeah. Um, when I'm starting, I normally do a couple of stitches in one position. So right. that's like a locking stitch. Right. And then you can start moving. Now, if I go quickly, the stitch length is very long. Right. Don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I'll bring yeah. it over to here in a minute. If you go slowly, the stitch length is very short. But you have more control. Mm -hmm. And you want to have your machine at a speed that you feel comfortable with. So I usually set mine up to about the middle of um, the speed on it yep. and um, I put my foot to the floor and right. then I know that I've got a consistent and it is consistency and that's all free motion is. So you're, but you're, you're using the needle as a pen yep. and you're moving the fabric as the paper underneath yes. it, aren't you? Yeah. Yes. Yes, absolutely. And what you do, um, now that I've tested that, I'm going to just take that off, move the foot up, bring it over. I'm not sure if you can see, but the stitch where I moved the fabric very quickly, the stitch length is long. Yeah. And when I moved it very slowly, it's very short. Yeah. Uh, but you can see that you can get very a, a lot of control. Um, you know, it is scary to mm, start with yeah. but don't be scared don't be <coughs> scared at all yeah it is terrifying when you do it for the first time because you're doing something completely alien yeah. to yourself you've been sewing for a long time uh cara did a locking stitch at the beginning do you do one at the end yes i usually um do a few stitches over and over at the end yeah um what i am going to do is i'm going to just draw around and again this helps you but you don't have to stick to that um, line because we're going to iron it afterwards yeah. and we're going to get rid of it. So I'm just going to do the bird here. Okay. So for his eye, I'm going to do a few locking stitches together. So again, I put my fabric underneath. I put the lever down there. There is a technical term for that, I'm sure. What's that? Press called? a foot. Press a foot. Yeah. But it doesn't. The actual foot doesn't press onto your, onto fabric, your fabric yet. Helen says, "I love Cara's demonstration. She's very clear in her oh, explanations." Now, you. Helen, 
I just wish I was braver in doing free motion. Helen, just practice. Try. Don't do a project. Just, just practice, practice, yep. practice. You soon get the hang of it. You do, you do. So then I'm just going to go over and over a few stitches, and that's the eye. Uh huh. And you can either, if you've got a self cutting um, machine, you can either. Oh, I've got these lovely scissors as well. Oh, yeah, little scissors. Uh, Susanna, uh, Suzanne says, I've done quite a few of Helen Newton's patterns now. I love them. The gloves are a must, though. Oh, she says, gosh. the gloves are a must. Yes. So what I'm going to do is then I'm going to follow the line around the bird. In fact, I think I'm going to start at the tail. So my fabric's staying in this position. Unless you're doing rectangles or squares... I would tend to keep your fabric like that. Uh -huh. If you're doing rectangles, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, fur cover <coughs> later. If you're doing um, rectangles and squares, what you can do with the needle down in position. Do you need some water? I've got some water oh, you got there, some so again. in a minute I'll right. get um, a drink. Thank you. Um, you can, if you're doing squares and rectangles, you can move your fabric. But if you're doing curves and things like that, again, mm. this is alien completely alien if you've never done um free motion before yeah. is keep your fabric in that position and you're going to actually determine where the needle is going to go so you're going to be feeding the fabric through yeah and so i'm going down the body and around so i'm keeping it at a steady space pace I'm not worrying too much if I come off the line I have there. Whoops, I think I've... No, you're all threads, right. Yeah, thread's unthreaded. Oh. I'll just um, do that whilst you talk Okay, I've got a yourself. question for you. Uh, the question is... Uh, do you have to do straight stitch with free motion or can you do other stitches, please, from Maxine in Windsor? Um, with free motion, it's straight stitch or sometimes you can do a zigzag, but um, it's not that successful with free motion. But I am going to show you um, how to use different stitches without a free motion foot. Oh, OK. So, um, as I say, talk amongst yourselves because this may say, take yeah. me half an hour to... Got a message from Bronwen. Light bulb just gone off. All is clear now. Thanks to lovely clear demo from Cara. Oh, I am excellent. now determined to have a go from Bronwen in Kefili. Oh, Bada Bronwen. Da, and Vower. Good luck. You'll, you'll get addicted. You really will get addicted. Um, it really is. Once, And even now, you know, if I've not been doing free motion for maybe a week or so and I come back to it, I always go through the same process where I practice. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Um, you know, just to get your... With that muscle memory, isn't it? It's just to get you back into yes, the flow of it. Yes, yeah. definitely. Uh, just over half the stock of the bundles have gone, just so you know. I'm just going to do the legs, actually, here. Pop that down again. So you'll go around twice, uh -huh. um, just because it's, it's creative. So um, you want it to look a little bit like a sketch. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go down the legs here. So my foot's down, my needle, I'll just move the fabric until I get in the right position. Needle down again. Oh, oh no, something's, something's not, not right. That happened, but she <laughs> happened, is it? What I'm going to do is I'm going to re-thread it completely. And right. I think I'm hoping that that's helped with um, the free motion, apart from the thread breaking. Um, and then come back to it with different stitches. All right, then okay. well, let me do a recap while you're re-threading your machine then. So here's the bundle. You get the instructions, Helen Newton uh, Seagulls pattern. You get half a metre of your cream fabric and you get a panel totally and utterly exclusive to Sewing Street. So there you go. So this is the uh, red fabric here for your binding, which you'll have, uh, not binding, border, which you'll have a lot of. The blue check there is spare fabric. This is the sea. You've got the left bird, the bucket and spade, the boat sails, the uh, clouds, the starfish. You've got loads of fabric on here. All for 19 pounds. Well, that's not 19.99. You get all three of these. Now, if you think about it, that's 9.99 on its own. That's £3.45 on its own. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's kind of a really, really, really good deal here uh, for £19.99. I've got a message from Cristala. 
Yes, a lovely clear demo, just at the right pace for me. Thank you, Cristala. It's lovely. Beautiful fabrics. Now, the instructions are available on their own at £9.99. Got some stash. We've all got stash. Imagine doing this in a Liberty print or something oh, like gosh, that. Be that lovely, would be wouldn't it? And you've all got half a metre of cream, or you can always buy half a metre of cream from the website. At uh, 9 99 for the um, pattern on its own. We have Bond Web on the roll. Oh, t roll. Now, this is called uh, Vlizo Fix. Same thing. Same thing, Bond Web. How many of these have we got left? Oh, please be careful. We always sell out and then, um, and then it takes a while to get it back in again. And now, if you're, it's your first project, you're thinking, I might not want five metres, John Scott. Well, we have this. So it's a strip. It's one point, It's 120 centimetres long, but 17 and a half centimetres wide. Enough to do this project. There's enough there to do one project. If you're just starting off, you're thinking, well, I might not ignore those. I might, um, I might not want to do um, a hot, lots and lots of projects. It might not be my bag. Two nine ten. The little scissors that Cara just had are here. The soft and sharp embroidery from Janome. Are you all right there, Cara? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Right, I just need aware of time. That's all. Yeah, so no, that's fine. So um... they're not question mark four. They are four inches. <laughs> oh, do you want to do those now when we go to the hand sewing? Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. So um, what I've done is I've changed my foot back to a normal foot. Uh -huh. Okay. Remember to engage your feed dogs because when you're doing stitches on the machine, you will want the machine to take your fabric through. Yeah. Um, I've done a few stitches here, but I'm going to just show you. So have a look on your machine. Um, if you've got your manual, it will tell you all the different stitches. On this particular machine, um, the blanket stitch is um, number 37. Uh -huh. um, mode one, number 37. So I'm just going to um, press that to actually engage the um, blanket stitch. And I, again, I'm going to practice. So I'm going to make sure that the machine's threaded properly. Mm. <laughs> I've changed the colour as well because I thought it might be the thread um, yeah. that was in the bobbin, not the thread on the top because yeah. the thread on the top was the And was it definitely bill. an Elna Janome bobbin because sometimes that ah, makes a difference. Might be different, yeah. yeah. Uh, Ian says, John, you could use the free motion stitching on the flowers for the skirt of welcome. You could indeed. In fact, I think a couple of people already have, Ian. I think a couple of people have done that already. Uh, it could be a first project, just an idea, exactly. Oh, gorgeous. Um, and then what's the, what were you saying? Uh, good morning. Thank you, Cara. Such a great demo. You're a natural teacher. I will now give, ha have a go at this from Sue Oh, and share it. Share yeah. it. Good, 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 good. This is what I want, you know, people to, to not be scared of anything. Um, you know, if it's the first time you've done something, then, you know, you are apprehensive. You are a little bit nervous about it. But don't be nervous. Don't be nervous at all. Have a go. And don't worry, any mistake that you make, you'll learn from it. And you can unpick it. You can unpick it. And don't, you know, if I look very closely at that, there's areas that I know that I sneezed or I looked the other way or, you know, talked to somebody. So don't worry, you know, you'll look at it and from a distance, it looks amazing. Yeah, it well, free motion, it's, it's not meant to look like a, per if you wanted it perfect, no. you'd get a machine to do it, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. So okay. this, this is the blanket stitch <coughs> that <coughs> I've Elliot done wants, there. Elliot wants to know which bit you sneezed on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, ignore him. Right, come on, let's get on. So the um, so that's the blanket stitch. stitch is there. Right. Okay, and then there's like a little satin stitch, and you can um, change the length of your stitch, uh, the distance between your stitches. Yeah. If you want it more like a satin stitch, but I love, absolutely love this blanket stitch. So I'm actually going to do the blanket stitch down one of the um, posts. So again, this is the one that's got the um, medium weight interfacing and uh -huh. um, the fabric's going to be taken through for me just move that out and because when you look at this again sorry Elliot <laughs> Elliot upstairs there you go brilliant then you've got um, that line so I'm going to want that line to the edge of the post. So that's what I'm aiming for. And I've done okay. it in red so you can see it as well. Perfect. Um, so I'm going to bring my needle down again, maybe move, lift the foot up slightly, bring the needle down, 
and burn. Fewer than 50 of this uh, bundle left now. So I'm just going down the side of the post there and I'll bring it over and show you what it looks like. So don't, if you're not confident with free motion and you still love this design, you can still do it, but use some of the stitches that you've got on your machine. On your machine. So there you go. I wouldn't normally do it in red, but I did it in red so you can see it. So that's your blanket uh -huh. stitch down the side there. I'm just going to do the other side with the um, satin stitch. So you can see, just check the satin stitch, 41. Oh, Elliot's thinking he'd make his into an early morning sunrise. <laughs> Where are you getting all of this from? I think He's he needs two coffees. I was going to say, I think he needs um, some food. Since he's had his hair cut, he's gone a bit frisky. <laughs> <that's what it is. laughs> so that's the satin stitch down the edge there. Mm -hmm. So you can see it just changes it. So it is slightly different from the um, free motion. So we've done free motion. We've done um, stitching actually using some of the stitches on your machine. And the other one that I wanted to share with you is hand stitching. Okay, which, while you're getting that ready, I've got a yep. bundle of uh, embroidery threads here. Ten skeins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten skeins. Fourteen ninety nine. I called it a rainbow. It's not quite a rainbow. It's just a selection of colours. I haven't got red. Yeah, <laughs> brown. Where's brown in the ra rainbow? Yeah, look, beautiful. Fourteen ninety nine. Right. So now you wouldn't. Did you say you wouldn't? You do this one a bit differently. Wouldn't yes. You? You do it by hand. I've actually. Um, let me just press this because it's all got screwed up. Um, I've actually done this one with the bond web because right. I wanted to see what it was like with the bond web. Uh huh. So, just do it on there. Right, that looks better. So, what you'll notice is on the ship here, if you can get in close, I yep. don't know if you can get in any, any closer. He's coming. He's coming. I'll move this bit. There you go, perfect. Okay. So, around the um, base of the ship there, I've done um, blanket stitch uh -huh. with hand. And I think that one I've done as a single strand of stranded cotton. I'll show you how to do that um, in a moment. Um, the other one, I've done a stem stitch going up the post mm -hmm. of the <coughs> ship. Yeah. And then this one, I've just done a little, I think it's like an applique stitch or a little diagonal stitch. And I've whip done stitch. that one, a, a, that like, like a whip, a whip stitch? stitch around the edge there yeah. and down there. Oh. And then this one, I've just done tiny little stitches. You can hardly see them. You want to do some stitching. Um, so this one is bonder webbed. Right. So it's stuck to the background fabric. The option is to do it with medium interfacing and right. cut your pieces out mm -hmm. and then stitch through the medium interfacing. Where I feel that sometimes you may not struggle, but it's a little bit harder, is when you've got the fabric you've got the background, the sea there, uh -huh. and you've got the ship. So you're actually going through three, three layers, layers of fabric and two layers of bond web. Right. So, you know, the needle is harder to mm -hmm. put through the fabric. So um, that's the only thing that I would say is when you come to doing hand stitching, if I was to do this again, I'd actually use the medium interfacing. And then you would pin the pieces in position but you would need to stitch all the way round to actually attach them to yeah. the background. But also we advise even with bonder web because over the years the bonder web's going yes. to give, give way, isn't it? Yes, <coughs> definitely. So okay. you can play around with different stitches and then the, um, the land mass that we've got here, I thought, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a few like little trees. Oh. So I've done some straight stitches and this is a single strand of strand of cotton. I'll show you with the strand of cotton. You get six strands all together. If I do it against a white background. Yeah. Six strands all together, and they will separate like that. Yeah. 
and then what you want to do they call it stripping the thread is take a strand off at a time even if you're using two or three strands and you'll hold the fabric loosely at the top there you'll take one strand and you'll pull you've cut a length off obviously yes. you're not going to do the whole yeah the whole cut a length off so game. that's given me actually a long long length uh -huh. so that's one and you'll take another one if you want to use two strands you'll do exactly the same and notice it all bunches up like that but it doesn't knot uh -huh. i'll show you what happens if you don't hold it like that and you try and separate it like that can you see yeah you're Not getting too. into yeah into the knots when you put those um, threads back together they will lay more parallel and they'll give a good coverage. Which is why you pull stitching. them individually, is it? Yes. Rather than trying to pull two yep. at a time. Yeah. So with this one, I've just used a single strand of the stranded cotton for the trees. And I'm just doing alternate long and short stitches, but separated. What kind of needle are you using? An embroidery needle. Okay. Which has got a sharp point and a fine eye. So I've done a few um, long and short stitches there. And then what I thought I would do is actually just the top of the trees. Oh, yeah. So do, now you can do this as um, a stitch, I think it's a feather stitch. So you right. can do um, a stitch like that and a stitch like that. So those are just straight stitches. Uh -huh. But you can do a few of those to depict a tree. If you wanted to do a feather stitch, you come from one side like that. You want to have your stitch. I'm hoping you can see that. Yeah. And then you'll put your needle there and come back up. And that will be a feather stitch. Oh, hang on, you're just going into the graphics there a bit, Cara. Okay. Thank you. So, done green on green sorry you won't be able to see it very well but you can play around with so many different stitches and um, oh, I love adding beads and sequins and you know if you've got any buttons with starfish on and different things like yeah, that yeah, you yeah, can yeah. really sort of go to town but again you can see I've made this just a small picture uh -huh. again so I've just taken a couple of the boats and the starfish and everything. Um, you can put some ripples on the sea. Um, so, you know, just play around with it. Uh, Kat says, do you never use a hoop? Um, you can use a hoop. The hoop I've got um, was just about, I should have cut a bigger piece of fabric. Yeah. Yeah. But um, if you've got a bigger piece of fabric, then definitely a hoop's really, really good. So. Um, Perfect. So that's just one way of, um, and this one, I didn't have any fabric on the back, you know, any interface oh, or okay. anything. And if you were going to put um, sort of wadding or anything like that, then do that afterwards when you've done all your hand stitching. Yeah. So. Um, well, yeah, you wouldn't want to try and go through hand, wouldn't want to go through H640. No, stitching, definitely not. And then another method. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm just aware of the time, yeah, yeah, yeah. is um, the stitch and tear. tear. So what I might do is just take this one again. This one's going to be a real mishmash of everything. Uh -huh. Although it's got, um, no, I'll do it on a, a, I was gonna say a spare piece of fabric maybe. The stitch and tear you wouldn't use with the medium interfacing. Uh -huh. Um, or <coughs> the H640. No. So you just put it, it on just the back on the, of the yeah. fabric. It's so not iron on or anything like no, that, is it? No, no. So I'm just going to cut a piece out. And if I've got time. Yeah. Have I got time? You've got two minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll do it just free motion, I think. Uh -huh. Oh, I can't because I've got the different foot no, on. No, don't worry. Um, so what you would do is you take your piece of work. You've done your um, applique yeah. with the bond web on there. And then you do your free motion or your straight stitches. Mm -hmm. I suppose I could do some straight stitches. Some straight stitches. Yeah. So an another method of um, using just straight stitches is go back to just a normal stitch 
um, maybe make the stitch length a little bit longer and very very carefully you can actually stitch round something yes so You're pretending there's a tree or yep, a pillar there. I'm just doing a triangle here okay or a triangle <laughs> Trouble is, when you've been doing free motion, you still want, you want to, to move like it. Yeah, I know, exactly, yeah. I know. <clears throat> so um, you would machine like that. A very funny triangle. Um, so you would do all your machining like that, and then it's just as it says. You tear the stitch on the, um, the fabric very, on the very back. Very wasteful there. It is. I am being very wasteful. Yeah, but normally Sorry. you'd have all I'm your stitching. Rushing, you'd have there, yeah. loads and loads and loads of stitching. Yeah. And then when you've done all your stitching, then you would actually rip. And this is where you, so you hold on to your stitching uh -huh. and the stitch and tear. It's like perforations. Mm -hmm. So um, you would actually just pull that out. And it just stabilizes the fabric whilst you're stitching. Yep. So. And then the bit in the middle of the triangle. Yeah, you, you still no, you still take that out. So with your lovely sharp scissors, and I quite often will find um, once you've gone around the edge. Oh, it's perforated. It it's comes perforated. Loose anyway, yeah. It comes loose anyway. So it's literally just left where the stitches are. Yeah, just left where the stitches are. And then when you've finished your design, uh -huh. and it's been like that, so you can do it free motion or straight stitches. It doesn't matter. Um, you're left with your design your applique pieces and everything, and then you can add your um, H640 or some um, wadding or something Perfect. like that. So, Right, Kara's back in an hour. She's doing a mixture of a soft face teddy bear cushion. Oh, they're on the shelf behind her, actually, Elliot, look. There you go. So the cushion in the middle, or the pink teddy bear on the left-hand side, they're both for all oh, the blue. Oh, not we're not doing the blue one on the right hand side. We've got some of that linen fabric. We're not doing that. We're just doing the teddy bear on the left hand side and that. Very popular on pre-order. We've got it in cream. No, pink, grey and ochre. There's Elliot sucking his tummy in. <laughs> right. Quick, quick, quick crack. 1999. You get the instructions. Very limited now. Instructions, half a metre of the cream, plus the panel to do all the bits of applique, which is totally exclusive to Sewing Street. £19.99. Do you want the panel on its own? Uh, not the panel on its own, the, um, the instructions on their own, sorry. You can't go the panel on its own. Might that be a good idea? Anyway, never mind. I'm not in charge of it. Uh, £9.99 for the pattern on its own. Helen Newton, she's not watching today. She's gone away for a couple of days. Yeah, she should be watching replay. Hi, Helen. There you go. Nine pounds and nine ten pence. All the templates that you need are all in there. All the instructions are there. And then all the templates you need are all in there as well. The big ironing mat is this one. Have it next to your sewing machine. This is a wool and polyester wool pressing mat. Mountain mist. Been going since 1846. Quarter to seven. Lovely when you put steam on it because it has that lovely smell. Well, some people think it's lovely, other people don't like it so much. $52.99. Bond web on the roll very quickly. Here it is. Five meters. Oh, the quilted gloves are almost all gone now. Can you get a what? Twenty three ninety nine. It is Bondweb. They've just started. If we think they've started recording it, Visa Fix now. But it is Bondweb, as you know. Five meters, thirty centimeters wide. Uh, that'll sell out today if you're not careful. Right, we're going now. It's me after the break, and I've got bundles of fabric, and we've got bundles of fun and bundles of joy with bundles of fabric. Hi everybody, it's Stuart Hillard here and I'm absolutely thrilled to announce that my brand new book, Bags for Life, 21 Projects to Make, Customise and Love Forever is launching on Sewing Street this Thursday, the 26th of August at 8am. 
I'll be there. I hope you'll be there. And my book, Bags for Life, will definitely be there. See you on Thursday. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hi, I'm Adam from Leicester and you might recognise me from a certain sewing programme. Um, I'm absolutely thrilled to be joining the family at Sewing Street as a guest designer. I got into sewing, sewing scrubs in the lockdown which was um, really beneficial and helped me dust off my machine and uh, lead to a lot more things and I'm really excited to, to show you some of my recent makes and things that I've been up to with my sewing machine. I also love a bit of knitting as well. I really enjoy making stuff for my nephew, uh, particularly knitting. Um, I'm working on a raincoat for him at the moment. And yeah, I really like to bring in my nautical influence. You may know I've worked on ships. I love my nautical fabrics and uh, color palettes, the reds, whites and blues. So I like to bring that into my makes. The biggest tip I could recommend when it comes particularly to dressmaking is never to ignore your notches. Always match them up and making sure that you're being nice and accurate when you pin, because pinning is winning. <laughs> Are we winning? <laughs> I'm really looking forward to being part of the team at Sewing Street. Hi everybody, it's Stuart Hillard here and I'm absolutely thrilled to announce that my brand new book, Bags for Life, 21 Projects to Make, Customise and Love Forever is launching on Sewing Street this Thursday, the 26th of August at 8am. I'll be there, I hope you'll be there and my book, Bags for Life, will definitely be there. See you on Thursday. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day.
Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Kat's just informed that she'd like to stay in a motel. So that's all she said, right? Okay, I've got fabric buttons. I'm sorry if that break was a little bit longer. We had lots and lots and lots to unpack. I'm sorry you're going to see an ugly old, um, what's this thing called? Are you, I'll let you see. Trolley, 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 trolley. I was just worried because it's got, it's got um, band, uh, branding on the side, but you won't see that. Right, I've got fabulous, fabulous fabric, fabric bundles. We're going to start with Roaring Fire. Not Rory. There are only single figures of this, right? I don't know where it came from. $28.99. So, you get half a metre of the red splodge. You get half a metre. She's into brown at the moment. Half a metre of your dark brown spot. You've got half a metre of your orange splodge. You've got a half a metre of your orange solid. You've got half a metre of your... It's, that's not beige. That's not beige. I think that's nude. It's what? Tan. Half a metre of your port claret, half a metre of your hot tomato, and half a metre of your mustardy, goldy sunshine. So this is your wood here and this, and these are all your flames. You've missed blue out then if you want flames. This has not been on air since November last year. It was so popular. We've got single figures of it now. Cat made it specially for you. Apparently it's one of the first ever bundles she made. $28.99, four metres of fabrics, lovely. Especially with Halloween coming up and November and bonfire night and all that. Where are we? Oh, we're in August. <laughs> but by the time you've made it and you've appliqued it and everything. Lovely Harvest Festival. If you're going to make a banner in your school for Harvest Festival. The Skinny's book, which says uh, Kiss the Cook. And I think it was a thanksgiving -y one. Pumpkins, lots of pumpkin colours in there. £28.99. pence. Gorgeous, isn't it? Lovely colours. Is that brown or black? You see, it will look brown, but then I put it down on top of the red and it looks black now. Anyway, it's lovely. Isn't it? All those four metres of fabric, £28.99. Ignore that. It's what? Six left now. Six left, that's all. Oh, no. You don't have to use them all together in one project. I've just dropped my strawberries all over my trolley. Don't forget, if you buy today and you didn't buy yesterday, you'll get a voucher book because only one per person. One per customer. But you know what you could do? Now, I shouldn't really tell you this. So sh oh, I'm sorry, I was going to open it then. Um, uh, if you've got two accounts, husband and wife, brother, sister, in the same household, then it's one per customer. Right? The way it works, right, I, I, it's, I'll show you here, right? So on the 3rd of September, right, 50% off yarn. 
right? 50 to 200. Underneath my hand there, there's a code, you see, and you have to use the code to get your 50% off yarn. Um, there's a free PMP weekend on the 4th and 5th of September. I think I'm in that weekend, don't I? Yes, I am. Surprise, surprise. I may be going on my holidays, but they're working me until the minute I leave. Five pounds on the 8th of September. I'm, I am in that day. I am. That's my last day before my holidays. Right. So on the last day before my holidays, if you use this code that's in here, you'll get five pounds off when you spend 20 pounds or more. I know we don't have to do this. We don't have to do this. So 10% um, off everything on the 3rd of October. Oh, that could be me. I'm back by then. Oh, that's I've just turned a few pages and suddenly I'm back for my holidays. September and October. Remember, September and October they're in for. And if you use them all, you'll save over £150. There's only two of these bundles left. Look. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do another one of Kat's bundles now. Oh, burning Sun Center. She's got all these burning things. What, with pink? Okay. I can think of other I can think of other more apt names, right? Bursting sunset this is. This is more of a sunrise, this than a sunset. I'd say personally. Oh, it's in the wrong order, sorry. Like that, cat. Oh no, hang on, cat says so which order? Oh. Okay, so this is Cat's, what's it called? Bursting Sunset. Yeah, okay. February was the last time you saw this. Half a metre, they're all solids, they're all the solid fabrics. 20 pounds and 49 pence. Three metres. Yeah, lovely. Oh, is that Hayley Bryant making that much noise? I don't know if it's coming from there or there. Do they have ladies upstairs? Not that Hayley Bryant's a lady, you know what I mean? But it's sort of saying. Poppy's next. Now, uh, we had this poppy one the other day, right? And the allocated amount that they gave us the other day sold out. So there's a few more. Oh, two. I say a few, I mean two, a couple, a duo, because they like that word, don't they, next door, duo. So you get half meat, half meat, half meat, half meat, 100% cotton, quilting weight fabric, beautiful, ready for poppy day in November. No, that's a different thing. Though. 24 99 you get two metres of fabric, half metre of each. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You are beautiful in every single way. Loads gone into baskets, loads in baskets. Yep, well done. Shall we do Dan Morris? Is that this one here? Is it what? I don't know what she's saying. I've never been in a Subway, so I wouldn't know. Apparently in Subway, the sandwich shop, they do Southwestern sauce, apparently. So you get all of these in your bundle. Oh, I love this fabric. Hang on. Oh, yeah, I love that fabric. Oh, and I love it in that colourway better. Oh, it comes in three colour. Oh, I love this bundle. Should have done it what? Why? Yeah, Dan Morris was so popular this morning. Didn't have time to do all the others. We did the two new launches and that was it. Didn't have time to do anything else. So this way you get four metres of fabric. 59.92 is your cost, your price. We'll go with what? Are you leaning back in your chair? Yeah. Cause... Okay. Cat thinks he needs to go with the sewing machine fabric from earlier. I don't agree. I love them though. No, no, no. I love them. 
I absolutely love them as a collection, but I'd want to keep these together with a few solids rather than mix them with the sewing machine. Two different stories. Three of your tiles, two of, three of your sons. Well, the sons are, oh no, they are the same. And then two of your, uh, your um, geometric ones. 59.92. Oh, they're lovely. You're getting half a metre of each one. That's lovely, isn't it? I kind of feel I want to embroider on those. Not me, I don't do embroidery, but you know what I mean? Would like them embroidered on. Get Cara to do it in a break later. Four left, four of those bundles left. Oh, well. Okay. That's just taking me back then. I picked this bag up, right? And I went like this. When I used to work on Chester Market, you used to have paper bags to put the apples in and everything. And that's how you used to go, like that. Now you can't do that anymore on apples and things, can you? Oh. So I started working there illegally. I worked there when I was 15. Got it now. No, back in Victorian times, thank you. You could work when you're 15, but no, I had to be 16 before I was allowed to. Before that, I worked at Chester Golf Club as a waiter and a, as a caddy. Caddy. Right, what next? Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. I was confused yesterday. No, 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 no. I got confused. Because, is this the one that Delphine made her kilt, kilt, her quilt out of? Or is this the one that um, Wendy Orlando made hers out of? There was a panel, wasn't there? And she made bump, pieced bumblebees going up the side. Was it this one? Very, very popular. Because I nearly texted you saying we need those instructions. But didn't. <laughs> It was too late then, wasn't it? Because uh, I didn't look at my sheets till last night. £66.99 for my one day off. I wasn't going to spend my day off doing all day doing prep. Remember, if you haven't bought... these, they, You only get this yesterday and today. If you buy tomorrow, you won't get this, just so you know. Roaring Fire is sold out. Poppies have sold out. Dan Morris is about to sell out. Pauline sent in an email. She said, uh, John, loving the show, you've cheered me up immensely. Oh, she said, the autumnal colours are here already. Summer's gone here in Hampton Court. Do you know what? It's really funny. As I, I used to drive past Hampton, because I used to live in Twickenham, I used to drive past Hampton Court so often, and my friend Claire's and Alistair, they lived in... Is it East Mosley or West Mosley, the bit just across from Hampton Court? And it was lovely, and then they moved, and they've built their own house in Guildford now. I know. Oh, sorry, is there? Yes, now normally I'm the first person to notice that, Julie, aren't I? Right, hang on a sec, so I've got, what's missing? Because I have got a picture, I've oh, got a picture, hang on. Oh, it's the top left-hand corner that's missing. Oh, Julie, well spotted. Right, okay, so we need to write a note on that, please, Kat. I haven't got any paper here, can't do it here. Oh, sorry, you will get an extra half a metre. We'll double check. You'll get all the ones you see in that picture. Now, I'll put this to one side so Kat can write a note because you have to tell Warehouse they've forgotten to put one in. Okay, next. It might be underneath one of these in a minute, I suppose. Right, I'd quite like to do this next, please. Right. This is a mega bundle, right? So with now, but before you buy it, before you buy it, it's a mega bundle where you get all of this, but then I've got each of these piles as a bundle on their own. So I understand 105.36 is a considered purchase. You do get a half meter for free, but you can get it on split pay look. Two payments of 52.68. So let me just take you through this, right? So this one, I love it. I love this fabric. So this, you get all of these. 
You get all of these. I hope they've sent all the right ones up this time because the other day they didn't. Let me just fold that up and put that in there. Right, so you get all of these, remember, for the Mega Bundle. So you get the same fabrics. Hang on, that one goes there. That one goes there. That one goes there. That one goes at the top. That one goes in there. What's the matter? Why? I like it to be ordered, that's all. Right, then this one here. That one goes there. I haven't got much room on this table, have I? That one goes at the bottom. That one goes third. That one goes second. There you go. So if you're 105, 36, you get all of this. Seven and a half metres of fabric it is. It's 15 different fabrics, all half metre. Already cut, all ready to go, all to be sent out to you. Um, 52.68, twice, plus your PMP on your first one, unless you've bought already and you paid your PMP. Uh, 105.36. Love, love, love. It's Modo Lulu Mega Bundle. I've only got four left. Just so you know, I've only got four of the Mega Bundles left. Now, if you're thinking, John, I don't want all those because I don't want the blue one or I don't want the orange one or I don't want the cream one. Which are we doing first? Let's start with the orange, okay? So this is a bundle here. You get five fabrics, two and a half metres. 36.99, Lulu. Shall we have a look at them? They're lovely. Oh, I'm very hungry today. I wonder what I should have for my dinner tonight. Oh, look, that, I love this. Oh, there's only four left. There's only four left. 36.99. Look, we're 20 minutes into the hour already. Um, what are you on for your tea, did you say? You've got movie night tonight. What does that mean? You and you and, and Liam. Oh, have we had pictures of the other Liam yet? Oh, Jeremy's not very good at this deadline thing, is he? Oh, Jeremy's working on a posh commercial today. We'd be getting paid a fortune today, then. What's he doing on it? Oh, blimey. So he's gone straight in as a second. So he's in charge of all the extras and everything and the call sheet and things. Oh, not second AD. Second cameraman, sorry. 36.99. Be careful, you don't miss out on that because they're very limited now. So that's the orange one. Then we've got it in cream. Which is your favourite? Have you got a favourite? I think mine's navy as well, but I do love the cream one. Oh, oh no, I'm trying to pick up a wrong bag there. Right, so again, so you get half a metre of the big birds, half a metre of the swallows, half a metre of the beaded necklaces from the 1976, uh, half a metre of the flower power, and half a metre of the... I love that. Half a metre of each, remember, two and a half metres in total. How many of these have I got? Oh, this one's more popular now. So th 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 I've got more of these. So the orange one's been more popular than the cream one. There's only three of the mega bun bundles left, right? Three of the mega bundles left. Three of the orange bundles, and I've got eight or nine. It's eight or nine. Nine of these left now, but five in baskets. So please make sure you check out. And when you check out, you'll get your voucher booklet. Whoop, 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 whoop. It's not that picture there. Doesn't do it any justice, does it? Do you know what I mean? Anyway, then I've got the Navy. In the Navy, you can sail the seven seas. I could do with going to a right good disco, proper disco. That's what I need. I'm dancing. I might even have a drink. Well, it's been nearly three years now since I've had a drink. Right, OK, so you've got your big birds. You've got your swallows. You've got your beads from the 70s. You've got your little 60s flower powers and then that beautiful all-over flower there. Navy blue, this one, 36 99 Oh, I'll have a glass of champagne. I won't. I won't have a drink. I think that's me done now for drink, actually. 
$36.99. No. No, no, no. I thought you'd be spreading stories like that, cat. She just said, well, the doctor said you've got to cut down and you drink. I don't drink. <laughs> I very rarely used to drink anyway. I've got a, a champagne or a wine fridge full to the gills and then all the red I've moved it into the garage now and all the red wines are all stacked up on the top of the fridge but um no I don't I hardly ever drank anyway cat's just saying doctor told me no you don't you be telling people that cat 36.99 beautiful Oh, there's only four of the Navy ones left as well. If somebody did numerology, the number four is very big today here at Sewing Street. Right, okay. Okay, this is out when well, no, it's this isn't the one outside Hannah's bedroom window, this one. This is tropical seas, apparently. What's the difference to a tropical sea to another sea? I don't know. Uh, Twelve ninety nine. You get two meters, half meter of sky, half meter of peacock, half meter of sapphire. I'm making these names up, of course. Yeah, go on. Candy, what? Marine, peacock. I got two right. Yeah, I said sky. Sky and peacock got right. I said sapphire was the other one. Twelve ninety nine. You get two meters of fabric, half meter, and also they're already cut. So if you're multi buying. They won't be joined together. So if you buy three of these, you'll get three of those, three of those, three of those, and three of those. Just so you know. £12.99. I know. Oh, my numerology thing's gone to pot now. Very busy with six load of those left. If two more people could buy it, then that would be suitable for me. Then, uh, well, six people should buy it, but, you know, two people to make it down to four. Because I said numerology four. Anyway, moving on. That's weird. Because I've got loads. <laughs> it's our friend Munch's birthday. Called Liam. His real name is Liam. He's a producer at our sister channel, Jewelry Maker. We used to work with him at Rocks & Co. And he's Kat's best, one of Kat's best friends, right? She's not got one picture of him. Oh, when they said, oh, we're friends, he went, no, you're just my best friend's sister. Because he used to be best friends with Jeremy. But now that Jeremy's moving in with his girlfriend, Hattie, eventually, I don't know if Hattie's mum's watching, you might not know that, but he's just left, he's just left Munch in the house, just leaving Munch in the house. But I thought Munch was so rich he was going to buy a house anyway. Where's he buying his house? Blue Goose. Oh, yes, I launched this. I launched this. I didn't recognise from the flowers at the top. Now, it's really, really funny, right, because they might have changed it, but this is Blue Goose fabric, but Ryan was in charge of naming it, and one is called Swan Goose Duck, and then another one's called Duck Duck, and then it's in Duck Egg Blue, so it's going Swan Goose Duck in Duck Egg Blue. He's not in. He's not in again today. I think he's just not bothering coming in anymore. He used to watch back in the day as well, didn't he? Yeah. He's obviously bored of us now. How do you know? Is that all? We just talked about our friend Munch. He's only 27. He looks about 50. Oh no, I think he looks old and he's lost weight. Yeah. Oh, it's like, like you've got. I think every time I've, I've said something about Munch today, um, Elliot's got. I don't think so, John. I don't think so. I think Elliot's got a little bit of a bromance going on with uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, There's one missing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh no, I've got one. I've got one too many. How much is supposed to be in here, please? Yeah, I've got, that's eight metres there. I've got. 
So there should be 17. The graphic's wrong. You do get eight and a half metres. Yes, we did. And they said they'd change it. £119.84. pence. You get eight and a half metres, and this is the one you get for free. I know. Amazing. 119.84. Two split payments of 59.92. I think they're the eggs. Five of those left, five of those left. You're loving your fabrics today. I am loving your company tonight. No, not you. This was the impression I used to do at Rocks and Co, wasn't it? I've forgotten all about that. Next. Oh, hang on, I can get these out now, can I? Oh, we're doing that one next. Do that one next then. Oh, love these batiks. These are artisan barley batiks. Loving the colour. Oh, now, yes, I remember this. Some of the, um, we did, when we did this show, we, a few days later, we did, Hannah did some bundles. And we were packing them all away <laughs> and everything was wrong. Yours won't be wrong in this, though. Five metres. Did you, Elliot? That one. Uh, the reason you'll recognise some of these is some of them, did, we did have um, design rolls of these. This is Artisan Bali Batik Mega Fabric Bundle. You get 10 fabrics there, each half metre. 63.99. Actually, 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 who's done the maths on that? Because that should be £65. Pounds. Because it's six or sixty nine, isn't that six ninety nine far for me to that? And I've got ten of them there. Would make sixty nine pounds, wouldn't they? Oops, five left. Oh, five of these left as well. Maybe the numerology's moved from four to five today. Who knows? The secret of the black magic box. Sixty three ninety nine. Yeah, that one there. Oh, now, why wouldn't they fit in the bag? Excuse me, everybody. There we go. There we go. Nice. This one. This is lovely. I love this clover. Very unusual mix, this, because, look, you've got the beautiful clover. It's all very romantic. Then suddenly you get beetles, but they've got, like... They've got like leopard print on them. Then we couldn't decide if these were passion fruits or guavas or a kiwi. Then you've got your lovely little ditzy flower there. You've got your little daisies there. This is lovely. Look at this one. And that's the same as that one, but in the blue. Then look at that one. Pomegranate. Clover. Look, aren't they just exquisite? So it does, it does actually fit into two colourways, this. Hang on, how much do we need? Six and a half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's right, six and a half metres, but you're, you're getting half a metre for free. Now, remember, if you buy this by multiples, you don't, they don't come joined together, remember. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one on its own there. This is one you get for free. Lovely, aren't they? Forage, they're called. Beautiful. There's caterpillars on there as well. Lovely dandelion flowers. Your bugs. Look, aren't they just... What are you going to make of that? I love that. What are you going to make out of this? I'd love to know. That one's beautiful. Look, the clover. £83.88, you get a half metre for free. Half the stock of this is now in baskets. Please be careful. That's all I'm saying. You've seen how many of the bundles they have sold out already. Do 
Anyway, back to me. What are we having for tea tonight? Oh, so I was just thinking then, pasta pesto, that's what I was thinking, but uh, you were thinking carbonara. I won't have to have any cheese, well, I could have cheese on it, I suppose. Get some parmigiano from the Waitrose on the way home. I've got real Italian pesto as well, that Francesca bought me. Is it this one? Now, these look like, um, not my barley, these look like, um, oh, they're called barley mottles. We used to sell these in fat quarters, didn't we? Remember they were called, we used to have a purple one, a green one, a yellow one, a blue one. Anyway, £44.94 for you, three metres of fabric. Oh, so one left, they've all gone on pre-order, there's only one left, look. Wow. So many gorgeous designs today. We are spoilt for choice. I know, Kate. Oh, Elliot. Elliot wants his kitchen countertops to be like this, like marble, but in this colourway. Ooh, you wouldn't get to see when it was dirty or not. Eh. Hey. Which one? That one there. That one there. Oh, I can't show you earlier because it's about to go. Fight over that last one. Not literally, not literally. We don't condone violence or fighting here. Is it, oh no, I remember this one. No, I don't. This one here. Falling leaves. It's got brunette in it again. No, I don't remember this one. No. Fallen leaves, th uh, th three metres in total, 20 pounds and 49 pence. So the colours you've got here, I'd say, are sage, brunette, crimson, uh, rust, <laughs> paprika, that's what I meant. What's that one and that one then? Gold and... Oh, car oh, that's khaki, is it? Okay. I've got the rest right. Only one left. There's only one left. Pre-order's been so busy today. Yeah. And you get your voucher booklet, remember? If you haven't already got it, it's only one per person, one per customer. Leave that with you. Oh, actually, there's me worrying. Yeah, but I've sold out. You're buying everything too quickly because I've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bundles left. I've got 20 minutes. Okay, next. Stratosphere. There wasn't a song. I didn't, um... Russ Abbott. Strat oh, no, Atmosphere, he sang. Atmosphere. Right, this is the mega bundle. All these fabrics are the same pattern. But let me show you the mega bundle, first of all. So how many are there? 11 of these. There's 22 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. There you go. Look at all of those. How brilliant would these be for your stash? I'll show you one open in a minute. Uh, any particular colour you'd like to see, Cat? That one. I must get my car cleaned as well. Look! It's fantastic, isn't it? They're all the same, but just different colours. But I think if you're doing texture art, 
Look at that. That's the hedgerow there. This is the thick hedgerow or the river. That's the sky. You can put little cows on there if you wanted to. Or Elliot could have little cowboys on his. What colour would you like to see, Elliot? Because that's the, that's the um, uh, magenta -y one that Kat picked. That one? Mm, okay. Stormy skies, this one. Let's see if it looks different that way. Oh, there, you go. there you go. Stormy skies. You know when you get a cloudy sky and then suddenly there's like a break of lighter cloud or light coming through? That's what Elliot's like there. Yeah, because he's the bit, he's this bit and this bit. And then Amy's the bit of light coming through. Eh? What, I lost my heart to a starship trooper? No, I'm not thinking, I wasn't thinking that. I, even though I loved that, because that was hot gossip, wasn't it? It's the, uh, Sarah Brightman and hot gossip, that was. No, I was thinking about da, 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 stratosphere. But I've remembered it's atmosphere by Russ Abbott now. They used to live next door to my nan, the Abbott family. Yeah. Who's Russ Abbott, she's just said. Fine. Aren't they beautiful? Don't look at me. Look at the beautiful colours. Oh, lime green. Spring morning. It was horrible when it was, it was proper dark this morning coming in, wasn't it? The moon, yeah, no, the moon was still, still night time, that's why. Uh, this morning I was a little bit late leaving because I have uh, Elliot, uh, Elliot to feed. No, I don't have Elliot to feed. I had Harvey to feed before I left this morning. And he also, when, when the alarm went off, he normally just looks up like that because he sleeps on my bed. He's a cat, by the way. Uh, he looks on my bed and he goes, oh, is it really half past four? And then goes back to sleep this morning. He was like, should we play? Should we play? Oh, oh, let's play, let's play, let's play, like that. But he did get up. He was like, it was, I think it must be like sharing a bedroom with an older man because he was up and down, up and down, up and down the night having a tinkle. Because uh, Dulcie's doing a film at Shepparton Studios and they've got huge, huge scenes at the moment and she can't come home. No, she's doing um, Matilda. Beautiful, 125.79, two split payments of 62.89. Free spirits, free spirit fabric, remember, good quality. 11 metres, but you're only paying for, you're getting half metre for free, so you're only paying for 10 and a half there. Makes you feel old when they do that. I had to work with Ernie, the fastest milk. <laughs> Got in the West, they were so young. I know, listen, that was a Benny Hill song. Ernie drove the fastest milk cart in the West. And he was against two ton ten from Teddington. He was the he drove the baker's van. And they have no idea what I'm talking about. Shepparton Studios, yeah. £125.79. and pence. I'll do the Lily's Bundle next, but please, if you've got that in your basket, make sure you check out. How many of those have I got left? Five of those left as well. Well, the Lily Bundle's been very, very popular again this morning. Hang on, let's just put all these in here. This will be when Hayley tunes in and goes, what's he doing with bags on the desk? We'll get a message in a minute. Everyone's saying hello, Hayley. Right. Ooh. Right. This one here is beautiful. You get three different coloured backgrounds of the lilies. Jackie says, been to feed the granddaughter's rabbits and the cat this morning. The rabbits were banging on their hutch as I was late. Oh, dear. What's the matter? No, I read that wrongly because it said that I've been to feed the granddaughters. Like, oh, Jackie. No, the rabbits and the cat. Do they live nearby, Jackie, then? Didn't know that. Anyway, £21.99. 
half a meter of each. Mm. Now I didn't know last. I asked this last time. Is that is that a Colorado peace lily then? Yeah, it looks like a peace lily, but I didn't know what Colorado was. Oh, do you? Colourful in Spanish, does it? Yeah, but it's not a Spanish make, is it? It's Colorido by Melissa Lowry for Clothworks. Beautiful. And also colourful. It's only black and white. Beautiful, isn't it? You've got the black, the blue... And the pale pink. Well, it's not pale pink. Oh, they're only really far away, Jackie. That's where Julie takes the dog for a walk some days if she's not going to the beach. Beautiful. Oh, coming in. Twenty-one ninety-nine. Which is your favourite colour, though, Elliot? I know what you're going to say. Yeah. You tell me what your favourite is. That one. But you'll say it's not now. I've said that. It's so obvious. Right, next. Huge curiouser and curiouser from Tula Pink. There's only five of these bundles left. Uh, 142.31. You get a half metre free, 10 metres. Right, so this is the Alice in Wonderland range. I love this one here because it's got all the... Um, you know, the suits of the, the playing cards on it there. Then you've got the top hat and the rabbit. Then you've got that lovely, like, dripping psychedelic rose there. I don't know what that's got to do with it. Then you've got the whole story on there. Oh, they, I've never seen it. Read it, I've seen it, anything. Oh, apparently the peace lily is called Colorado peace lily. Maybe it's just the American way they've done it. Then you've got the drowning animals, that one animals then you got the flowers then you got the painted roses then you got the cheshire cat i know that bit, bit. then you got the cups of tea on blue and on pink then you got the drowning people on purple then you got your cheshire cats more cheshire cats there then you got the whole story going on there and then when they fall down the hole <coughs> then you got the suits on um dark blue then you've got the um, cups again. Then you've got the Wicked Queen. Which is she, Queen? Yeah, now, I'll show you the fabric in a second, right? Because it goes like some of her animal prints. <clears throat> so this is the width of the fabric here. And look, they're cut, they've, they've, they've been, um, they're going the wrong way, aren't they? So you can fussy cut them and have lots of space around them. That's what Tula said on one of her films. What do you have to do to get the coupons, Kate? Kate, you just buy something. No minimum spend whatsoever. You just buy something today. Today, because only today left. It was either yesterday or today. So all you need to do is buy something uh, from me, from the website, from Yarn Lane, and you'll get one of these. One per customer, as I said. Beautiful. Same on the Alice one's way. In fact, all of them, the cups are going the other way as well. Um, and what did you want? Something else you wanted me to show you? Something else? Oh, that one there, the rainbow one. Paint the whole world with a rainbow. Ooh. Oh, sorry, yeah. I look, look, my hands look little and squadgy today, don't they? I also had a big shock. When I did, when I used to do this all the time, I used to go, when I used to talk to people, I'd go, oh, just stop, just stop. And then someone took a picture of me once. I realised how little my hands were compared to the rest of my body. Apparently, uh, the, you can tell something by the shape of your hands. And I, my hands are mole hands, which are like workers' hands. Yeah, look, square, little squares for digging. And that's moles digging, going underground. They haven't got moles at Chester Zoo, I don't think. I think because you can get them in your garden, can't you? And did you know that if you've got mole hills in a straight line, it's a boy, and if the mole hills go in a week like that, it's a girl. Yeah? Hello, gorgeous John Scott and team. 
I had that record. Ernie went for his gold top and Ted went for his bun. A rock cake caught him underneath the heart and he looked up in pained surprise and the concrete hardened crust. This is the song. Ernie. They were all after, they were all after. What was the lady they both fancied? Tessie. Te no, I can't remember the name of the lady. Were, were they wanted now? Someone will tell us, won't they? I can see her in a nighty. It was Patsy Rowland, I think, in the video. Okay. Which bag did they come out of? That one, what's the number? 618, no, it's right, got it, got it, got it, got it. I don't know how all those fitted into that little bag, though. I can hear music. Are you playing two ton Ernie? Oh, it's Elliot Humming, it's not Benny Hill singing. You might have to look at that one, Cap, before you send it back. Oh, no, there you go. There you go there you go. Blue and yellow. Now, this is what I'd call sunshine or seaside. What's it called, this one? Oh, blue. <laughs> so, Cat didn't do this one. Blue and yellow bundle. Sue. Thank you, Christine. She lived all alone in Lindley Lane at number 22. Remember it now, don't I? 22 pounds and 43 pence. Oh, he's saving two pounds on this one. Anyway, 22, 43, got no idea why. Just take advantage. Corn yellow, cyan, lemon, marine, sapphire, what? A sky and sunshine. Sunshine on a rainy day. Thank you, John, for making me giggle this morning. Cheering me up while I recover from an operation. Oh, Kim! Don't laugh too much. Don't split. I don't know why I, I, don't know why I pointed there, Kim. I thought my liver was there. Apparently it's not. It's here. Just so you know. I wrote to say thank you to the hospital. Nobody's replied. Yeah. Yeah. 2243. I also meant sent a message to Jason from Horn. No reply. I don't think anybody wants to speak to me these days. Beautiful. 22.43. Oh, lots of people messaging in Sue. Thank you. She lived alone in Lindley Lane at number 22. I can see the video. And the, the, man, the man who played, I think he was called something McGee, wasn't he? The man who played the baker. And he was dressed all in black like a cowboy, wasn't he? And he had a big moustache like that. What? No, it wasn't in black and white. It was only in the 70s. Oh, wait, oh, hang on. Oh, no. no, hang on. No, we had black and white telly in the 70s. Only one house in the street had a colour telly. And so I used to offer to walk their dogs. So I could go in and watch the colour telly while I was waiting. Carol says she'll always speak to me. Thank you, Carol, my love. What am I looking for? Snippet. I know, I know what snippets is. Now, we had more colours than this when it launched. What? Oh, these are new colours. That's why I haven't recognised these. Where's the gold one? I think you're just pulling my leg. Is it? Is it? Uh, you get seven ninety nine for free here. I mean, I know you get seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine knocked off there. Look, you don't need to see this fabric. These are the new colours. These are the new colours. <clears throat> now, if you do want any of these by the half metre, I've not got them today, because look, I've only got two minutes left. That was me worrying, I'd run out of time. Um, they are available on the website by the half metre. These are all the new colours. Snippets 2, look. Snippets 2, the sequel. So what are their colours, Kat? I've got black. I've got Esmeralda. Beige, which has also got gold on it. Blue. No, that one. Navy. Claret. Red. Purple, as they say in Liverpool. 
gold and white. White cream, there you go. This is Snippets 2, brand new colours. Alison Marion said, I had the 70s music channel on the weekend while I was putting kits together and the Ernie video came on. Isn't it weird? Isn't that weird? You could talk to him about something and it's been on. I didn't see it. I don't think I've even got a 70s music channel. Anyway. Now, there's 10 of those left and that's brand new. <laughs> it's in, it's in. There you go. Thanks, Elliot, for your help. What's next? The what seaside one. The, I love this fabric. This is Mermaid's Tales. It's what? Two panels and plus your at three and a half metres of fabric. So there's your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's your three and a half metres of fabric. Here's panel one. Here's panel two. What does panel two look like? Oh, yeah, it's got all your affirmations of the day on it, hasn't it? So there's your fabrics, your seven fabrics. Where's the other panel on there, though? Oh, yes, of course, yeah, sorry, because I was thinking that as a little... No, but then where's the little clamshells? Yes, there are, look. Right, hang on a sec. So I've got the laid top left, I've got the middle, I've got the top right... I've got, that's the panel that goes there. Oh, sorry, I need to see the picture of it. Got the pic I have, no, that's nothing like what I've got. Because I haven't got pink waves either. Yeah, so no, what you're getting is this, not that. Plus, but then, and then, so you're getting the square, you see the squares with all the affirmations. You'll definitely get, take that picture out, Elliot, because that's definitely wrong. That's the other panel you get. So this is the first panel you get. The second one is the square with the affirmations, and then they're the seven, one, two, three, four, five, seven fabrics that you're getting. Sorry about this. There's been a lot of mistakes that have not been, um, it was on Radio 2? No, uh, is it maybe it, was his, maybe it was his birthday or some, um, you know, kind of uh, celebration of uh, Benny Hill. He lived in Teddington, not right for me. Here's what the other panel looks like. You can still buy it on its own for £14.99, but you'll get it in this kit. I do apologise. That's a look. Oh, and there's no plastic bag with this one. Oh, maybe the other panel's in the plastic bag then. Right, two more to go before Cara comes in. She's coming in to do those cushions. Right, this one first. Love this one. Another Riley Blake, look. This is the one. And I said, oh, yeah, look, they're coat hangers. They're coat hangers. They're quails with the funny little thing sticking out their heads. You can't see it so much on the black one, look. I love this fabric. Look, can you see? Look, 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 look. The because look, on that one there. No, no, I thought they were like the charms that you put on your Christmas tree. And that was the hanger. I didn't realise there were actual birds with those sticky out bits on the top of their head. You get half a metre for free. So look, you get the three of the birds. This, I love these flowers here. Then you get three of the bumblebees. And then this is my favourite. This is my absolute favourite. Now I'm presuming if you want any of these by the half metre, you can get them on the website. Kirsty said, Ernie was not when I was born. Number one, number one, not, not, number one when I was born. Love it to bits. Can you still remember it? No, 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 he's not alive, he's not with us anymore, Carol, no. But I thought they might have been celebrating his life or something. Morning, John, says Steph and team. Great shows today, I've learnt loads. What all about Ernie? Anyway, beautiful, beautiful, that's gorgeous. 82.39. Message from Lisa, your mum. Thank you, John, for keeping me company after an operation. I think they must have had a rush on at the hospital. I've been from a liver scan, you've been for your operation, and then who was it? Uh, Kim had her operation. Struggling to get comfortable. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't think I can say that. Another friend of ours is going for an MRI scan. Is it today or tomorrow? No, it must be today. It must be today. Oh, no, that's right. It's on Sunday. It's on Sunday. That's right. What? That little pool? Happy little camper. I've not seen these. No, never seen these before in my life. It was on Pick Your Own Playlist. Oh, was it? 
on, on, on Radio 2. There we go. Look, 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 look. <coughs> <coughs> Who's this by then? Happiest little camper fabric. I've never seen this. So you get two of the bikes, two of the flip-flops, two of the outline caravans, two of the deck chairs. Well, they're not very posh deck chairs, I have to say. They're those cheap old plasticky things, aren't they? That one's quite nice. And then two of your coloured... Oh, look, you don't do your washing on your holiday. Steph says, no, not Ernie. Sadly, I'm the age where I remember it well. Oh, who am I? I'm confused now. Got to go. 11 o'clock. Cara's coming up next. Guess what she's making? She's making this fluffy cushion, teddy bear head. And she's going to make this. Not that. That's Elliot. She'd need a lot of fabric for that. And the teddy bear on the left-hand side there. We will see you in four minutes from now. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hi, I'm Adam from Leicester and you might recognise me from a certain sewing programme. Um, I'm absolutely thrilled to be joining the family at Sewing Street as a guest designer. I got into sewing, sewing scrubs in the lockdown, which was um, really beneficial and helped me dust off my machine and uh, lead to a lot more things. And I'm really excited to, to show you some of my recent makes and things that I've been up to with my sewing machine. I also love a bit of knitting as well. I really enjoy making stuff for my nephew, uh, particularly knitting. Um, I'm working on a raincoat for him at the moment. And yeah, I really like to bring in my nautical influence. You may know I've worked on ships. I love my nautical fabrics and uh, colour palettes, the reds, whites and blues, so I like to bring that into my makes. The biggest tip I could recommend when it comes particularly to dressmaking is never to ignore your notches. Always match them up and making sure that you're being nice and accurate when you pin, because pinning is winning. <laughs> Are we winning? <laughs> I'm really looking forward to being part of the team at Sewing Street. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Attention bag makers, if you love making bags or if you've always wanted to make bags but haven't started yet, my brand new book, Bags for Life, 21 projects to make, customize and love forever is the book for you and it's launching live this Thursday at 8 a.m. on Sewing Street. I'll see you there. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day.
Hi, I'm Adam from Leicester and you might recognise me from a certain sewing programme. Um, I'm absolutely thrilled to be joining the family at Sewing Street as a guest designer. I got into sewing, sewing scrubs in the lockdown, which was um, really beneficial and helped me dust off my machine and uh, lead to a lot more things. And I'm really excited to, to show you some of my recent makes and things that I've been up to with my sewing machine. I also love a bit of knitting as well. I really enjoy making stuff for my nephew, uh, particularly knitting. Um, I'm working on a raincoat for him at the moment. And yeah, I really like to bring in my nautical influence. You may know I've worked on ships. I love my nautical fabrics and uh, colour palettes, the reds, whites and blues. So I like to bring that into my makes. The biggest tip I could recommend when it comes particularly to dressmaking is never to ignore your notches. Always match them up and making sure that you're being nice and accurate when you pin, because pinning is winning. <laughs> Are we winning? <laughs> I'm really looking forward to being part of the team at Sewing Street. Uh, so many people excited about Adam coming on the show. He just messaged me, because I sent him a message, I said again, if there's anything you need to know, just let me know. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Uh, we've been playing his little video, and so, like someone, uh, Sue just gone, yay, Adam, Adam, yay, like that. Uh, but I've got to say seriously, first of all, though, that um, Julia is off to hospital for a procedure later, so she's watching to take her mind off it. You, we send you lots of love. Is it Julie or Julia? Julia. Well, no, no, we had a lot of um, hospitally talky things today, haven't we? I've had my scan, did I tell you? Anyway, like, <laughs> I loved it. I love anything like that. When I had to have my eye popped out, I was, I was like, oh, sorry. I had, to, I had to, so um, I went to the hospital. I went to my doctor and I said, something's wrong with my eye. And she went, oh, it's just, it's just a rub your wedding ring on it. I'm, like, I'm not married, I haven't got a wedding ring. Rub a gold ring on it, you'll be fine, it's just a sty. So I was like busy rubbing my eye with it. it wasn't getting, I went to my, to my brother's and my brother was like, who's a doctor? And he was like, Next day, I was in the eye hospital having an operation on it. Anyway, they said, oh, this might, this might hurt when we inject your face. And it was in the days when I used to have Botox. I was like, I'm fine, darling. I have Botox. <gasps> oh, it stung. And I said, I can't feel myself going to sleep because I was in the whole robe and everything. And they went, oh, you, you won't be going to sleep. And I was like, oh. And then the next thing, they're wheeling me through like this wide awake with a numb face into the operate, proper operating theatre. She's laying there with the big light over the thing. Anyway, I won't go into the grisly details, but they had to go under my eye to get this thing out. It was brilliant. Anyway, I loved every minute of it. 50 Fabric Animals by Marie Claire. Not the magazine, Marie Claire. Um, oh, is it? Yeah. No. Yeah. It's not the same yeah. person. No, it's from the magazine. So it's oh. not. So all of the designs are Had actually. Have been in Marie Claire. Yes, and they're different designers. I didn't think they did so in Marie Claire. They do. They do a Marie is it still Claire. still around? Yeah. <laughs> they do a Marie Claire makes. It's really what? Marie Claire makes. Well, I never. You know, every day is a school day, isn't it? <laughs> I was about to go, oh, it's not the same person. I'll find a picture. But it's all different designers. Look, let's go through the book because there's some really, really lovely projects. Twelve ninety nine for 50, 50 different projects. Look, look, Big Bear. Now, some of the patterns you will obviously have to um, scale up, won't you? Oh, it doesn't say that there on there. That's called Big Ben. That wouldn't be big, would it? But anyway, you read the book because it's gorgeous. Um, look, Mr. and Mrs. Bear. Bottom. Got to get bottom. Then you've got your Cuddly Bear quilt. There's so many products. Gingham Bear. Is that the one we're doing? Don't know, is it? No. No, no, no. Patchwork no. Bear. Patchwork. There we go. Then we've got Chef Bear. Then we've got Christmas Tree Bird. Love those. I could do one of those for my Feng Shui tree. Animal cushions, love these, look. Aren't they lovely? So you've got the rabbit, the cow, and the duck. Then you've got the giant bear, look at that, huge. Anyway, I won't go on because there's 50 different, look, 50 different projects in here. It's such a lovely, uh, there you go, patchwork bear. That's the one we're doing. Is that the one we're doing? Yes. That's the one we're doing. But we're not before we've done the fuzzy face. Oh, look. 
Can you do when the next when the next ask you to step down? <laughs> can, can I do, do the that patchwork one? cow? Oh, I'll ask. I'd quite like one, but I'd quite like it about six foot long and about four foot high. Please. <laughs> anyway, what page is the uh, the fuzzy face one we're doing? I on? think it's oh. at the beginning. Oh, is it? I missed it. Uh, then. Maybe not. There's so many different projects in here. I can't. It can't be at the beginning. Twenty six. Twenty six. But they look different. Oh, do they? Hang on. Yeah. Twenty six. Oh, there we go. There, that's what we're doing. Three bear cushions. Are they all different then, three bears? No, no, they're all the same but different fabrics. Now, please, if you're watching this at home, please don't leave candles burning like that with all that fabric around. You know what's going to happen. You know my uh, brother's girlfriend back in the day in America, she set her house on fire because she was <gasps> what reading by candlelight in bed, fell asleep and the duvet caught fire mm. and house in San Diego wood. Mm. So she ran out. She's perfectly safe, but the whole house went up in one. Anyway. Beautiful book, twelve ninety nine. Fifty fabric animals. Now we've got bundles for you here. Um, is it a boy or a girl? No, it was my liver. It was my liver. It was a scan for my liver. It wasn't to see if I was having a boy or a girl. <laughs> Cheeky, Carol. June says so excited to see you and Adam on together. I get the feeling there'll be naughtiness. No, it's his first show. Be very professional. Uh, we didn't have these conversations when we were twenty, did we? What conversation? <laughs> What Which conversation one have we missed? Is that? <laughs> and then Princess says, oh, stupid, I'm fed up. Oh, what's the matter with your Facebook Live? Our Facebook Live's not working properly. Right, so should we talk about this, first of all? So this is the first demo that Cara's going to do. Um, and this is your teddy bears. <laughs> right, now I've got it in... The reason I've got them all in boxes here is because I don't want you to get it all confused. So what you, you get so much fabric in this bundle. So you get a metre of your fabric... You get your toy stuffing, you get a piece of felt, and you get an embroidery skein. So all of that, metre of this fabric, I'm not getting out because it goes everywhere. There's enough fluff coming over from that side of the table. <laughs> metre of the pink, a piece of felt, the embroidery skein, and you get the toy stuffing. 13, 19, and, and I bet you can make more than one of those. You can. You can, says Cara, you can. We're a metre, because that's wide as well, isn't it, that it fluff? It is very, very wide. So... Rose fleece, duo bear, cushion bundle, fabric felt, embroidery thread and filling. You see, I don't think that... Well, anyway, I'm not in charge. But anyway, 13 .99. It's a brilliant book, Becky Alexander-Frost, who's also in tomorrow. Becky Alexander-Frost is in tomorrow as well. She'll, she'll get to meet Adam tomorrow as well. Anyway, so that's the rose version. We also have it in grey which is this version here. So you get a metre of the grey. Let me get that out, because you're not going to see the colour of that, otherwise I... So. There's the grey. Black felt. It, it, I can't tell you how soft it is. The embroidery thread, the stuffing. I'll move that out of the way, because it's not the pink version. Uh, £13.99. Oh, she's going to fangirl all over Adam. Oh, that's nice. She's dumped me already now, then. Wendy says, morning, John and Cara. If you'd like to see a life-size knitted cow, you need to... I think this is near you. Cosby. You need to visit Cosby. Yeah. Download. Yarn bomb. Yeah. Well worth a visit to this lovely village. Yeah. It's a beautiful village. And what they have done um, in the village with all the knitting and crochet is just Stunning. Oh. Absolutely stunning. Oh, that sounds lovely. Anyway, that's your grey version. Then the one you're going to see Cara demo is slightly different because this lovely colour. But you get different coloured felt in this one. I'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> get in the box. <laughs> yeah, different but the coloured felt. <laughs> Where is it? And a different coloured Embroidery scheme. <laughs> it's got oh, no. nose ready. There you go. This is the one you're going to see demoed. Beautiful. I think that's my favourite. I think that one's going to be my favourite. Ochre fleece duo bear. Because you can make more than one. Plus your stuffing. Actually, uh, is Elliot still in with you? Is Elliot still in there? Can you switch the aircon back on, please? I just think it's all this fluff going everywhere. It's going to go. It's going to get us going. Uh, anyway, that's lovely. That's the ochre version, thirteen ninety nine. Right, while we're still here, I'm just going to talk you through the bear as well. Only because, only because the blue one sold out already. The blue one sold out already. Well, it's not because mine's fine. 
Some people are having issues with Facebook at the moment. I've got it absolutely fine on my thing here. Um, Princess is saying that it's skipping everywhere and Elliot's having issues in there. So it's absolutely fine for me on mine. Anyway, so what you get is you get four fat quarters. There you go. So you get your toy stuffing, your four fat quarters, a piece of felt and a black embroidery skein. For $12.99. We did have it in the blue, but the blue one sold out before we came to air. So please be careful on that one. Oh, and that's this. That makes this. Now, there are two... Because you're going to look at that and go, oh, that doesn't look very patchworky. There are two ways you can do that. Like two ways you can skin a goose. Isn't that what they say? <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> when do you go on holiday? Oh, no, I need it. I tell you, I need it. What, what, Cap? Oh, yeah, you've got to buy the book for the instructions. There's no other instructions. You've got to buy the book for the instructions, which is 12 12.99. Which, if you think, like, OK, I'm going to be a bit controversial now. If you buy instructions from us normally, they're 9 99 right? For one. For one. There's 50... Oh, sorry, I'm getting excited now. <laughs> 50 in here for 12 50 for 12 50 so I'm just saying, I'm just saying, right, I'm not going to do the linen or the scissors or the ribbon yet. I'll do that later because I want Cara to do some sewing because we need to get our money's worth out of her. <laughs> right. Okay, Cara, I'm ready. What are you going to show us first? I'm going to talk about the book first right. because it really is. I've done three projects from the book and they are all quite different. And as I say, um, because the projects appeared in Marie Claire, they are different designers. So um, some will have very minimal instructions and for example the three bear cushion is quite minimal but it's very very straightforward right okay. which is very, what very, that's it which that is the one do. that we're going to do so you've got the instructions here you've got the information about what you need and then um pattern pieces what i'm going to show you is how you can make your circle and um, so you have two circles 14 inches diameter and then the only other pattern pieces you have and these are um life size so that's you see the arrows Oh, that's there. actually to scale, yeah. Yeah, to scale. So that's telling you that that's two inches or five centimetres. So these are actually to scale. So those are the only two pattern pieces that you need. So mm -hmm. the ear and the um, muzzle. <coughs> and then you've got a small um, shape there for the nose. So that's it. Mm -hmm. um, but again, you know, going through the book and the, the patchwork book, uh, Bear, I'm going to sort of go through a bit more information about how you can make that quite different. And that particular bear is really, really good for memory. So, um, you know, if you've oh, got... Oh, as a memory yes, bear. Yes, yes, exactly. So if you've got some um, baby clothes or something like that, or somebody's getting married and you want to make them a bear out of the... Um, after the bridesmaids. <laughs> well, you've cut the bridesmaids' dresses up during <laughs> the wedding. the shape of a bear out of the back of a bridesmaid dress. No, but if you want to make a, you know, a memory bear, it's a wonderful um, design to do that Brilliant. as well. So, yeah. um, so we'll start with the um, the soft toy, the soft toy, the three bear cushion. Yeah. Um, and then I'll talk a little bit more about the variations that you can do on the patchwork one later okay. on. Did you turn the aircon on, Elliot? Okay. <laughs> I know. That's the thing. Please, when you have this um, fabric, it's absolutely gorgeous. And as you say, so, so soft. But it goes everywhere. It goes everywhere. Like, give, you, give your machine a good old clean yeah. out afterwards. I didn't dare wear anything dark today no. because I would have gone out with all the um, ochre fur around it. Um, I've only got a little bit left here because you get a massive amount. Yeah. And I've actually made um, this from the fabric I had left over from something else whilst, oh, I, was, okay, then. whilst I was waiting. But yeah. then I got the meter and I thought, oh, my goodness, you know, there's there's actually enough there to do at least two of these. But what I love about those packs is that a lot of those packs can be used for lots of different projects. Exactly. So what you got left over, book. you can make something yeah, else with that. Definitely, yeah. definitely. So the, the fabric, I just want to say there are two sides. So if I show you like that. One is a shorter um, fleece, yeah. and the other one's a longer fleece. Right. There is a nap to it, so um, I'm sort of putting my hand down like that, and that means that that's the nap. You can see the selvage of the fabric. That's the nap of the long side, that's the nap of the short side. If you brush your hand the other way, 
I'm hoping the camera can yeah, pick that up. Yeah, it definitely is, yeah. And the same with this. Now, it's interesting to see, so which way are you going to cut it then? I actually, as long as you cut them all in the same direction for that, but then you can play around with whether you want the velvety side or the furry side. Yes. So on this particular one, I've done the furry side on the outside because it's a teddy. Uh -huh. um, and I've actually used the velvety side for um, the outside of the ears, I think, or the inside of the ears. can't remember which yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. It's when we learned to use, uh, make velvet jackets. I would presume that you did the nap going downwards. Yes. When you cut a velvet jacket, you do it with the... Really? You do it with... Yeah, so that the, the nap like is that. up. Yes, yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. But, you, you know, it's entirely up to you, mm. and you'll get a different version. And don't worry about it. It's a circular yes, shape. Exactly. So it doesn't exactly. really matter. Um, but just be aware of that. Half oh. the stock of the book is gone. Sorry, Karen. <laughs> also, um, be aware when you cut it. When I've um, done toy making in the past, and it's been a longer fleece, a longer... Um, Hair. Length, yeah, yeah, a longer hair. Um, you can actually cut between the hairs, so you're not actually cutting into the hairs. With this one, because it's quite short, you will find that you'll get bits yes, everywhere. Yes, fluff. The only thing that I would do is, um, if you're in one room, is when you've cut it all out, pick it up and just shake it, and then all the bits go off onto the floor, and then you can get the hoover out once. Right. You know, once you've done it yeah. all. The other thing is when you're um, machining with it, it will leave a, a little bit of hair in the actual machine. So you want to clean your machine afterwards. Right. Um, okay. Yeah. So um, to get the circle, I actually, um, let me just have a look and see which side I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to do the, um, the furry side. So to get the circle, um, you can use a board like this which has got a lovely circle on it um, but that circle I think is a, a little bit smaller okay mm -hmm. so um, you'll lay your fabric out um, just make sure which way I'm doing it that way okay um, I actually used a sharpie pen because a friction pen won't work on this fabric okay and to do it on the Is that why there's a Sharpie pen on the floor over here? I've just noticed there's a Sharpie <laughs> pen on the floor over here. I don't here. know. This is one I brought from home. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, and I just took a, a length of thread and I measured, um, I did a loop in the centre, um, I did a knot in the centre and a loop on the outside. Right. Okay. And that's roughly the centre there. Pop a pin. And you measure the length of the thread to seven inches. And if that's roughly in the centre, uh -huh. you'll take your Sharpie pen. I've done a slip knot on one side. Pop your pen in there and you draw round. I'm not drawing onto this at the moment because I've already cut it. Yeah, but yeah, that's yeah, how yeah. you'll cut it easily. Brilliant. So, okay. So that's the way you'll get um, your cushion. And as you see, that, you know, you cut two of those, cut them individually as well. Don't cut them together, cut them individually. Um, but you'll get loads from a yeah. meter. I reckon you'll get more than two. Oh, easily. Yeah, yeah. From, um, from that. Because the fabric's wide as well, isn't it? It is. It is very wide. So, um, you know, there, there will be loads that you'll be able to do with that fabric. As I say, because the book's so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine that other one actually out of fur fabric? This would be lovely, wouldn't be really, it? Really, really, really nice. nice yeah. yeah, and even um, the linen one yep. as well. You could do that. So that's how you get your circles. You'll cut two of those out. And um, talked about that. Then you'll cut. This is your muzzle. So that was the pattern piece that we had there. I put a pin in the top there because um, that's the top of the fabric going down mm -hmm. like that. And then you'll cut. Um, two pairs of ears and then the centre of the ear as well. Right. So again, this is where I played around with it. So for the pink one that you've got there, you'll see the centre of the ear is it's short, slightly, uh, yeah, it's yeah. the short one and the outside of the ear is the long one. Mm -hmm. So for this one, I'm doing it the other way around. I'm actually going to do the inside of the ear as the long and the outside of the ear as the short. Okay. Okay. Becky Alexander Frost says she uses a sticky clothes roller on the edges when she's working with fabric yes. like this. Yeah. Yes, definitely. There's lots of different ways. If you've got a hand um, 
hand hoover, handheld hoover. You can actually do Vacuum that. Vacuum cleaner. Yeah, yeah. As long as you don't put it on too strong. No. <laughs> You'll lose the your The Bell one we've got is perfect. <laughs> yes, yes, that would be lovely. I right. seem to remember when I used to do Pantone, we used to use this a lot, is we used to put, um, like, not full-on sellotape, but like a low-tack tape. Oh, right. Round where we were going to cut. So we draw the line oh, that yes. you've drawn round the yeah. circle. Then we put low-tack tape yeah. round on the circle. And then and when the you pull the tape off, yeah. it takes all the um, fabric that you've cut. Yes, yes. but leave because it's low-tack, it yes. doesn't take away from... If you yes. use a sellotape, sellotape oh, it could yeah, take yeah, away yeah, some no, of your definitely. fabric. But it just takes away the fluff. That no, you, that's a really I don't, good I don't idea. know where, that, where that's coming from, but I just remember <laughs> doing that. That was all. No, no, that's a really yeah. good idea. Just need to get rid of that now. So... Then the next thing you'll do is you'll um, attach the inner ear to the outer ear. Mm -hmm. And you'll just position it in place. As you can see, there's lots of bits there. And then start with a knot. You can use the strand of cotton, that's fine, or use a sewing thread. Start on the wrong side. And then you're actually going to tuck in, although it doesn't fray, you're actually going to tuck in about a quarter of an inch and then you're going to sew through the inner ear. Righty-ho. And just do stitches, little stitches, like a whipping stitch. Oh, I see. So, so you're not sewing it, because on some soft toys you sew, you sew a big one to a small one, but all the way around the edge, which makes it fold in. You're not yes. doing that then? No. Could you do this on the machine? Um, this bit I wouldn't. Oh, right. Okay. Because you're actually just attaching the inner ear to the outer ear. Okay. Um, if you, you could, but you'd have a stitch line there. Not thinking about bagging it out. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Stitch from one. Hang on. So I've got the right side together. You need to put one that round, so round there. <laughs> I'll have to have a practice before I say on that. I should I throw you that over? You could have a practice on that. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. So and do you need to make this here? No, that's fine. Okay. I just did it to show. So I'm just doing a stitch um, on the background and on the front of the inner ear. Um, don't worry about the length of your stitches either, which is wonderful with this fabric because your stitches will actually disappear into the fur. You can't see them at all there. And you want this nice and secure. Again, if this is for a child, and th these, these um, cushions are absolutely gorgeous for children because they are all soft. There's no sort of safety eyes or any problems like that. So you just want everything to be nice and secure. Have you sorted it out yet? No. <laughs> Her mathematical brain isn't kicking in yet. <laughs> it hasn't been all day today, Kat says. <laughs> Well, actually, it started the other day when I kept saying you had to buy four of something that was £12 for £40. And Kat was like, no, no. George, no. <laughs> Definitely need a holiday. So all I'm doing is just sewing round like that. And if you look on the back, you can see roughly where I've been stitching. Uh-huh. OK, so you'll carry on like that. Mm hmm and then you'll put your two right sides together. I'll just quickly whiz through. I would normally take a little bit longer than this yeah. to attach them. Um, this um, book has been on before and we have done this. Um, we did the grey cushion actually. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it was the in November last year. Can't remember the date exactly. Have to look it up. Yeah, and I 14th went through. November. Yeah, I went through a lot more information about um, the bear and everything then because I want to try and do some of the patchwork bear as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, is there a pig or a penguin in the book? I shall have a look. No, oh. I don't think so. Um, the pig, you could easily do a pig from this pattern. Easily, oh, yes. Um, just by doing a couple of, instead of just a nose, you do a couple of nostrils and maybe add a, a squiggly tail on the back. Mm -hmm. And maybe change the ears so they weren't so rounded. Um, so, yes, you could. Yeah, a cow, that. a mouse, a horse, a ghost, a, another mouse, a fox, a s owl, seagulls. Goldfish, lots of fishes, giraffe, lots of bears, 
dog. I don't think there's a penguin. I can't remember no, seeing a penguin. No, it's not. No. No. So again, um, if you've got wonder clips, they're very useful. Oh, yes. For now. holding um, the ears together. So I put the right sides of the ears together. Right. Now, look, these, this is a big box. I haven't got these here with me today. It's a box of 50. I did open the box the other day. I'm not sure what has happened to them. Uh, you get to save nine pounds, look. Is that so, it? Oh, that's it. That's it. You can just, what, just shake that box there, Cara. That's the box you get the car has got there. So you get 50 of them in that box for an early bird price. They still haven't taken the nine pound off. So get them now while you can. Thank you, Cara. Brilliant. <laughs> Right. That's a funny noise. Okay. So, right sides together, matching the edge, edge as much as possible. With the ears and with the muzzle, um, you add um, a seam allowance. I'm just going to double check. Quarter of an inch seam allowance. Actually, yeah. with anything that you're doing with fleece, I actually add half an inch. But don't worry about it because when you finished it, it would just be slightly smaller. Yeah. So, um, but I just find it much easier when you're machining it to have that extra yeah. seam allowance. Uh, and just, could you bag out the inner ear with interfacing or light fabric, then machine it in place? You could, but then you'll have a line of top yes. stitching going yeah, around your ear. Yeah, but that's fine, yeah. absolutely fine, if, that's, um, if you're happy doing that. Yeah. Also, the fluff will kind of cover a lot of your stitching. Yes. Anyway, so, I've um, got a um, walking foot on here. Uh -huh. um, just from the point of view that um, it does make it easier. But just if you haven't got a walking foot, then just take your time. Yeah. Um, every once in a while, if the um, fur goes over the foot, just lift the um, lever and just tuck it under. If you want to, you could elongate the stitch slightly. Um, I've just left this one at 2.4. Uh -huh. But it's so forgiving, it really is. Um, when you're going around curves and things like that, there's no need to trim afterwards. Because it's a knitted fabric, it stretches very well. Uh -huh. So you can trim it. Um, you know, you don't need to use pinking shears or anything like that, yeah. depending on how big your seam. Um, I'd be interested to know if it's washable. Is it? Uh, no, I, I need to know. I really. would hope so. Cat can find out. Yeah, I would hope so. Uh, be careful if you want the book. There's very, very few left. Limited on the book. I mean, I'm presuming we'll buy it again, but who knows? Yeah. Okay. I've used, um, I didn't have any gold thread at home, gold coloured thread at home. I just had a yellow and yeah. that, you can see, it sinks into the fabric well, yeah. very well. So I've machined all the way around the ear there. Uh-huh, oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just double check that it's gone all the way so you haven't missed anything. And then you just turn it through to the right side. Ochre and rose are neck and neck at the moment. As you can see in the side graphics there, even though there's a picture of the pink one, the rose one, it's actually the ochre bundle. Okay. And I just want to show you, look how beautifully that does a curve. Yeah. You know, there's no need, you haven't got any fur. So then brush it with a toothbrush to get the fur you to You can, yeah. yes, definitely with a little brush yeah. would be really good, but it needs to be like a toothbrush, yeah. not a, a soft brush, yeah. but you can do that. And then you machine along there with just um, a, lo a longer stitch just to hold that, a basting stitch just to hold that uh -huh. together. So you do that with both ears. Uh -huh. And then I'll tell you about the um, muzzle. So the muzzle, you want to cut out of your felt, the nose that we had there. Uh -huh. and, um, 40 degree wash the fabric can go. Oh, lovely. So pop your nose at the top there. And again, you'll just do some um, Stitches, just to hold that in position. Just because of the felt, you'll want your stitches to be a little bit neater. Yeah, also, we also advise you to test to test it first. Yes. Yeah. Um, no, I'm going to do the velvet side, aren't I, for the muzzle? So, move that pin out of the way. That's what I'm talking to myself. <laughs> what are you saying, Cara? Oh, I don't know. I've, I've 
talk to myself at home when I'm sewing. Because <laughs> nobody listens. So. Oh, well, at least they don't answer back then. No, that's right. So then just tiny little stitches. And if you wanted to, you could pop a little bit of um, stuffing in the nose to make it stand out. In that actual felty bit of nose? Yes. Yeah. yeah. The felty bit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to stitch all the way around. Okay. I just want to see how I get on. Yeah. Um, so let's undo that. No, don't put the <laughs> don't put your needle in the flesh. Don't leave your needle no. in your teddy. And then you will position and you can look at the picture on the front. And this is a good one as a guide. Yeah, and it's just coming into you now. There we go. Ooh, do, 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 do. There you go. So that one there is a good guide to the position of the muzzle uh -huh. yes, rather than the nose. So that's the muzzle. And you'll Pop that roughly. You can measure this, make sure that you've got, you know, the right distance all the way around yeah. and everything. But um, for speed, I'm just going to pop a pin in there. And then what you'll do is do exactly the same as we did before. Just turn under about a quarter of an inch and stitch. Okay. And you'll stitch most of the way round. And then you'll put some stuffing yeah. in the muzzle to make it stand proud. Mm -hmm. So that's what you'll do. So you'll stitch all the way round and pop some stuffing in. Now, before you do this, you can actually do the um, mouth. Right, before you, you do, put stuffing yeah, in. Yeah, or you can do that later. It's entirely up to you. Um, because the friction pen doesn't work, what I did was I actually just put a few pins in to get the shape of it. So... Um, and just do uh -huh. a line like that and then you'll stitch that okay a soft brussel brish with a little talc will also refresh the pile on plush Ooh, sounds lovely yeah. <laughs> so that's what you'll do with the muzzle okay you've inserted some stuffing uh, the stuffing underneath that yeah though, isn't you've it? turned yeah. that under and then what you'll do is you'll grab your ears. I'll show you in a minute because I you have see got now one. this is where I think I would do what who was it said earlier? Ang, I'd I'd bag it out with some interfacing or something like that, stuff it. Then you've got a really really crisp edge to then yeah. with, with with rather than having to turn the quarter an inch yes. under, you could just make the whole of the muzzle separately yes. and then hand whip it on afterwards. Yes, yes, that's a good idea. The other thing you can do um, with the ears is you can pop a couple of uh, little bit of stuffing in. Uh huh. Comes in ears. your kit. It um, it is quite firm anyway. Yeah. And it does give it just a little bit extra body. So this is before you base the edges together. Yeah. So you can just pop some stuffing in there, and then base those edges together. And then what you'll do, I haven't got two of the ears. I have on that one there. Is you'll put the ears in position uh -huh. right sides together so the front of the ear the inner ear is against the head uh -huh. there. the same there okay and again if it, i was doing this at home i'd measure the center and i'd make sure that the ears were so it doesn't look wonky mm -hmm. okay what you'll do then is use a basting stitch and just baste that in position and can you see the curve of the ear yeah you just need to pull that. So it goes round. the opposite way to yes. your curve. Yes, yeah. yeah. So you just pull that round. And as you're machining it, you'll just make sure that those raw edges all go together. Mm -hmm. This is where the walking foot helps because you've actually got one, two, three, four layers of the fabric. So that will, your machine will start making noises yeah. as it goes through all of that. But don't worry, you can do it without a walking foot uh -huh. as well. Okay? Yep. So you'll pop your ears on like that. And this is one I've prepared Aww. earlier. Okay. Now you see that I put quite a bit of stuffing in the muzzle there. And it is standing quite proud. But if you look at the pink one, uh -huh. once you put the right sides together yeah. um, and you stuff the whole thing, this flattens out. I was going to say, the one doesn't feel like he's got any stuffing in it yeah, at all. Yeah, he one. has, but it's just, it sinks into the actual yeah. bear itself. This one's very well loved because Kat has this one in the gallery with her all the time. <laughs> so she doesn't sit on it. <laughs> and then you've got um, two eyes, a couple of felt eyes, um, just oval shapes. There's not a pattern for the eye, 
but you can make them as um, large as you like and then you'll just pop those on the actual face of the bear there yeah. and then sew those in position as you've done the other one. And then right sides together. They look completely different, don't they? With the tan nose yes. and eye, they look completely different, yes, don't definitely. they? Yes, definitely. You know, I would um, possibly, when I've sewn these on, this could be, you know, you could do some eyelashes, mm. make it a lovely little girl one. And yeah. as I say, add the Little add boys the have eyelashes too. Yeah, they do, they do, but nice long ones. Okay. <laughs> a lot of boys have long yeah, lashes Yeah, exactly. Anyway. No idea that they're yeah. really good. But you can see here. It's bungle, says Princess. Bungle from Rainbow, oh, that's right. what it looks like. Oh, so you can see here how gorgeous these are. So you've got the velvety uh -huh. part of the ear there and then the long fur there. And that just makes such a difference. And Perfect. then you've got the, the velvet there as well. Right sides together, machine all the way around, leave an opening at the bottom, uh -huh. fill it with stuffing and then use ladder stitch and stitch it all together. Okay, right, now okay. I'm just aware of time. We need to move on to the teddy yep. bear one. I'll do a recap of all the kits at the end only because we need to move on to this, which is also in the book. Same book, same book, there's 50. Um, a Baffer actually worked out, 26 peer pattern it works oh, out. Oh gosh. 26 peer pattern. Right, now I've only got this in the one colourway, the pink. Is it the same as that pink then? Okay. Yes, exactly the same. I only got it in the pink colourway. Uh, it did start off with a blue colourway, but they sold out. So, look, look, you could do the whole thing, get the book and the kit for uh, 25, 26 pounds. 26 pounds plus your PMP. And you can make more than, you know, obviously more than one fluffy teddy. I think you can only make one out of this. Only one you? out yeah. of this, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Although, if you've got fabric in your stash and also maybe plain fabric, mm -hmm. you could actually play around with the, the colours in the pack. Exactly. So I just want to talk about yes, the pattern. Yes, please do. So um, the pattern, one square on the grid, represents four by four centimetres. That's one and a half by one and a half inches. So every square on here, that's what um, it represents. So actually, if I measured this, it wouldn't be four centimetres. That would be about two, mm. if that. So you want to enlarge the pattern. And right. this is why you've got so many patterns within this book. Uh -huh. Because if you did have full size patterns, you wouldn't be able to get so many in there. No, of course not. Um, but we, last time, I think we talked about, you know, um, enlarging. And you used to do it with dressmaking. Yes. Enlarging the patterns using the grid. Yes, so totally. If you, yeah. you know, if you draw a four by four centimetre grid or one and a half by one and a half inch grid, you'll be able to draw out these pieces. I actually had a neighbour who had a photocopier that photocopied it up for yeah, me. Yeah, my photocopier, I don't think, that, I've got a posh one, but I don't think it would do that. But I would do that, just draw the yes. squares and go, right, it's four squares across at yes. that point, so you can mark those. Yeah, Two then, squares up at that point yeah, and, and then just you, join the dots. Yeah, and then just draw the yeah. shape. Um, so you'll enlarge all the pattern pieces, cut all the pattern pieces out. I think this is the, about the fourth one of these I've done. So I've used this over and over again, yeah. which is fantastic. There is an arrow on the pattern um, if you, your fabric's got a grain to it. Mm -hmm. So um, that will be um, you know, matching the arrows there. Yeah. The most important thing about um, the actual pattern are these numbers on the notches. So when I did this one, I actually um, found that using um, medium iron-on interfacing was a really, really good way of um, making sure that the fabric didn't stretch too mm -hmm. much. So the one you've got hold, oh. holding there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just realised she was upside down. <laughs> It's actually got medium interfacing on okay. the inside, and this one has got medium interfacing okay, on the inside as well. So, um, but I've written on the actual pattern pieces the numbers for the notches yep. because you're going to be matching the notches. Yeah. Again, I, I mentioned earlier about um, you know the details of the pattern. That's all there is to this. Right. Okay. So it's 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 really just taking your time going through and matching everything. Yeah. The other thing that um, I did notice when I was uh, doing the first one 
is there is a notch missing. Oh no, <laughs> Marie Claire. And I have told them, I think I said that uh, last time. Yeah, I, I did say, oh, did, um, yeah, I, I think I've done this wrong. You know, can you just let me know? And they apologised. Oh, they said, replied? No, no. Yeah, they did reply. Oh, mind um, you, search press are very good yes, and things like that, aren't yes, they? Yes, yeah. Um, so that's the only thing that I would say is on the side front of the head, please make sure that you do an, a notch there because that's, if you have a look at him or her, under the chin. That's well, underneath the ribbon. Yeah, from the, the nose, from the nose back. Uh, here? So it's the, yeah, that bit there. Yeah. I'll just get Elliot to come on that. Elliot switched me off, you see, so I can't. There you go. Okay. Yep. So that, that's that part there down to the neck. Right, that's what I did, I, I machined all the way through, and mm -hmm. of course it didn't fit together at all. Um, the other thing is you can either use felt for the eye, you can use stranded cotton for the eye, um, you can use a button for the eye. The one that you've got there... Got I've little buttons. buttons. But we always say if you give them to a three-year-old yeah. under, don't put a button on, don't Yeah, you? but you can put felt on there. Or, what um, paper did you use for the for the pattern itself? Um, photocopy okay. paper. That's all. Yeah. Nothing, nothing She's drawn special. the squares on herself, yeah. Princess. Um, Elliot, am I supposed to still be switched off? <laughs> I've got no, no, I've got, they've just, they've just disappeared out of my ear, that's oh. all. I don't know if it's on purpose or if it's a fault. <laughs> okay, the other thing that I wanted to um, talk to you about, so that's the pattern, yeah. and then it's just working your way through, mm -hmm. um, but I wanted to make it much more patchworky, yeah. so if that's a proper word, it may not be, um, than the one here, although they have done patchwork on the arms okay, and things like that. Okay, let's have a look at the book. Kelly, can we see the book, please? But patch, more patchworky than the pink there one you go, that you've yeah. got. Yeah. So I wanted to do it more like this. Yeah. So what I did was I cut out the parts of the um, body that I knew I would want in single, the the solid fabrics. solid fabrics. Yeah. That's the word I'm looking for in the solid fabrics. And then I thought, oh no, I'm going to have a solid fabric for the the paws and also for the back of the head, the side of the head. Um, but then I fancied having the patchwork for the ears, uh -huh. so um, I thought that just oh, looks so look. cute. So I did both. So you could do the whole, if you wanted to, you could do the whole thing, couldn't you? You could. Patchwork. So I got the, the solid fabric at the back yeah. of the head uh -huh. and the ears, and then the patchworky fabric on the front there. Uh -huh. And I also wanted to do the centre of the head with the nose here in the patchwork bit and then so that's the actual patchwork bit and then the back of the head I've actually done all in the same colour so I've got all of that uh -huh. in the same solid fabric there yeah so to do this and you know I'm not a patchworker but a lot of patchworkers do this all the time yeah is I cut two and a half inch strips of fabric mm -hmm. from what I had left and um, machined those together. And oh, then so you kind of created fabric yes. and then cut the pieces yes. out of the fabric rather than trying to piece yes. into the little squares or anything. Yes, definitely, definitely. So um, that's what I was able to do and it just makes such a difference. Mm -hmm. So this, this is the pieces I've got left over. But you can play around with it and again, if you've got um, lots of fabric in your stash this is a really really good w way of and uh, the jelly rolls and the designer roll fabric uh -huh. so if you've got some of those you could actually use those as well so that um, I used and then I decided that that's what I wanted to do for the arms the front of the face uh -huh. and the legs lovely okay so um, you'll match your notches again so number 12 with number 12. Right. And then number nine with number nine. Oh, so straightforward won't be, that's really, why it's important really, to have them all on yeah, there, isn't really, it? Yeah, really, really straightforward. Um, the ones where I've got the ears, when you've actually cut, um, machined, on the curve, I would pinking shear. Oh, okay. So once got pinking shears, you can just knit, cut in. Yes, you? you can just snip, yeah. um, but you can just, and that helps the curves lie nice and flat. Uh -huh. Susie says, uh, thank you, John and Cara. I love watching Sewing Street and all your fabulous guest presenters. Aww. It inspires me to do loads. Just need to get the skills now. Susie, just start easy. 
Just start easy, get something very, very easy that appeals to you and just build. There's no race, it's not a race. And you're doing it for fun anyway, aren't you? You know yeah, what I mean? So. Definitely. And once you get started, you'll get hooked yeah. completely and utterly. So all the curves I actually um, trimmed with either the pinking shears or cut into the curves. And then when you turn this through, I haven't cut that one with the curves, that one I have. Uh -huh. Turn that through. And you've got your patchwork arm, uh -huh. which is gorgeous. And then do the same with the legs. And the only thing that I would say with the leg is when you're um, cutting it, cut into um, just where the foot is here. Yeah, let's have a look at that. There you go. So you've pink and sheared there and round the curve there, but just that little bit there will help if you look at the leg on the one that John's got. Do you want it upwards or la lying flat, Elliot? Oh, Elliot's stressing everyone. Oh, sorry, I'm jumping around no, all no, no, over no, the no, place. No. Uh, just so you know, Cara's doing a brilliant job. I need to tell you at home, because we're obviously always honest with you, right? <laughs> this, I got completely cut off from them. They thought it was me, so they came out. Nothing, it was something wrong. So all the time Cara was talking to them, <laughs> Elliot was here going, oh, I can't get it to work, I can't get it to work. Like this, <laughs> doing all that. And Cara just carried on like the true professional that she is. <laughs> I had to be put off completely. I had to be like, well, what's happening? But she was brilliant. What are you so doing? So sorry about that, Cara. <laughs> they sort of What are you doing? Um, yeah, so that that little bit in the leg yeah, there yeah. that you, you saw. So well, it's on, Yeah, it's on the yeah, picture. That's, there, that's important. Um, then when you've got the pads, you've got the yeah. notch on the pad there and the notch on the leg, and you'll match those, and then use either lots of pins or lots of clips. Yeah. And just... I, I'd use pins on that. You yes. Because yeah. you're only going to get four or five clips, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, let's get get pins. pins. While you find your pins, message from Maxine. Uh, Cara, thank you so much for all today. I've Aww. enjoyed it so much. Thank Can you, the big bear head be used for a pajama case with a Ooh, zip in the back? Yes, from definitely. Maxine. Definitely. And what you possibly want to do is line it. I was going to say I'd, yeah. I'd line it. I yeah. definitely yeah. line yeah. it. But use it. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, it's such a simple one. If you wanted to, you could make a cat. A yeah. Dog, but what I was going to say, maybe pig. if you're going to do it, is make the front like you make it, but then attach something like some H640 to it. So you've got a bit. Because if you don't put any of the wadding in at all, it might be a bit like that. Yeah. When, the, when it's not got the yes. pajamas in. Yeah. So you could then you could put a little bit of H640, so it's got a bit of body. Then when you've got the pajamas in, it's stuffed, isn't it? Yes. And then when they're not in, it's got a bit of body to it. That's yes. All. But line yes. it definitely, definitely line it because yes. you don't want all this fluff in your pajamas. <laughs> no, definitely not. And um, you know you could do a panda easily, yeah. couldn't you? Oh yeah, black and white, yeah. yeah. And a dog, a cat. Well, I was thinking earlier, if you bought two bundles, you could mix and match the yes. gold or the grey or yes. the pink or anything, couldn't yeah, you, really? Yeah, definitely. And as I say, the, the fur fabric, um, the fleece fabric, mm -hmm. can be used on so many different patterns within the book. Now, when we started the show, we only had one of the fleeces. Was it in rows, did you say? Available? Oh, ignore me, it sold out. I was going to say, maybe just buy yourself half a metre of the rows to do the extra bits and bobs, but it sold out, so I'm afraid it's gone. Okay, so you would just, so I've just fitted the um, pad to That's the bottom it, of yeah. the leg, loads and loads of pins, and just take the pins out as you're machining mm -hmm. it. So you would machine round that, and that would create um, the, the leg. So you do that for both of those. Um, just trying to think what else I need to cover. Well, you've, so you've, you've, you've finished. <laughs> Nearly finished. Carry on, but no, no, go on then. Yeah. Um, so this is the body. Yeah. Looks like a, I don't know, armour, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Henry VIII's armour. Yeah. This is a lovely, lovely cuddly t tummy. Yeah. So you'll machine that. You'll machine at the back up to the notch mm -hmm. and then leave all this open because this is where you're going to attach the head around the neck. Right. And then <clears> you'll um, be doing the stuffing, stuffing there. Stuffing the rest from the back. Um, you'll also machine at the side there. So you can see you've got your front and back of the leg. Mm -hmm. And this is where you match your notches. So you've got 14 there and 14 there. But just be careful when you've turned that through. I'm going to turn the other one through. I've got the piece that's hit. Oh, no, that's not machined. I'll do it with the arm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've turned the arm through. You want your arm to be facing the right way. 
Um, we have done this bear before, as I say, so that it, it is um, available for you to watch. On I think YouTube. that one is May. So what I want to do is match the notches and make sure that the arm is in the right position. You don't want but your you arm going backwards. if you match 11 to 11 and 4 to 4, or whatever the numbers yep. are, yep. it'll be facing in the right yes. direction. Yes, yeah. So right sides together, yep. you'll match the notches there. And then again, pin all the way round and machine. But just yeah, so you'll put one. You put one inside. Would you put one inside? Yeah, like the that. other, like that, and yeah. then you, you can easily get to it. Then yes, when you're definitely. It, yeah. it was just really to show that you want to be sure that your arm is facing the right yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Perfect. Um, trying to think what else. I popped a little bit of stuffing inside the ear, so that's your patchwork ear, which uh -huh. is lovely. Um, the nose is a little bit of the felt, top stitched on the end of the center panel uh -huh. as you can see here so it doesn't take any pressure the felt doesn't take, take no any pressure not at all, at all. It's, it's actually got the fabric behind yeah, it brilliant. and the interfacing so that keeps it nice and firm um, that's the back of your head you'll then match all of this up so again four to four make sure that your seams at the top are matching and you pin this all the way and you'll think, oh gosh, I've got to here, but I haven't got enough fabric. Your nose is actually going to go round the corner right. like that. So you'll actually be machining it into there. And when you're machining your nose, start from the nose and work backwards. And what seam allowance is it? Quarter of an inch? Quarter of an inch, yeah. yeah. So that's that. So you'll do that for either side. Um, and as I say, you can either put um, safety eyes in if it's for um, a child over the age of three, or satin stitch there, yeah. or felt. Perfect. So, and put a bit okay. of ribbon around its neck. Cara, when are you in next, then? Uh, 9th of September. Oh, I won't be here. I'll be on oh, a beach. Well, I won't be I won't quite on a beach by then, oh, but I'll gosh. be on my way to the beach. Oh, I have a wonderful I will. one. Thank you, you deserve it. You thank deserve you. it. Thank you. And we'll see you then. Well, I'll see you when I get back. Yes. Thank you very much definitely. indeed. Right. Book, 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 book. 50 Fabric Animals for 12 99 Very, very popular from Marie Claire Ideas from Search Press. £12.99. Fewer than 30 of those left. Fewer than 30 of those. So now just quickly to go through the projects we've done today. I'll start with the teddy bear, if that's all right, that we've just seen. So in this, you have to buy the book for the patterns, obviously. So what you get in this bundle, <coughs> you get your stuffing, you get your pink, or we called it red, I think, haven't we? <coughs> red fat quarters. Then you've got your tan coloured felt and you've got your black embroidery thread. £12.99. pence, And that's to make this. Beautiful. And then, what do you want to do? Uh, the other... From pictures. Oh, there you go, there you go. So to make the rose one... Yeah, it can't show because it's on her lap. So, you get a metre of the rose fabric. You get some black felt. You get toy stuffing. Oh, there goes a the box. All of that there. You do need to buy the book for the pattern, obviously. But you'll be able to make way more... Well, I think you'll make more than two. I think you might run out of stuffing. You might have to get some more stuffing, but you'll make more than two out of there. $13.99. So that's the rose colourway. It also comes in a grey colourway with the same coloured felt. Uh, black felt, black embroidery skein. Beautiful, soft, lovely grey there. Plus your stuffing. $13.99. And it also comes in the one that you just saw being demoed then in the ochre. But you get different coloured felt on this one. So you get the ochre uh, fluff. Ochre's in the lead, everybody. Right, so then you get your uh, tan felt and your brownie tan embroidery thread, plus your felt, plus your stuffing, plus your fluff, sorry, plus your stuffing, Thirteen ninety-nine. All right, don't go anywhere. When we come back after the break, oh, I've got kits revisited. I've got so much to show you. Uh, I'll see you in about four minutes from now. Hi everybody, it's Stuart Hillard here, and I'm absolutely thrilled to announce that my brand new book, Bags for Life, 21 Projects to Make, Customise and Love Forever, is launching on Sewing Street this Thursday, the 26th of August at 8am. I'll be there, I hope you'll be there, and my book, Bags for Life, will definitely be there. See you on Thursday. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. 
Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hi, I'm Adam from Leicester and you might recognise me from a certain sewing programme. Um, I'm absolutely thrilled to be joining the family at Sewing Street as a guest designer. I got into sewing, sewing scrubs in the lockdown, which was um, really beneficial and helped me dust off my machine and uh, lead to a lot more things. And I'm really excited to, to show you some of my recent makes and things that I've been up to with my sewing machine. I also love a bit of knitting as well. I really enjoy making stuff for my nephew, uh, particularly knitting. Um, I'm working on a raincoat for him at the moment. And yeah, I really like to bring in my nautical influence. You may know I've worked on ships. I love my nautical fabrics and uh, colour palettes, the reds, whites and blues. So I like to bring that into my makes. The biggest tip I could recommend when it comes particularly to dressmaking is never to ignore your notches. Always match them up and making sure that you're being nice and accurate when you pin, because pinning is winning. <laughs> Are we winning? <laughs> I'm really looking forward to being part of the team at Sewing Street. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Hi everybody, it's Stuart Hillard here and I'm absolutely thrilled to announce that my brand new book, Bags for Life, 21 Projects to Make, Customise and Love Forever is launching on Sewing Street this Thursday, the 26th of August at 8am. I'll be there, I hope you'll be there and my book, Bags for Life, will definitely be there. See you on Thursday. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hi, I'm Adam from Leicester and you might recognise me from a certain sewing programme. Um, I'm absolutely thrilled to be joining the family at Sewing Street as a guest designer. I got into sewing, sewing scrubs in the lockdown which was um, really beneficial and helped me dust off my machine and uh, lead to a lot more things. And I'm really excited to, to show you some of my recent makes and things that I've been up to with my sewing machine. I also love a bit of knitting as well. I really enjoy making stuff for my nephew, uh, particularly knitting. Um, I'm working on a raincoat for him at the moment. And yeah, I really like to bring in my nautical influence. You may know I've worked on ships. I love my nautical fabrics and uh, colour palettes, the reds, whites and blues. So I like to bring that into my makes. The biggest tip I could recommend when it comes particularly to dressmaking is never to ignore your notches. Always match them up and making sure that you're being nice and accurate when you pin, 
because pinning is winning. <laughs> Are we winning? <laughs> I'm really looking forward to being part of the team at Sewing Street. Now, as he put those grey bits in, on the photo, on his, on his, um, on his little photo, right? It's got no grey bits there. Look, you have a look. Look, can we see? Can we turn? There's no, there's no grey, is there? There's no grey there. But on that, it looks good. I'm not saying it looks bad. It looks good. It looks like he's had it put in, like the Malin streak. Do you know what I mean? We'll ask him tomorrow because he's in tomorrow. You're looking forward to that. Him and Baffer on one day. I'm going to be busy tomorrow, aren't I? Anyway, anyway, remember now. This is your last. We're well, not your last hour. We'll just get rid of that, shall we? This is your last hour of live telly to get this. Now, obviously, it runs until midnight tonight. Um, to, I'll put it down. There's a voucher booklet we have going free. It's completely for free. It's going to everybody who bought yesterday or bought buys today, right? Only one per customer. You won't get one if you got one yesterday. There's over £150 worth of savings in it. But I do need you, when it arrives at home, just don't think, oh, I've got a voucher booklet. It's not like when you go to, you get a voucher and you go to Waitrose and buy some chocolates on it. And use them. They're all dated. So let me just show you. I'm going to lift that one up. On um, the 3rd of September, on the 3rd of September, there's 50% off yarn. Right? Underneath here, there is a code that you have to use for that day. That's why I'm covering it up, right? Because also, <coughs> this one here, uh, Saturday the 4th and September the 5th, just so you know, Elliot, I'm very echoey. Free P&P all weekend, right? On the 4th and the 5th, but there's a code under there. So you, you have to have the voucher to get it. All you have to do is buy something. All you have to do is buy something. Um, multiple uses, that one. The free P&Ps for the whole weekend. For the whole weekend. Okay, we're going to start with the starter kit here. Look at this, right? Uh, thank you. Right, so this, you get a cutting mat. This, you get a ruler. This, you get a, rota a rotary cutter. £19.99. pence. Uh, now, it's called a starter kit, but if you um, have a caravan or if you work away, at, you know, kind of go away for the weekend, got somebody in the family who's just starting, thinking, oh, I don't want to spend all that money. Do you know what I mean? At 19 12, I'm saying £12. I'm saying £12. I'm saying £8. You know what I mean? It's not 19 99 is it? Price comparison. And guess what? It's for the real thing. It's an absolute direct comparison. Is it? Hang on. Oh, no, hang on, sorry. No, 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 I take that back. I take that back. I thought that said Quilting Bear. It's, ours is Quilting Bear. That one's Threaders. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Take that back. It is not a direct comparison. But it's got a 45 motor rail motor cutter, A3 double-sided cutting mat, a 6 by 12 inch ruler. Sorry, because it was the same colourway, I presumed it was the same thing. It's not a direct comparison at all, but it's 34.99. Well, that's why I say 12 95 12 95 How much? How much? Do you know what I mean? It's really, really good value for money. Comes wrapped all together. It's lovely, isn't it? Perfect. And like I say, it's good quality. So if you're working away from home, don't want to take all your stuff, or maybe you go to classes now that classes are starting again, or maybe you've, you've got a, a, two workrooms, like, like Alice and Marion works in a kitchen and a shed right up the other end of her garden, up a hill. So you keep one in one and one in the other. At 19.99, you can afford to do that, can't you? It's fantastic. Inches on one side, sorry. Uh, inches on one side, centimetres on the other. This is just inch ruler here with your increments on there. What I would do, because it's 19.99, I'd invest in some of those, um, oh, what do we call them? Fabrics, mm, mm, grippers, grippers, right? To just put in the corner of your ruler there, plus your rotating cut. No, that's not rotating cut. That's a rotating. Rotary cutter. Can use be left-handed and right-handed. 45 millimetre, so easy to get extra blades for. I oh, know. 19.99. Yeah, if you've, like me, you've only ever worked with scissors and you want to start with, I'm, I'm all right now with a rotary cutter, but when I first started at sewing quarter, I'd never use one. 
1999. Oh, fewer than 20. We'll try and get more before Christmas, obviously. Thinking Christmas presents as well. Christmas present, brilliant Christmas present. And I know it's still August, but you know, got to be ahead of the game, haven't you? Trouble is, if I buy, I don't buy Christmas presents for people now because I might not be talking to them by Christmas. See what I mean? It's like a, it's like I found my will. This is a few years ago. I found my will and realised, I'll just tell you, realised I'd left things to people. Half them, 12 of them, I hadn't spoken, don't speak to anymore. They're not going to get it, are they? Change that. Anyway. Okay, have a what? You and Kat aren't in it now. Well, you're not my godchildren or nieces or nephews, are you? What, what, Kat? Wadding by the half metre, if you're going to do some quilting here. This is 100 inch, or almost 100 inches wide. Uh, and you buy it by the half metre, like you buy your fabric, right? So if you want half a metre, you're going to do some cushions, you buy half a metre. If you've got a huge quilt and you need three metres of it, you buy three metres. It comes in one piece. It's like buying the fabric off the bolt. 6 99 for half a metre. Did you do the air con? No. Hello? Six ninety nine. Oh, he does it in such a. I'll do it now. So I'm asking for the, the world from him. It's because he's cold because he's had his hair cut. You see, <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't understand all that. Two hundred forty four centimeters wide. That's almost a hundred inches wide, isn't it? Huge. Yeah, because sometimes you buy a king size, queen size, crib size, you don't always get the right size, whether this way you can do, you can just decide how much you want. So it always sells. Six ninety nine for half a meter. Good value for money that. Good value for money. Come in. Moda Sanctuary Quilt Kit. Oof. 159, it would have been where's the blame, there's a claim I'd have blamed Elliot. 159.99, but watch. Three split payments of 53.30 if you want to. The colours in here are adorable, right? The oh, sorry, I've just... Colours in here are so beautiful. They're really, really, well, it's called peace, isn't it? Featuring sanctuary fabrics. Look at them all. Look at all the fabric in there. I'm not going to open it. Now, I'm down to the last few of these now. Last few of these now. 159.99. Now, somebody we know has already got with this, and they said the colours in real life, uh, your telly's not doing them justice because it's so peaceful. Who will? Debbie Harris has got this, has she? Oh, there you go. Colours are amazing. Now, oh, she's not going to make this with it. She's going to keep hers for something else. But look, I'd make this because I think it's beautiful. It's 72 by 72 inch quilt. Um, don't be frightened by these feathered edges here because they're all just half square triangles. I'll show you, look. Look. Oh, some of them aren't half square. Those ones that are, they end up as half square triangles. But, oh, no, no, half square oh, no, there you go. Some of them are those. Parallelograms. Parallelograms. So it shows you how to cut them out. It's very easy. Message from Kate. Aircon. You want the moon on a stick, as my hubby would say. No, we've got aircon, but they put it on for Cara because she's having a hot flush, you see. And I'm, I'm freezing cold now, so she just needs to switch it off. Uh, in, on the back of here, anyway, look. You get all the different fabrics, how much you get to them, how much you have to cut. You have to supply your own backing and you have to supply your own wadding. Oh, look, buy two metres. Buy two metres of the wadding that we had and that'd be plenty. Anyway, look. Beautiful colours. And then you get the four big stars. Then look, the border is made of your nine patches and your plain squares. Oh, Rosemary, my love, are you watching a little bit behind? Which bear did you want to see? 
Yeah. She just, Rosemary's just man, literally just messaged this moment saying, can we see the finished bear? Do you mean the, the fluffy bear or do you mean the bear in the cotton sitting down? I'll get, I'll get Elliot to bring them out now. Elliot. He's going to come out now so you can see his new haircut as well. The patchwork one. Oh, we did. Right, okay. The patchwork. She didn't make the patchwork one, but I'll show you the finished bear. It's in the box there, Elliot. You got it. Right, this is Elliot staying on the other desk, everybody, with his new haircut. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're directing now, Kat. Here's Elliot, everybody. Rosemary, this is for you. There's the bear. Look, can you tell the difference? Elliot, smile. Oh, that is a smile. Sorry. That haircut makes you look a bit thinner. It does, yeah. Yeah, now breathe out, no. Kat says. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Right, so anyway, this is 159.99. Beautiful. Hope that helped, Rosemary. She didn't make, she didn't make, the, she didn't make up the finished um, patchwork bear this time. She's just showing you how to do it, that was all. Right, next. What's that? Got it. In cut, in, um. Right, so I've got it in bright, so I've got it in blue. Which one would you like to see first? Bright first. So you obviously get two panels. There's the instructions. Tea party quilt, it's called. Not time for tea. No, no, because the time for tea is in the graphics, look. So, oh, you get these for free. You get these for free, look. Oh, it's just not an opening one. Right? So what do you get then for your $34.99? So there's your panels with your teapots on. Well, and now, now, let's be honest, they're not all teapots, are they? That's a cat, first of all. That's a coffee pot. That's a coffee pot. That's a kettle, that one there. Isn't it? That's a lovely art, new art deco one there. Do you want what? Is it Saturday? Cats off tomorrow. Anyway, so you get those, you get those, you get those, you get those. Plus, now all you see all the strips that you need for the quilt. You get all of those on this panel. Look, look. Beautiful. Look. Pale blue, lemon, pink, green, blue corner squares, internal corner squares. Where's the instructions? And I can talk about it a little bit more. Okay, so there's your strips for down the side. So you have pink on the top, green on bottom, blue on side, yellow on side. These are your border corners, your corner stones. These are your internal squares there. And then these, now they might look white to you, but they've actually got little very, very soft flowers on them. All those sashings are all here. Is there binding as well, Kat? Let's have a look. Yeah, binding. This is the binding along here. There are your sashing strips along there. That's good, isn't it? And you get the instructions for free. Oh, Rosemary thinks Elliot's cute. Rosemary, Rosemary, I'll get spec savers on the phone to you later. Elliot just took such a sharp intake of breath then when I said that. Right, yeah, here we go. Then we've got the same thing in the blue and the white. No, thank you very much. Am I in work? Am I in here tomorrow? Oh, yes, of course I am. Of course I am, yeah. Of course I'm here with Adam and Baffer. There we go. Look, on the it looks very Delft, doesn't it? Is that Delft? Delft? Not Delphine. No. Uh, Rebecca Reed did the design. Design by Sewing Street, instructed by Rebecca Reed. Debbie Harris made it last week. We've done it once before, haven't we? Hello, my lovely John and team. Not watching today. <laughs> As I'm going to see my auntie for the first time in nearly two years. But I've recorded the shows to watch later. So she'll see this later. Michaela, Michaela. Everyone's waving. Right, okay. So this is the blue and white one. So... So hang on, where's the, um, are you having it on rye, pastrami on rye? Hmm. 
Kat's never had pastrami before. She's wondering whether she'd like it for her lunch. Right, look. Oh, now this one's slightly different. Even though the instructions you're going to get have got the colourful one on, obviously you're going to have your two sides in the blue, your top and your bottom in the pale blue. That must be your border there. Oh, no, that's your binding. That's your binding, the day at dark blue and the binding. That's your border. That's your binding. There are your cornerstones. There are your inner cornerstones. There's that's your sashing around the edge. Oh, that's nice. I quite, I quite like the blue and white one. Because normally I'd go for the colourful one, wouldn't I? Blue and white one's lovely. So you're getting the free instructions, remember. Hang on. Hi, Elliot. You are lovely from Sarah in Deal in Kent. Davinia, my Davinia. I keep missing Elliot's photo. Can you show it again? It wasn't a photo. He was live. He was live, Davinia. Just rewind. Just rewind and you'll see it. He's not allowed out again. He's only allowed out the box once. He can't hold his breath in for that long, Davinia. That's the problem. Then we have some complementing fabric panels to go with, have we? Is that these, 45 and 67? Well, I'll start with 45. Okay, so Elliot decided that today, uh, today was going to be the first day of the rest of his life. He's going to go on a big diet, get muscly again. I don't even remember him being muscly, full stop. Ripped he was, he says. Uh, and then he's ordered a pastrami bagel. Right. These are lovely, these are like tiles, aren't they? £12.99. This is panel. This panel is £12.99. It's lovely, isn't it? So if you did the quilt, you could then make, what could you make with this then? Coasters, placemats, bunting. Loads you could do. They're five inch squares, aren't they? 20, 40, 40 of them. I'd kind of make half square, at these I'd leave as they are, and then maybe the others I'd make half square triangles or pinwheels or something like that. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Then we have hexes in the same colourway. Only ni nine of the hexy pen panels in the blue. Yeah. One day, Kat, you should come and sit here. It's very difficult trying to talk with people talking to you at the time, all the time. There you go, 12 99 Sometimes the words come out the wrong way around. Right, so hang on. These are two-inch edge with a quarter-inch seam allowance. 60, 60 hexes you get there. I know, for 12 99 Uh, For some what? See, she said she says all this thing I'm I'm supposed to repeat. Okay, so she just said, John, tell them to go to the website to find the paper card. So go to the website to find the paper card, everybody. They've got it. They've got it. She knows. It's because she's been on for about four days in a row. And Hannah, Hannah is having a week and a half off. Somehow, we don't know how. Right, so which one? 20 or 09? Squares. These are, by the way, these are all totally exclusive. You can't buy these anywhere else. Oh, this is nice. Look. Oh, that's lovely. Do you know what I might make? I'd make a tablecloth out of it all. Wouldn't that be nice? In fact, I wouldn't, what I wouldn't do is I wouldn't cut them up. I'd literally just sew. I'd press it like a little pin tuck on the other. Or I might do the pin tuck on that side, on the proper side, actually. Just do a little pin tuck along there, the size of the white there. Buy three of the panels and make a nice big tablecloth. It has got a direction. Just so you know. Oh, why have they put two teapots together? Or maybe I wouldn't do that then. Maybe I'd cut some of them up. Anyway, I love it. It's beautiful. The colours are lovely. I love that colour there. Chateuse. Oh, I would do an apron and put OG coat on it. Would you indeed? Would you? Well, that's the squares. Well, Kate, you can have that on when I pop round for a cup of tea. You can have that on when I pop round. 
Hi everyone, so much fun today. Love your honesty, John. Oh no, what was it? <laughs> uh, bought the toy book for me. I do need more cushions. They're lovely those though, those uh, fluffy cushions, aren't they? And, oh, John O'Groats, uh, will they be in my room when I come to stay? I'm going to stay there when I do my tour. Then I'll go and see Carol in Sutherland, you see. There's going to be a tour. I'm not going to, it's not going to be a show. I'm just going on a tour. Not doing the John Scott show or anything. You just have to carry my bags. Twelve ninety nine. Oh, drive. Oh, no, I don't want to drive. Twelve ninety nine. you get 60. No, don't sing while I'm driving. Don't put me off. No, we can't. She wants to play the fun car game. The thing is, Kat, your career's just starting. Mine's winding, mine's winding down now, you see, so I'll have time to do things like that. 12.99. Are we allowed to say that you're doing that? Kat's working on a, I won't say which show it is yet until we know for definite, but Kat's working on a theatre show. Because you know Kat, Kat and I are both from the same background. Like I, st I'll just tell you, I started working in theatre way back. And Kat works in the costume and the wardrobe department in theatre as well. Obviously, she's a producer here now, but she's missing. I have to say, working in theatre is the best thing ever, but you can't live a life on it. The money is horrendous. But anyway, she's worked out. She and Hannah have worked this thing, swapping shifts and everything, so that she can work on a new show in Birmingham. It's not going on tour, is it? No, it's just going to be in Birmingham. I'm not going to tell you which, um, <laughs> which show it is, but I could sing you song, some of the songs from the show. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. I've seen the clips of the rehearsals on YouTube and everything, yeah. Oh! There you go. Message from Karen very quickly. You're always welcome in our little village, house next to the stream, two minutes from the sea. Oh, that's in Scotland as well. Oh, fine, because I was going to pop in to see Mo as well, won't I? Well, that'd be nice. I'll, book it. I'll do next year's holiday. I won't do it in winter, because in winter it might be a bit difficult. But I haven't got... I, unless I get... Because I'm going to get a new car... I should get a four-wheel drive car, shouldn't I, really? Then I could get um, chains on my tyres, couldn't I? Uh, Riley Blake aprons, here we go. Which colourway was that to you first? Amethyst first. Aprons are very popular today. In fact, lots of people messaging in today saying they do aprons. I don't know yet. I'm going to be advised. Oh, hang on. That's a very mini apron. No, hang on. That's a pocket. That's the neck, obviously. There must be another bit that goes on there, surely. Hang on, look. Where's the straps? Well, that, sorry. And that's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. But I'm just saying, right, if I wore this, oh, I'm going to sneeze. Right. Oh, no, hang on, that'd be a bit lower there, wouldn't it? Oh, no, maybe it's all right, but it's a very short apron. It's not, like, going to go to your knees. Well, I suppose it would. Well, you don't have to wear anything under your apron if you don't want to. But just don't cook, just don't cook sausages. <laughs> Oh, sorry. It's all that fluff from Cara's teddy bear cushion. Um, what's the neck tab then? Oh, there's instructions. There's instructions here. Oh, I see. So you put that on one side, then the neck tie. Oh, I see. Got it now. Oh, my screen's all gone black. Oh, John, you're loved by everyone. Karen in Sutherland definitely needs four-wheel drive on our single track roads, especially in winter. Oh, really? Do you live out in the wild? Mind you, if, if it rains in my village, I can't get out because both ends of the village flood. That's why I had to get rid of my MX-5 because I couldn't get in and out of the village. Just bought the Fabric Animal books, thinking of buying the bright tea panel. Get it. Drop into sunny Devon. You're very welcome. Now, Marilyn, I'm up in Scotland at the moment. It's quite a long drive to come. I will do. Actually, aren't I doing Cornwall or Devon? It's Marina. Are you watching? The weekend of November the 15th, I'm, I'm doing that opening... Um, an art gallery thing. Is it the 15th? November the something or other. I'll let you know anyway. Little Paul could wear it. We full length on him. Hogmanay is a great time to win it. Honest. Yes, but who is it that always ends up doing Christmas? 
especially this year, because Vix will have a baby. Well, she's already got the baby, obviously. Hi, John. If you come to Inverholoi, Aberdeenshire, you can, says Christine. She's shouting it. I can what? Stay at yours? This is lovely fabric, by the way, this one. Beautiful. Um, we've got this in a 10-inch, in um, no, a 10-inch um, layer cake, haven't we? Oh, they're not layer cakes. No, they're called stackers from Riley Blake. They're called 10-inch stack, stackers, aren't they? Poppy and Posey. Yeah, that's right. We've got that one. I've also got it in the minty green. Oh, excuse me. What? Yeah, I'm fine. This one's more popular, this one. Oh, it's a lovely colour, isn't it? Did you see Cindy, who uh, owns Riley Blake, on uh, Instagram this week? She's, uh, one of her kids has had a baby. Not her kids, her grown, she's got grown-up kids. Once had a baby, it was the first time I think she'd seen the baby. I think it was lo so lovely. Anyway. 14, that's good, isn't it? Oh, I can offer you S and B if you come in my way. What's S and B? B and B, bed and breakfast. What's S? Sofa. Sofa and breakfast. Uh, Sue says, I'm going to my holiday home along the coast so I can see you in Liscard. It's only 15 minutes. Oh, Sue. Sue, I'll let you know the date because it's not, I think it's in Liscard, isn't it? That I'm going to. Marina, I'm, 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 Marina will message in. I don't, I don't do sofas unless it's non-sweet. Just so you know. Right, quilt as you go now. They had the quilt to go yesterday with Jules, right? So popular. So popular. Right, I, I was going to say, I don't know why I've got this one. I do know why I've got this one. We didn't do a Christmas tree skirt. Oh, if you come to Scotland, stop in Dumfries, says Morag. Got a lot of viewers in Scotland, don't we? 21, 19, I ignore that. 21 99 This is a Christmas tree skit. You'd be very welcome to stay with me in Leeds on the way to Scotland and we'll go to a disco, says Ange. Ange, I go near Leeds. I go to Upper Poppleton. Well, I don't go every month anymore. I go every three months now because Derek has to do one month. Julie does another month and I do the third month. With the shoes. Shoes. There's no channel anymore. We just make films for the website and we do, and we do a Facebook Live every now and then. Right, $21.99, Quilt Go Tree Skirt. Now, this one's lovely, right? Look, because you can either make it like that, but in here, there's also a plastic template. Yeah, I was going to open it, but it's not a bag I can open. Where you can put stripes together. Oh, it's there now. Why is it playing up so bloody today? You can put stripes together, look, to make stripes going round in Christmas fabric. Basically, Quilt You Go, you start, are any of them openable? Yes, I'll be able to show you. Actually, ignore that one for now. Get rid of this one. I'll come back to it in a minute. I'll come back to it. For those of you who've never seen use, those of you who've never seen a quilt as you go, these are placemats, right? Mug mats, mug mats. Two and a half inch. Oh yeah, because you use two and a half inch fabrics, right? Get your design roll on this. Right. So quilt as you go is you get a batting like this. Oh, what's that's just falling on the floor? It's one of those days today, isn't it? Right, so what you do is you get your back, backing fabric and put it behind, and then you cut strips, and you start at number one. So number one goes face up, right? Then number two is your place. Number two down here, the blue lines are your placement lines, not your sewing lines. You sew a quarter of an inch in there, fold that one over, so it's now right side up. Then you place that one right sides together, sew down quarter of an inch inside, fold over. And you'll end up creating these. It tells you how much to cut out for everything. Now, if it's the first time you've done it, I would cut it a little bit wider just to get till you get used to it. Uh, I don't know why it's got a question mark in there. They're definitely two and a half inch. Uh, uh, she's Susan Seaton in Cornwall, which isn't far away. Didn't realise it was Marina you were visiting. I've seen her name on your group chats. She's an artist. She's an artist and she's got a, 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 an art. I, I don't know what it is. Installation. It was supposed to be last year, wasn't it? Then it was going to be in the summer. Now it's been moved because of everything, COVID and everything. Anyway, it's going to be posh. It's going to be very posh. I'll let you know. I think it's the Sunday. I'll let you know the days. Anyway, so that's what Quilt As You Go is, you see. So these are mug rugs. No, they're not. Strip mug mats. These are mug mats. 
But you can do it for um, quilts, because what did you have yesterday? You had a quilt in yesterday. Three different little quilts, like little, this little lap quilts. Oh, I'll let Elliot put that one away. So that's how you make this. This is the tree skirt. Christmas tree skirt here. You can see all the shapes that you sew on and everything like that. It's your seam allowance there. This is a lovely one, this 21 99 Now you do need a lot of fabric for this because it's quite big. You need half a yard of six fabrics plus two thirds of a yard of binding plus one and a quarter yards of backing. £21.99. Right, this is worrying, right? So remember we are, remember earlier we said it was our friend Munch's birthday, Liam, who's a producer at um, Jewelry Maker, says Jeremy Jewelry Maker. He and Cat's brother, Jeremy Joe, share a house together. They're best friends, everything. Eight o'clock this morning, we said to Jeremy Joe, could you send a picture of Liam so we could show it on air to say happy birthday to him? He said, I'm on a commercial today. I'm a bit busy. I'll send you a picture later on. Cat's just received a, a WhatsApp, right? How many photos? 368 photos have just arrived of Munch at work, or Munch in life. That's frightening, isn't it? We're not gonna show anywhere near that many, we'll show one. 20, damn, she's got to choose which one to show. 21.99, we won't show any of the ones without clothes though, because they'll put you off your lunch. Right, and then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna move on. They live, they used to live in this flat in Birmingham, right? And they put videos up nearly every day. And what they do, they try and scare each other. So like there'd be Liam hiding behind the, the, the kitchen door and he'd jump out at Joe when Joe came in or Jamie Joe. Or then he'd, one of them be asleep and the other one would chuck a bucket of water over it and they'd just like laugh and put it on video and we'd all get a copy of it the next day. I know. So by, oh, this is good. This is an insulated bag, this one. Insulated bag. Oh, sorry, sorry, not, ignore those. Ignore those. Twin, this is your, this is, now the fabric in here has got, it's got a strap. Oh, I did this one with Delphine. When I very first met Delphine, right, you're supposed to cover the webbing of the straps, but she didn't, she just put the webbing straps on. But it's insulated, so if you've got hot shopping or cold shopping, this would be brilliant, wouldn't it? 23 pounds and 99 pence. Fab, you, Lus. Very popular. You even get the elastic. You see the elastic in there? And this is the bottom of the bag. You get so much in here. 23 99 <laughs> Okay, I'll just, I'll just decipher that. If your quilter has never made bag making, this would be a great way to do it because you're not really bag making. I oh, know. It's nearly time for her to go home. Don't waste it. She's going to get a bagel and she'll be fine. Yeah, I think you have to play your own button. I don't think there's a button in that one, is there? You get the elastic to go round the button and you get the webbing to go in there and you get the plastic to, for the base of the bag. And then you choose your fabrics. Obviously, it's got no fabric in it. Uh, we've done these in Liberty and we've done them in William Morris and all bright colours and things. It's lovely. Right, the... Oh, now, which one's this one then? This is the... Alexandra tote, this one. This is the Alexandra tote. It's nice. It's like you only get one. It's right, isn't it? Yeah, you need to get one of those, but they're just sewn three different. They're all the same, but they're all different colours. Just show you what they could look like. You do get the webbing for your strap again. Oh, excuse me, I've got a very runny nose suddenly. Okay, we'll do Munchie's birthday wishes at the end of the show. Is he at work today? What, what's he been? Oh. How old is he? Does it say? Text him. Ask, ask him how old he is because we're going to say something. Tell him to tune in at just before one o'clock. Yeah. Right, okay. Oh, I thought I had another quilt as you go. No, that's it. That's it. Oh, can I do these next? We had, did you watch this show, Gemma, right, from this show? 
she came in, she said, oh, I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous, oh, I feel sick, I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous. She sat down there, you'd think she'd been doing it for donkey shears. She must be booked again to come in soon, mustn't she? Um, now, we've only got two. I've got the cactus one, first of all. In this, oh, no. How many of these have I got? Oh. I'm going to have to open I'll have to have this one now. In this box, right, this embroidery kit, she does embroidery by Oh So Beautiful. And the lady who owns the company is called... Steph, right? Oh, now Julie's having trouble getting on Facebook Live. You disappeared. You was young when I visit the site. It's Julie is playing up all sorts of things. But you've managed, you messaged me on Facebook Live. Uh, Elliot can't get in there. I've got it fine here. It is live. We are here. I'm still going. I know. You set off at 8 o'clock thinking, oh, five hours. It's a long time. The amount of times I've tuned in at 8 o'clock and it's like Rebecca Reed or um, Vix or Wendy or something. I think, oh, they've got a show. And then I've gone on. I've been to Tesco's. I've done my housework. I've been to the neighbours. I've had a coffee and a cake. Sit down. And Vic's going, welcome back to the third hour. And you're thinking, oh, it's a long stint, isn't it? Anyway, you get every single thing you need in the packet, right? So you get your threads. You get your hoop. Do you remember that? Hoop earrings we used to do. You get your wadding. You actually get your whole thing printed on a bit of cotton, like that. And then you get two booklets in it. You get embroidery tips. So it's all about, if you've never done it before, how to frame it, how to thread carefully, uh, finishing your hoop and everything. They're just general for every or all of them. And then this one here is all your stitches. Your straight stitch, your stem stitch. Oh, actually, um, Cara was talking about stem stitch earlier, wasn't she? Back stitch, blanket, detached lazy daisies, chain, French knots, everything you need. Look. And it tells you those bits are French knots, that bit's a scallop, that bit's a split, that's a detached lazy daisy. Do you know what I mean? It tells you what all the stitches are. And look, did you from? Uh, from this company. Can't go on these for her birthday. Right, everything, you even get your needles. You get two needles in there as well, look. twenty two ninety nine. What date was it on? Can you tell me? 18th of July, Kat's birthday was when she was in, when Gemma was in, lovely Gemma. She'll be back soon, I promise. We have a second kit. This one's lovely. Now, she told me what this was called. Something realism on the back. The back, you see the background of the cactus, just plain. I'm not going to open this because I haven't got as many of these, you see. Um, the back of there is like a photo, re Shall I, they'll have the telly on in the warehouse. Um, photo realism, I think it's called. And then you uh, stitch the whole blossom on there. It's lovely, isn't it? 22 99 Now, it's ideal as a gift because it comes like that. You could give it to somebody as a gift or you could take it out and make it because what you do is after you've embroidered it, you've got the hoop there to display it in. No, no, it wasn't. What, what's it called? Baccarat, like, yes, sir, I can boogie, but I need a certain song. Baccarat, they were two girls. I think they were sisters and they sang, yes, sir. I can boogie, but I need... And they did another famous one. What was her other famous one? Oh, called Sorry I'm a Lady. Sorry I'm a Lady. It's a, like that, like that. They were brilliant. Anyway. No, you're thinking of Bert Baccarat. Yeah, not Bruce. He was a very good, brilliant... Right, um, he wrote lots of music, didn't he, Bert Baccarat? Anyway, twenty-two ninety-nine. Two beautiful kits there, your cactus or your cherry blossom, which is called, ba it's not called Baccarat then. Also, it's a card game, isn't it, Baccarat? And, oh, this cushion, this cushion, I think she might just, no, she took it, I think she took it with it. You can make, from this kit, you can make two cushions. You can make two, oh no, Liberty cushion, Liberty, no, not any old cushion, Liberty cushions. Right. Because when she was demonstrating it, she started doing the half square triangle like, oh, she's going wrong. Oh, she's going wrong. I don't know how to tell her. Oh, she's going, she wasn't going wrong at all. She was doing the big one, the little one. The big one, the little one at the same time, right? It was, uh, Alice Caroline doesn't come in. It's lovely Anna that comes in to do it, right? Uh, anyway, you make both those. There's a fabric in there. You've got your Tana lawn to do your um, 
things. And then you get your lovely backing fabric, which isn't white. It's white on white. Say that again. Uh, chanson d'amour. That was Manhattan Transfer, wasn't it? You see, I can remember, it's weird, isn't it? I can't remember what I had for my tea last night, but I can remember all the song tunes. Look, so you can make two cushions for $34.99. Oh, yes, 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 I've got it here somewhere. Yeah, I've got the cattail quilt here somewhere. Last night, oh, it was very boring last night because I'd ran out of time. I had uh, roasted vegetables with feta cheese and a tomato coulis. In fact, um, oh no, it wasn't a coolie, it was a Jew, I think. But um, Emma, boyfriend, Rory, Ryan, he makes a lovely raspberry Jew, apparently. Anyway, moving on. What, what would you like me to do next? Shall I do that quilt? Right, cattails. We know loads of you got this already. There's only three left. There's only three of these left. Fabric designed by Tula Pink's, not makeup artist, tattoo artist. Watch it, watch, 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 199 times. Two split payments of 54.99. Now, if there's only two left, I shouldn't really open it. But I'm gonna have to open. Oh, we might have one open. Oh, ow. I think she's just scraped a knife across her microphone. Because I don't want to open it if there's only two left. You get seven printed fabrics, over seven metres of fabric, plus the instructions. I don't know where she's gone to find the open one. How have you got that there? All right. Keep looking at the box. Top. Right, thank you. What you get in the box is, look at all this lovely fabric, right? So you get that one, which is the drawing of the cats and everything going fishing. Then this one here is the icon. You get loads of it. Look, you're over seven metres of fabric in total. Beautiful. Now, I think Karen, hasn't Karen got one of these? Karen and Camden got one of these, I think. Then you've got your, ow. Then you, what is it with you and your microphone, cat? Yeah, it was like, clunk, like that. Yeah. Was like, it sounded like your microphone, no, like you've got a necklace on and you hit your microphone with necklace. Anyway, look, 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 look. There's the coloured in version. It's beautiful, isn't it? So many people love this quilt. Then you've got, oh, hang on, more fabric, got the more cats in vines. Then you've got the little black cats hiding in the big lilies. Then you've got the green chartreuse colour with the balls of wool. And, oops. This what? Oh. $109.99, two split payments of $54.99. All your instructions going on there. Even your templates that you need. It's called the Cattails Quilt. Confident beginner. 160 by 183 centimetres. The blocks are nine inches square. Oh. $109.99. Uh, you get two split payments of $54.99, though. Beautiful. Such lovely fabrics. We've just sent the real thing back, so I can't show you the real McCoy, can I? The actual quilt made, quilt made up quilt. Beautiful. And catch that very important. You know, no phones in the gallery which had to answer that very important. They've got no turkey pastrami, so she's had to have salt beef. Anyway, look. $109.99. Two payments of $54.99. Who was it wanted to see it, did you say? Sue? No. Carol. Carol. Oh, do you know what month should we be going on about? And I said he was 54. He's actually only 27. Should we do it now then? Should we say happy birthday to Munch now? We got This is a picture. Oh, no. This is a picture. Now, he's a top producer at our sister channel. I was, was I at that party? Yeah, it was. He had that awful suit because he had that made specially, didn't he? He's actually four stone lighter now. He looks like, doesn't he look like his dad there? Anyway, happy birthday, Munch. We hope you're having a lovely day. Munch, Munch, he's only 27. Cat's worried that you're all on your own on your birthday and you've got no plans for tonight. I said, I bet you he's got, Munch 
prefers the company of that much older lady. So we'll be going down the Derby and Joan later to find a date for this evening, I think. And he does, he does, he does. We all like different things, don't we? Cat likes boys that look like girls. Um, oh no, Elliot's girlfriend's gorgeous, so I can't say that about Amy. But you know, well, no, Amy. Amy likes to go out with like kind of Birmingham chubby boys, and um, Munch likes that ladies who are slightly older. Anyway, Munch, have a lovely birthday. We love you lots. We do. He, we, he's he's adorable, and you know what? He's such. A, when I first met him, right, he came to Rocks and Co. It was like just straight out of film school and everything, or TV school, or whatever he was doing. And he was, and he worked so hard. And I'm being serious now. He's like, he worked hard then when he worked on floor and cameras and everything like that. Now he's like one of the top producers at Jewelry Maker. And he, he, he's not boring because he's great fun, but he's really, really dedicated to his job. And I really, really like that because I love it when somebody's really, you know, focused on their job. He's a pain in the backside, but you know what I mean? He's adorable. I love him. Right. Shall we move on? Anyway, have a lovely day, Munch. Floral tote bags, here they are. What is it? Look, I think you should text her because there's an email just come through, found and she won't read that. Right, do you like this? Do you what? Oh, Liam says thank you. Look at this gorgeous tote bag. Now, I, didn't, I don't know who made this one. Was this the one Wendy made? Wendy Garden made this one, because I've done this one with Catherine Harrison as well. No, Catherine Wright. Why do I, I get her and Becca Harrison's names muddled up? I don't get them muddled up, I just get their name. It's because I know a Catherine Harrison, that's why. Anyway, look, there's a panel here to make this bag. Look. Look, oh, it's upside down, sorry. There we go. So these are your front and your back. These are your bag linings. These are your facings and your straps. This piece of fabric here is completely spare. That's nothing. And there's the instructions there. Um, remember, today's the last day you can get this. Last nine minutes of live TV. Obviously, if you buy anything between now and midnight tonight, you'll still get it. As long as you can get one yesterday, it's one per person. It's a booklet, it's a booklet full of vouchers for Yarn Lane and for Sewing Street there. Uh, anyway, isn't that lovely? I love this. this. Oh, Davinia says, happy birthday, Munch. Davinia, did you rewind and see, um, did you rewind to see Elliot? Did you freeze frame on him? You might need to... You might need two frames. Uh, Martin? Munch is single. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Munch is single as well, as little Paul. Munch has more, more of a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? S rating, scoring rate. Uh, Munch is more successful, let's put it that way, normally. We love this panel. It always sells. We always sell this by the hundred. Comes back by the hundred. It's exclusive to Sewing Street, remember. Bright watercolour floral tote bag, this one's called. Right, okay. And then, there's another one, isn't it? Oh, blue one. I haven't got the blue one made up. Did Wendy make this to go with? Oh, out of the spare fabric. Did she make that to go with it? Oh, that's a lovely idea, isn't it? I would put a pocket, I'd make a pocket out of my spare bit, see. This is the one in blue. Elliot prefers this one. 1999. I can't really see Elliot walking down the high street with a tote bag though, somehow. Nineteen ninety nine. Then this one's in the blue. I think that'll go soon anyway. These are your facings and your straps. This is your spare fabric here. That's what um, Wendy used to make that one, obviously in the different colourway. And all the instructions are on there as well. I oh, know. Would you indeed? Elliot would put the instructions on the inside of the bag. I think Catherine, didn't she make a little makeup bag out of this? And she used that. Oh, it might not have been Catherine. I think I've done it with... Um, Julie Kelly as well. I've done it a few times anyway. And she used the inside of that on the inside lining of her makeup bag. I think I'm right. 
1999. Your blue floral tote bag, if you're from up north. I've got lovely tote bags in my uh, boot of my car that Davinia made for me. Out of Liberty. I love you know. Liberty Emily Silhouette Fabric, one of them is. Anyway. Where would you like me to go now? Oh, the miniature quilt kit book. Here you go. Now, I did this with Emma Bradford. Now, <coughs> excuse me, whenever we show this book, oh, excuse me, <coughs> it's always really, really popular. These are miniature quilts, 15 inspirational designs with templates. But look, right, that's the one that this panel is to make, right? But all of these others in here, hang on, these are incredible. So Emma Bradford's made that one, and she's made that one. Did you say you made another one as well, Elliot? That one. That one. That one. That one. Do you? Do you? Right, so what you get in this bundle is you get the book, first of all, which is twelve ninety nine. You get half a metre of your dark... Oh, sorry, fat quarter, fat quarter, fat quarter, sorry. That's a fat, that is a fat quarter of your blue fabric. And then you get this um, panel, totally and utterly exclusive to Sewing Street. Now, we had lots of people buying this panel to make, and multi-buying it to make different projects with. Because look, you get all of this. So 1999 is not just the panel, it's your fat quarter and your book. And, it, and this is what it's been designed for, to make that one there, page 50. Karen sent in a message. For anyone who's never bought from Sewing Street, I can tell you the quality of the panels, quilt kits, everything is very best. Hubby says, I own Sewing Street Second Warehouse. <laughs> oh, thank you. Right. There you go. That's to make this one look. It's obviously the fabrics are slightly different. And what do you make the seagull out of? That's the sand. I think you need to have your own fabric. Oh, no, there's the seagull. Oh, sorry. There's the seagull. Oh, honestly. So Jeremy Joe, before he left to go and film his commercial, and he was very nervous about it, he put up balloons for Munch's birthday. He's only 27. What's in front of the telly? Oh, you got a picture of the balloons? Ah. Anyway, I've got to go. Look at the time. Tomorrow's menu, please. Menu. Oh, it's a big one tomorrow. Oh, look, Adam's on at 8 o'clock tomorrow. Liberty Ladies. Alexa, shouldn't it be L-I-E-S, L-A-D-I-E-S. Alexa Frill Dress with Adam Brooks. Then we've got the Octavia Wallet and Queenie Bag with Becky Frost. I think it's spelt wrong. No, it's not. Sussex Seamstress Lewis Skirt with Adam Brooks at 10 o'clock. Adventurer Backpack with Becky Frost at 11. Now, there's no yarn lane tomorrow. So you've got me on my own doing bag making supplies at tomorrow at 12 o'clock. It's going to be a nice day because we're introducing Adam for the first time. To, and we hopefully he's going to be... Well, I think he might have been asked back already because there's a bag of things for him in the dressing room that's been delivered from the warehouse. They won't be for tomorrow, I don't think. Anyway... Uh, and that's the second time live on air in the studio. I know, because she, she was doing them from home. We're gonna, I know, we're going to have a lovely day. Anyway, I've got to go now. I'm absolutely exhausted and, and um, their bagels are ready. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Make sure you check out your baskets and make sure you get something, because this is only until midnight tonight. After that, if you buy something tomorrow, you won't get it. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8. <laughs>